Tony Dunn, and not to it, but to do it, brother. Let's roll. In a world where Carolina Panthers fans have an insatiable thirst for Panthers news and opinions, only one podcast roars ferociously. It's the C3 Panthers Podcast. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome in to the 10th C3 Panthers draft party. Do not click the link that Greg sends you. It gets pop up, pop up, pop up. Oh my God, my computer is going to blow up now. <laughs> there is some sort, my system is infected. System infected. But you know what is infectious right now? That is. The Carolina Panthers getting the number one pick in this draft. And it looks like all signs are pointing towards Bryce Young. Could it be anybody but him? I don't think it's possible for it to be the case. We're about an hour away from the draft to start. And uh, we will have our next franchise quarterback um, going forward. And this is the second time in team history that we'll be selecting a franchise quarterback at number one overall. The last time was Cam Newton. And good God, this thing, what did it do to my computer, Greg? It killed my computer, know, man. I got to turn off notifications right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, no. Blame it. Blame it on Greg, Tony. Don't blame it on all that, those videos you've downloaded. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, what? You mean all of those videos of Anthony uh, Richardson throwing <laughs> the football? How s- sexy and sensuous those are of him. Did you, did you see the most recent oh, one where he throws it just standing <laughs> still? Anyway, this is the C3 Panthers podcast brought to you by CarolinaCatChronicles.com. This is the 10th draft party that we have done, the live draft party. What we're going to do is this is we're going to be bringing in guests. We're going to have open it up to a Friday free for all. Um, sort of environment after the Panthers make the pick. We might bring some people in before that, but I think we're going to limit the amount of people in here when the pick goes down just for the sake of the audio and the clarity of the discussion going forward. But guys, the 10th party, we have been doing this now. This is our 11th season, our 11th season as a, as a podcast. I had this wild idea and it would have been the 20. 20- 14 draft was 10 years ago, right? And the first one we did, and it was the Kelvin Benjamin pick was the first one. And uh, it was a wild idea at the time to get around and watch the draft live together um, and stream it on the internet. And now watch alongs are the norm on the internet and really some of the biggest draws for Panther fans. And we've got some great stuff coming for you tonight, including some of the C3 gang on the ground at the draft, ready to let us gang, know gang. what that environment's like and what that pick is like going forward. So we want you to be a part of it. Don't forget, you're going to be calling into the show at 252-228-5098. You're going to be in the chat room. You're going to be excited you're gonna be hyped and i am so happy to do it for another year with my wheel man my co-host cody lashney welcome back and man this is all we do these days is stream 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 it's all we dream 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 this is the night baby Uh, we're done arguing over young cj stroud tonight all of that comes to an end we are gonna know who the first overall pick for the carolina panthers is People have been hitting me up, man. Everyone's been so excited all day. Man, this is a big moment for the Carolina Panthers. Only the second time that we've had the number one overall pick. Man, I'm happy to be here with you, boys. Happy to be here with the brand new Papa and my man, CK. I'm so proud of you, brother. My man, Greg, with that beard looking beautiful. And Tony Dunn, you already know that we're going to do it with the best damn Panther fans in all of YouTube. Don't get offended, y'all. There's no way I'm going to be able to read every name. We already have 150 people in the chat room, but you know I'm going to read off some of the faithfuls. My man, Panther Pickle, Adam Sanders, Brandon R., These Ill Skills. What's up? Chad Morales, Sports Nut, Evan, Sports Talk, Hemlock, Joshua Hall, 
Jake Cryer in the building. What's up? KPM, Lawrence Trevet, Mike Jones, Off Grid, Pad One, Panther, Zach Altman, Wide Bit Jordan, Tim Estes, The Cardiac Cat 13, Sideshow, and The Boy Tan Tizzy. Tony Don, ain't nothing to it but to do it, brother. Let's roll. I think I already saw somebody dropping in the super chat. Padawan Panther said it's been one year since he has found um, C3. And, you know, it's it's wild. If It feels like sometimes like, uh, you know, you think everybody knows each other already on the Internet when we all follow the team as closely. But there's still lots of people out there that are all trying to find their way towards the gang, towards the C3 gang. And so there's a way you can help other fans find this show in this community. And that is to share the stream, to share the link on wherever you hang out and talk Carolina Panthers on the Internet. Text it to a buddy. Send it on. Retweet it. Send it. Put it up on Facebook. Drop it in Reddit. Wherever you hang out and talk Carolina Panthers, help people be a part of this community because this is a show for fans, for fans. We call it the people's voice because, you know, it's not us talking to you. It's us talking with you. And I tell you, the greatest parts of this show always come from the information that I get from people that are messaging me. They'll say, I'll get Cody texting me, say, check the check the chat, check the chat. And I'll be like getting out of class. And I see all this great stuff going down with the Carolina Panthers. And I tell you, I have had so much fun in the last 10 years. And I still go back to this. The pandemic was one of the easiest things for me because all I did was hang out with my friends the whole damn time on the internet talking Carolina Panthers. Smash the thumbs up button. Be a part of the show. And one of my great friends, Codizzle, CK, congratulations, Big Papa. A new baby in the house. Um, boy, you really brought that baby into Panther fandom right away. This young girl, boy, not only is she beautiful right out the gate, but she's our number one draft pick today. She's the number one uh, C3, uh, you know, the number one Panther fan draft pick. Uh, it's, it's incredible. She was born at 1.15 a.m. on draft day. So she's going to be forever intertwined with this draft pick. Um, hey, and, there's the little girl. Yeah, Aww. and so mom and baby are healthy and happy, and uh, she's sleeping right now, so I'm talking a little bit lower. But, uh, yeah, man, it's a, it's a blessing, and it's a, one of these things that, you know, could have gone a, a lot of different ways, but we were so thrilled that it went as easy as it did. As uh, And I'll tell you the whole story maybe on Tuesday or something, but, man, I, I can't be happier with, uh, you know, how this uh, this past 24 hours has gone. You named her CJ, right? Charlie Joe? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Brycena. <laughs> yeah, well, Brycena, it was, you know, there's a lot of it. A lot of people were joking about how, uh, you know, She's the same size as Bryce Young and things like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's awesome. She can make Bryce Young. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like uh, Bryce Young can take her to the prom, like right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, there it goes. They said, is that, they said is, that, is, that, is, that, is that Bryce Young's first jersey birthday in front of her? So, uh, oh, man. Crazy. You know, I hope that we're uh, – you know what? We'll, we'll be excited um, about Bryce Young, even though his small stature, and we will be fighting for – the little guy, just like you'll be fighting for that little girl for the rest of your life. I've got two girls, uh, CK, and um, they they love their dads, man, usually. You know, yeah. boys, mama boys, I'm an Italian kid. You know, we always kind of grab, you know, mothers and the boys. But there's something special about his, uh, the papa and his little girls. So uh, congratulations. Please pl- pass the best wishes on to your wife. And thank you for, man, look at this. Is Look at the faithful here. He's here on the damn live stream hanging out with us I from know, the damn man. hospital this, room. This How committed. The man, dude. How committed is that? His yeah. wife uh, probably does not mm-hmm. like him right now. <laughs> oh, she loves you. Oh, she loves you. All right. Well, she's like, hey, at least you're here keeping me company. Those days in the hospital, hopefully you'll get out of there by tomorrow. Usually it's like, just get out and get home. Uh, Greg, another great friend of ours, a great Panther fan. And, uh, man, exciting night, Greg, for this uh, for this team. And one of the things that I was thinking about today is so many people were telling me, and I'll see people out and they'll be like, are you excited about the draft? You know, like in there, you know, because they know we do the podcast and, And I don't know if every year the draft becomes just more work for me 
Hmm. Or like there was this draft has actually been a little strange for me. The coverage has been very easy because it's just been number one pick. And who really cares about the rest? Honestly, for me, I mean, well, I hope they hit. I hope those players are good. But there has been no focus for me outside of the quarterback, really, or very little. There has been, though, an excitement but also a sort of anxiety that comes with this for me. And maybe it's just because I got a little nervous Nelly in me. I, I thought of it today when I woke up and it was here. People were like, it's here. It's finally here. It felt kind of like the day I got married, hmm. you yeah. know, and the, my marriage day, my day was one of my, when I got married is one of the greatest days of my entire life. You know, I mean, I could put uh, my kids burst up there. I could put a, a couple of things up there, but it's like one of the top, top four or five, days in my entire life maybe my own birth was one of my best days too but there was a, a a quiet anxiety that came with the pressure of wanting it to of how oh look at my beautiful wife she just brought me my dinner up here too thank you talking about our marriage <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. there is a there was a pressure of of how important that moment is mm-hmm. to me and maybe the the pressure came with living up to being a good husband. I didn't want to let my wife down. I know I'm a douchebag and a jerk, a jackass in so many ways in life. And we she deserves so much. Yeah. But I threw up the morning of my wedding. I oh, straight wow. threw up. Wow. I mean, just like woke up and just the pressure got it out and I was there. So that's how it felt for me a little bit today, Greg, is the anxiety. We got to get it right, man. No, Tony, you're absolutely right, man. I all day long, I've been, I don't want to say on edge, but I've been like antsy and and it's just been, I've been so excited. We are 45 minutes away right now from finding out what the future of like, honestly, what the next 10 years probably of our franchise is going to be like, it's very exciting and I'm going to be vulnerable right now. Okay. I've been very, very adamant about wanting CJ Stroud and I still do. He's my guy. That's the guy I want. Number one. Okay. But if we pick Bryce Young, which we likely will, I am going to 100% lean into this guy, and I am going to 100% pull for the little guy because I'm a little guy. I felt that my whole life. So right now, I'm letting you know whoever is drafted, I'm leaning into them. I want Stroud. I'm going to lean into um, Bryce Young if he ends up getting drafted. And, Tony, I was thinking about what you were saying the other day about secretly wanting AR. And the more and more I think about it, I think there is kind of an itch in the back of my brain right now. It's like, I know I, I kind of so secretly tempting. do the bad Maybe because I'm so in love with Cam Newton yes. and, and, and just reminds me so much of him. But, but my, my, my brain is overriding my heart on that one. So I'm not going to be upset with, with uh, AR, but man, I'll tell you what, it's the bad if it's girl. Anybody, if it's anybody other than those three tonight, you go I'm to the go party. Look, look, crazy. Look, 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 I have to jump in on this, right? Because I feel like we all know that it's going to be Bryce Young. I feel like and a lot of people are still not okay with the fact that it's Bryce Young. But, guys, we need to, to start to looking. Yeah. We need to start looking at the upside of what Bryce Young brings to the team and how we're going to be able to continue to build around him. He is the most NFL ready quarterback in this year's draft. When you look at what he had to do at Alabama, He had total control over the line of scrimmage, checking protections, calling out blitzes, changing plays at the line of scrimmage. Bill O'Brien gave him 100% control of that offense in an NFL-style offense because as soon as they found out how advanced Bryce Young was, they were like, oh, man, we can open up this playbook in ways that we haven't been able to do at Alabama in forever. So you're talking about a guy who who theoretically should be able to come in here and hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. You know, if uh, a lot of people have compared him to Drew Brees because of how well he recognizes opposing defenses. But I'll say this, Bryce Young is so much more mobile than Drew Brees ever was. He's dynamic from inside the pocket. He can make throws on the run and he can pick up those first downs If need be, the last thing I want to say here, and again, I'm just trying to help all those who do not want Bryce to be the pick. I'm trying to help them. Everybody wants the Bryce to be the pick. No, I mean, that's not not true. I don't, but I'll accept it. That's not true at all. I've jumped around on a few different 
uh, pods of people that have invited me on. And there's a lot of people that believe it needs to be either uh, CJ Stroud or Anthony Richardson. So but the, the final point that I will say is that unlike Cam Newton, who could run around with six foot five, 245 pounds, he's going to be the smallest quarterback drafted in the NFL, maybe ever. So what uh, that mean, what that means is Kyler Murray's you, tied with him. Sorry. Go well, ahead. you what that means is you are going to have to put importance on your offensive line. And they're gonna have to continually do so. That's a good thing for our offense because we have been through so many terrible offenses in the uh with the Carolina Panthers because our offensive line lacked and was not up to par. That is not going to be a problem with Bryce because they're going to have to protect him. I've come around. I'm ready to welcome Bryce Young. Now he's being endorsed by Jordan Brand. He's the man, and I'm I'm ready to welcome him with open arms to the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Jay Cryer, my brother from another mother. What's your new Twitter handle? Uh, I got the old ones, and every time he gets on Twitter, he has a different handle. Um, DM me real quick, Jay Cryer. We'll get get you on from across the pond or wherever he's at. He, this is the world traveler of C3. We're going to get him into the show and get his opinion. He's been on, I think, almost every single uh, live draft party. So, yeah, oh, yeah, as Cody, I don't think, and this is the hard part about it is, is that us flirting with the idea of other players, I don't, in my mind, isn't not wanting Bryce Young. The anxiety to me that comes with Bryce Young is actually the anxiety that you just said of being, you said the upside. The upside is he's ready now. I don't know if that's upside or if that's just the side. Um, and I mean, and what I mean by that is the pressure. And I, I think the expectations for me are so much higher. I'll be stunned if it's not Bryce, Bryce Young. I'll be stunned. But the pressure my expectations are the highest for Bryce Young. Very simple yeah. is that they are the highest. And when I say I'm like, I kind of like the, I just like the idea of potentially getting the home run player in AR. I don't think it's the right move to do at number one, arguably to the trade up with it. I think if you would have traded to number two somehow, you know, or you were in that three spot, then you could flirt with that being the better option of C.J. Stroud than Bryce Young. Uh, but Bryce Young's going to come in here with this coaching staff, and honestly, we're going to look at him and have, I think it's kind of like you need to be better than what you thought Trevor Lawrence was going to be. Or at least on par. And we yeah. said this last Tuesday. I mean, we're going to be judging Bryce Young based on what other number one picks have done in recent history. Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence. You know, even like a Jared Goff, a Kyler Murray, all of these guys and what they were capable of doing, Bryce Young or whoever the player is going to be at number one, it's Bryce, is going to be judged in comparison to that. Um, hey, real quick, Tony, I wanted to make sure that we get in some of these donations from our fantastic super fans. Billy Hall with a $20 super sticker. We appreciate you, Billy. You're the man. Anthony Piccarello, C3, says, happy for you, CK. Today is the day. Keep pounding. Today the day, baby, young Joe. That's so, it. Yeah. The Real AP real, renewed his membership. Yo, Real AP, you're the man, brother. Uh, Billy Hall, another brand new member. And then JJ Two-Piece with the 499 says, C3 family, the day. Been watching since 2020. You guys are great. Been super involved this past season. Congrats, CK. Shout out DJ and Lovey Smith. Shout out to them Texans for fumbling the bag and uh, helping the Panthers get to this pick. You know, on that note, Tony, uh, it came out today that uh, the Bears and the Texans were going to trade I was gonna number, say, yeah. number one and number two. Mm -hmm. But what ended up happening is the Texans waited way too long. And the original plan was that the Houston or the Bears were going to move down one spot with Houston. And then they were going to trade with the Panthers. And the Panthers were going to go from nine to two. Now they knew that. And the Panthers knew that. 
that was going to be the plan. But the Houston Texans took forever with the amount of compensation that they were willing to offer the Panthers. Mm -hmm. So Scott Fitter said, nah, boy, we're not waiting no longer. And they moved up and secured that number one overall pick. And knowing that the Texans wanted Bryce, man, we stole Bryce Young away from the Houston Texans, man. I actually heard that story today too, Cody, but I heard that the, like it was actually leaning towards the Texans trade, but DJ Moore was what tipped the scales. So DJ Moore is the reason we have the number one pick right now. Is this now. also the yeah. story that David Tepper said, get it done now before they start shopping around for even more? Um, I don't know. I have you heard that? that? A- I heard that recently is that David Tepper, they said we're going to, we're interested in making this trade. And uh, he said, let's do it, now, get it done by the weekend before they start shopping and the price goes up, right? So how, you know, is, and that was one of the things is, and probably the most remarkable part about the trade was just simply that they, um, that they were able to execute it so early in the process and that the Bears didn't say, you know what, we're, we'll table that. We're interested in it, but we're going to see what other people are interested in because I don't think we necessarily overpaid for this pick. In fact, I don't think we overpaid at all. I think we got a very fair deal in this. So we've got a lot to talk about that draft. And I guess the one strange thing, too, for me, this is an odd draft party, and let's we'll go ahead and bring in Jay Cryer uh, into the show. And he's been on these – these draft parties for a long time now. Um, probably, when was the first one you came on, Jay? I think this is probably the ninth year. Wow. Look at that. Something like that, yeah. Jay's been on here longer than me. Yeah, so the, the thing with this draft that's so different is that with the first pick, there has been no real question. Like In, the, in past years, we're like, oh, is it going to be a defensive end? It could be this corner. It could be all of these different play. You know, we're looking at offense. We're looking at defense. There has been no question about this is a quarterback. And really, what has been maybe different about this draft, even not just for us, but in past drafts, too, for other teams that were at number one, it wasn't just a given who that player was. You look at last year, there are two or three different defensive ends that could have been the number one pick. There are different position groups that could be the number one pick. This is quarterback, 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 regardless if the Texans had moved up, if we moved up. Jay, your thoughts on the Carolina Panthers securing their franchise quarterback going forward. Um, are you excited, anxious? How are you feeling? Um, I just think I'm a betting man and the odds are just so clear it's going to be Bryce. It's kind of taken the fun away. Um, I wanted Stroud throughout this whole process, to be honest. And I, I, I'm a believer that Tepper's the man that wanted uh, Bryce and he's kind of, He's called. He's kind of called the shots, and uh, I think that's why the odds suddenly changed so quick. And I think once once he did well in that test, and uh, Tep is probably an, an analytics guy. I think as soon as you know Stroud failed on that, that was it then. But like for me personally, I I want I, I want that Cam Newton larger than life quarterback. You know the four. Yeah, yeah, I this know little, this little small guy with a you know I watch him and. It, you know, he's impressive, but I just want that explosive leader. And I hear him talk, and I like he's the same size as me. I hear him talk, and I'm like, is that the right guy to lead the team? But like like all of you, as soon as he's named our quarterback and he's our pick, then I'm behind him 100%. And let's hope he, he works, but... I'd have felt a lot more comfortable with Stroud, let's put it that way, but we'll see what happens. I think you brought a good good point is it took some of the fun out of it and it being kind of so certain from the beginning for us. And then it's just been like we've had to manufacture discussion in so many ways uh, beyond that. Where are you posted up these days, Jay? I've actually, I finally sort of of semi-settled. I've just bought a place in uh, Ibiza. Um. But I've just started working for a new American company. So I think I'm going to buy a place in Costa Rica and go just do winters in Costa Rica, summers here in Ibiza. But the thing is, Tony, yeah, 
what always made it fun for me, like our shows that we used to, we've always done, is sort of like not knowing who's going to pick who before us and how that affects us. And I'm excited, don't get me wrong, but I was probably more excited before we, you know, before we did the trade and I'm on the, the draft simulators working out what it's going to take for us to be able to get a quarterback, what could happen. And now it kind of takes that fun away, but... You know, hopefully this year puts us in a good position and, you know, we're not picking in the top, anywhere near the top for a long time now. And it's yeah. nice that I'll actually be able to go to sleep at a reasonable time for once because normally I'm here until 6 o'clock in the morning with you. Yeah, but poor guys had to stay up all night, usually from England as he joined most of the time. And, uh, boy, it would be like 3.30 in the morning. when the And those nights, too, that we were drafting 25th, Oh my God. <laughs> How miserable was that? So yeah, I, I, I think you raised a lot of good points is that while and maybe that's why this draft discussion this year has not been the most exciting for me. Maybe there's some of the pressure that comes about with just getting it right, but the the lack of you know, I almost really don't care that much about what happens after us. And that I mean, I do. I'm interested in what's going to happen. You hate the draft bit. anyway. You say it all the time. I hate You're the not speculation. No, nerd. I like the draft. I like the players when we know where they go. Yeah, I just I, don't like the hours, of bazillions of the, all the energy. So much energy is expended by the world of discussion. And it always, like 95% turns out to be wrong. Five, the five percent that is right about the draft then turns out that only like fifty percent of that five percent is any good, right? You know, I mean, like, is like how many players that you get right in the draft that then go on to stink? So, I mean, this will be interesting. And to me, uh, this has been a strange draft class too. Maybe it's just been my focus, but it doesn't seem to be a lot of the talent uh, that people have been that we've had in past years where you're talking about like, Oh wait, maybe you really should think about taking this defensive end. He's a game changer. Like you don't have a lot of top end talent. I saw one guy said that he only had first round grades on like 15 players, which is insane. Yeah, so too. let's go ahead and bring in uh dunk into the show and uh, get, to, get his thoughts. In the building. What's up? Hey, uh, uh, you, you, yeah. you're muted, brother. I'm, I, I like to be. I like to be heard and seen. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. How you doing? I like that man? shirt. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. This is a. Uh, yeah, man. I like that shirt. And congrats, CK, on the baby, man. That's big time. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. It's exciting. Yeah. What's that? Are you there right now? The deli- the delivery. I am. I am. Yeah, yeah. We're. I'm in the little family waiting area right now, trying to give them some peace and quiet so they can take a uh, a little bit of a nap, but. Yeah, man, we're here and uh, just ready to go home, but got a little bit more time. We got to wait till tomorrow morning at the very least. I feel it, man. Aaron, we're uh, Aaron, we're thirty minutes away from the draft opening up, and we expect the pick probably to go pretty quickly this year because it's not going to be one of those years where the number one pick has to wait to see if somebody offers them some crazy draft. I mean, some trade. So I expect this draft to kick off pretty quickly in comparison to some other drafts in the past. 30 minutes away, and you are part of those people that have exhausted yourself in discussion. (laughs) Sometimes just watching you guys talk in that creator chat is tiresome to me, and not in a mean way. What I'm saying is, I'm like, gosh, how do you guys keep talking? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you ready for it to be over with? How do you feel about this, and uh, how has your draft coverage been? Has it been as normal has it been different because we're the number one pick? How are you feeling? It's never normal because uh, we're the Panthers. Even when nobody's picking in <laughs> front of us, there's still something to argue about, man. You know, even to, like, the finish line, it's still something to argue about. Regardless, I was like you, Tony. I, I heard Cody call you out about not being into the draft. I don't know if you remember last year. I was the same way as you. I was like, I don't have time to dive into 300 guys when only – Five, six, maybe seven are going to be on our team. It doesn't have fun. Like, it's not, not seem fun. But I actually got access to college film this year, which was a miracle. Um, so I How the hell do it. you do that, by the way? Yeah, you got to hit me up, bro. I need some of that. <laughs> no, I'll hit y'all, hit y'all in the chat. Just, just, just remind yeah. me. Um, mm-hmm. it's, all right, it's, all right. Gotcha. It's, a, it's, it's pretty cheap, but uh, just hit me in the chat um, on Twitter. All right. But I actually got into it. So I'm like, I, I like doing the all 22 for, like, us. 
So I'm like, let me just dive into it with college. I just never had the access. And it's like, hmm. it, it is it is what it is. I mean, I know Alabama has their little uh, episode thing. I heard Brett Coleman kind of getting kind of into it with Alabama and then taking people down and copywriting. So I didn't really drop a lot of film content on players, but I did a lot of mock drafts. Those always get emotional. You know, people always get pissed off. Oh, at yeah. Those. But uh, it's been cool this year, man. I'm not nervous. Um, now, I mean, I did get a little nervous now that I'm hearing that, like, they're talking about trading back up. So I'm like, all right. So now I have to do – I do have to stay up till midnight. So I have to kind of pace myself on the beers now. Do you Can think you that's a – is that – uh, so we do have to follow the whole thing. We've been doing this draft yeah. to watch along, so we're going to have to stick to the end for that potential possibility. Tony, I said this before the show. Albert Breer is reporting that the Panthers might be looking to trade back in – to the first round to potentially get an edge rusher depending on who's available. So, yeah, we're, we're going to have to be a... Uh, All right, uh, Dunk's got to go. So here, I know, Dunk, you're welcome back. Please come back. Yeah, Tell I'll us be right back. Who, 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 who's the pick? Who's the pick? What, it's going to be Bryce, but for what it's okay. worth, Will Kunkel said that the the wide receiver that the top 30 visit that they, uh, Fit was bragging about was Jackson Smith and Jigba. I, it's going to take a monumental miracle for us to be able to trade up into the range to get him. However, I will be all over, I will be all over that. So um, I'm down with that. I'd rather just have two star players and no other in the draft than to have seven agreed. players that only two of them mm-hmm. are going to make the roster anyway. Huh? Yeah, exactly. But I, uh, I'll be back. Yeah, man. I'll, uh, I got to jump. I'll be back. I'll probably be in a worse state after if I don't. Come back. <laughs> I hear you. Don't worry. It's going to get wild. Uh, you should be on draft night. That's right. <laughs> this will but. be. Uh, thanks, man. Thanks, Aaron. You guys check out Unnecessary Bluntness on uh, YouTube. Doing great work as always following the Carolina Panthers. Rising Tide lists all boats, guys. So get out there and support uh, people around. Look at this. Man. Dexter Henderson in the chat. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. With, the, with the 999 pounds. Congrats on the Dodgers, CK. Bryce or CJ. And I'll rest easy tonight. Keep pounding C three. And by the way, and uh, and then I'll let you go, Greg. And in, in about seven minutes, uh, my guy Monty Fetty and Desmond Johnson from Embrace Debate Carolina Panthers, the show that your boy is now on every Monday at ten thirty. They're going to be on here in just a minute to catch up with us uh, a, a little bit and talk this draft uh, here in a few minutes. Go ahead, Greg. Okay, and I want to ask this question to the panel, especially Jason, since he's here. Um, we had a caller. It, we brushed over this on the Tuesday show. We had a caller call in and talk about he didn't want to hear anything about the size of, of Bryce Young anymore because players like J.J. Watt and Julius Peppers and all these big guys get injured too. I was like, okay, cool. I understand your statement. I want to ask this. If you're going to get in a head-on car collision, would you rather be in an F-250 or a Honda Civic? Because you're right. Being big doesn't mean you get injured. But when you're going to get into 15 car collisions a day, I'd rather be in the bigger vehicle. And that's my thing. So yeah. I want to know y'all's thoughts on that. I don't believe that being big makes you impervious to being injured, but it definitely increases your chances of being able to take those hits. So I, Jay, I, I don't you. know if I agree. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'm only like, I don't know. In you, you don't use stone in America, do you? What do you use? Kilograms? Yeah. I uh, know. We use pounds. pounds. No. Um, so let's just say I'm like I don't know. What are you in it's, kilograms? I'll do the tra- I'll do the converter. Uh, pro- probably about 70, 72 or something. And like whenever I've played football, like our football in England, soccer, and I run into someone that's six four, you know, eighteen stone. Trust me, I feel it a lot more than Cam Newton would have done. So yeah, that's one hundred and fifty five <laughs> like, pounds. I saw some I saw some analysis today and it's like, oh yeah, well, look at all these quarterbacks that are coming out that are still getting injured. Uh, a freak injury is a freak injury, but we're talking about someone that we want to play for 12 years. Right. You know, can like can somebody of his size hold up? I just think it just seems for me, it seems a weird draft to be the one year where we pull the trigger and we move and we put all the chips on the table and we move up. <laughs> When there isn't somebody to me that's like, he's definitely the one without some negatives. That's why it just made sense to me for Stroud because all the knocks on him, he kind of answered that in his last game, didn't he? In his last college game, he started running around, he started creating space. and So I just thought logically, right, he's definitely going to be the pick. 
it never even occurred to me that they would go with the smaller quarterback until the last two weeks. And yeah. now I'm really, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've been watching videos of Stroud. Because when you saw Stroud's um, pro day, they couldn't have looked any happier, could they? No, they, were, they couldn't have. They, they all looked like they were looking at, like, that's, that's the guy, that's what we want. And to be honest, it's only been recently I've really started realising that it's going to be Bryce. So I guess we're going to see what happens when there's a guy of only five foot ten and, you know, he's weighed in at 203, but, you know, he's been drinking water and eating steak for four days. Mm-hmm. He's probably 15 pounds lighter than that. But the only thing I think is that he's so small, he's going to be elusive. If you're, if the average quarterback say six two, and that's what you're used to being trained on tackling, and and that's what you're focused on, and then suddenly a much slimmer, smaller quarterback, it's going to be harder for them to tackle him. So maybe he'll get hit less. But I don't know. I just I've always liked the big, strong quarterback that would put the game on his back and we're not going to get to see that. But how many times do we see Drew Brees? There'd be 30 seconds to go and he'd just do two or three little passes, 20 yards here, 30 Mm -hmm. yards there, boom, before you know it. And he made it look easy, whereas Cam really didn't have that in his... his Yeah, no, I never... um, I was talking to a a friend of mine today at work and he... And I was telling him, I said, it turns out I got a type. I got a type and that is (laughs) Cam Newton. You know, it's like... I mean, my two favorite pe- players are the most freak athletes in the history of Carolina Panthers football, and yeah. that's Julius Peppers and, and Cam Newton. I have a type. Yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. Uh, this doesn't fit my type. Not that I don't like. And he was like, well, I have a type, and that type is a guy that can step up to the to the offensive line and know where he's going with the football before it's ever snapped. And Cam Newton did have the problem of he needed to see his receivers open and when he had a missile, he could make up for that kind of split second it took for him to see it get open. You know, you're expecting yeah. these guys to play, or at Bryce Young, he's going to have to play a different style of football in the NFL. Um, Cody, did you do you watch that fight Saturday, right? Oh, yeah. I watched yeah. this fight every fight there is to be had, uh, man. You know, I thought the Ryan Garcia, I think he's a good fighter. Um, I know Tank is like is Tank is like a knockout version of Mayweather. I love like I love Mayweather so much. So he's my Tank favorite is fighter. Special, man. Yeah, but the thing though is that I, you know, every time Ryan Garcia got bl- blown up in that fight, he was throwing his best punch, which is the left hook. But it was almost like Tank was too short for to him. It was like difficult for him yeah. to land yeah, it yeah, because yeah. it was like he naturally had to throw it lower than what he was accustomed to having to do. And so, like, I wonder if we're going to see Bryce Young, if guys are going to be running to blow him up and he's just going to duck and they're going to, like, be flying over him and he's just going to come up and be like, ooh, you know. But um, it does sure seem like Bryce Young is going to be the pick. I will secretly, and you brought this up, Cody, that part of the reason not only do I have a type, I'm kind of here for Anthony Richardson being the pick because – how nuts uh, would this podcast be oh, tonight dude, was, if that dude, really was the pick? Dude, it would be fucking bananas. Like, I mean, <laughs> literally, I literally started out with my soliloquy on how everybody should get used to Bryce Young and how you should just accept that it's going to happen. Dude, if it's not him, one, let me tell you what, if it's CJ Stroud, I am going to be talking oh. so much shit to Anthony and G Baby for the next. God knows how many months, dude. I'm gonna it be will break Panthers Twitter. Oh yeah, and it would but then break, let alone it would straight if it's, break Panthers Twitter. And if it's Anthony Richardson, also then, oh gosh, uh, yeah, dude, even more. That's gonna be just <laughs> absolutely it, it, wild it, if that's what ends up happening. Easy, but I, I was almost disappointed when we traded up because I knew it wasn't gonna be him. Because for me, if we'd have managed to pick him lower. And gone with like the uh, Lamar Jackson early career, which is just give him the ball and let him run. And then if he can throw it, you know, I was thinking, let's let's do that. But I'm like you, Tony. I've got a type, obviously. But I suppose if you think of it as like a golfer, we're used to having the guy that can drive the ball. Yeah, 400 yards. Or- <laughs> 400 yards, but he can't, he can't put to save his life. <laughs> right. so- Damn, now AR is cam. Now, so, now we're gonna go for the master of the short game, and let's let's see what he can do. And it, look, it's gonna be yeah. different for us because I've never in my time being a Panthers fan have seen a clean passer. Because we, 
know what it's like when you look back at a relationship and you only remember the good? We forget how many times we watch Cam and I'll just be like, Cam, come on, man. It's, you, you've right. got to make that throw, you've got to do this. And then he'll do a 45-yard run and it all's forgiven. But maybe this is going to be something that right. will be a bit yeah. more consistent. It might be seven out of ten yeah. every game. More consistent. Yeah. More dependable. And we, we can, Yeah, and we can build a team around that. Whereas Cam, you'd either get a nine or you'd get a four, wouldn't you? There wasn't really, apart from the one year, obviously. But I think this no, might I think be you're right. Point. To see a well, I, I, I want to at least address the, the conversation with regard to Bryce, right? So the argument of the Camry versus the F-150, <clears throat> I, I don't like that comparison because I, I think it's a more accurate comparison because I think, um, in my opinion, a bigger quarterbacks can almost lead into them having the more injuries because they're bigger. And I'll, I'll use an example. Yeah. If you have a metal bar, that's three feet long and a metal bar that's two feet long, the metal bar that's three feet long bends much easier than the metal bar that's two feet long. Okay. And that's right. number one. Number two, um, the density of a player is going to impact the aggressiveness of the impacts. So if Bryce Young's getting hit, a lot of times he might just bounce off of the hit. He's going to go down. He's not going to fight through these tackles. Nine bounce times into the hit. fourth row of the stands. Hold on. Hold on. But when you have a, do you think? Here's my question: Do you believe Cam Newton's body, his 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 athleticism and his his physical build, hurt, helped his the amount of hits that he took, or hurt the amount of hits that no, he took? I, I, think I don't think it had point. anything to do with either. I think the fact that we had no offensive you're, line to protect him had no was the reason. Greg, I think his actually, you're wrong. No, you're no, wrong, he, Greg. How many size times is did not the reason no. he took more hits? Greg, Greg, that, that is no. that you're that's unequivocally false. How many times did did Cam Newton? Dive into contact. We see it in right. the 2015 season. But he dove over the bigger. line. That's not because right. he's bigger. It so look, to do that. I, I have an idea. No, head. listen. That doesn't mean yeah. No, no, no. This is a this is a this is a hold up. This is this is a great conversation to have. Yeah. And I want to add in some two voices to this conversation, and I want to get their opinion on it. These guys are my two new showmates on Embrace the Debate, Carolina Panthers, every Monday at 10:30. It's my guy Desmond Johnson and Monty Fetty. Desmond, Monty, what's up, gentlemen? What's going on, guys? It's uh, Ground Zero. We've been waiting on this for oh, yeah. <laughs> what, three We're years. <laughs> Feels Girl, like. Brother. <laughs> Monty, how you feeling, bro? I'm, I'm brother. I'm, I, hey, man, I'm, I'm ready to get this thing started. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, brother. So, Is there any man, anxiety with the moment for you guys? Any anxiety? No. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm anxious. I'm I'm anxious, and I compared it to the day that I got married. Really? Uh, I threw <laughs> up the morning, like, and not because I was knew I was I was thinking I wasn't making a good decision. I just understood the weight of the moment, right? And it was just like, oh God, I better live up to all those things that I promised this woman. Um, that's what for me is. It's so great to have the opportunity to select the quarterback we want, but at the same time, it's like, God, we better get this. It, please work, <laughs> please, yeah. please work. I, I was anxious maybe like a couple of weeks ago when it still wasn't really like when they were going through the you know the pajama Olympics and everything else. Like we still didn't know exactly who they were going to go after, or they weren't revealing it to us. But really, the past, I don't know. 10 days or so I've, I've been settled on Bryce John uh, Bryce uh, young and uh, I'm not worried about his size or any of that stuff. I think hearing him talk like on all the media round that he's gone through like talking to Smitty and talking to uh, the pivot podcast and all these other places he's been on the past couple of weeks and the, the articles that have come out about him. I'm pretty convinced he's him. Like uh, he's that dude. Like he he's given off strong Steph Curry out of Davidson vibes to me. Like, yeah. Well, it, but he was Steph Curry wasn't drafted number one. No. But I do I understand what you're saying is that and the one thing Desmond as I listen to him do all these is like I'm so intoxicated with him when he speaks that I'm a little worried that I'm just being wooed because he's so well like that's where he wins like he's this is the moment he's supposed to win CK to your analogy though of like uh, the cautiousness look when we had Cam Newton we didn't have to put an offensive line around him because we had Cam he was like just go survive bro and win I think the one thing maybe with Bryce Young being small, it's kind of like riding a motorcycle. If you're riding a motorcycle out there, you need to be a, one of the more mm -hmm. defensive, cautious drivers on the road and, and be anticipating things. So, Mamani, um, as this, the size, clearly, I know you guys, I've watched a lot of the things in the creator chat. Um, 
for everybody's telling me is that it's it's all the other things he does uh, overcome that in in everybody's mind. My single question to both of you guys, and then I'll let Cody take the lead, is is he doesn't have a bazooka of an arm. All right. And one of the, when I watch Kyle, when I mean, I'm not, again, I'm an eye test guy when it comes to football, not a football expert, expert football fan. A lot of guys look really fast in the NFL, I mean, in college football, because there's a, other guys on the field that are good athletes, not great. And then you go, wow, he doesn't look as fast as he used to look in the, in college is the arm talent that looks very adequate and can do all the things is it going to look adequate in the NFL or are there going to be moments where you go, I wish this guy could zing it a little bit more. You want to go first money or. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Um, now I think that's a fair question. I, I think the arm talent thing is, can be a little overstated at times. Uh, you know, I, I feel like in, in today's league that, Throwing 50, 60 yard bombs on a consistent basis just isn't realistic. You know, I think that on a on a week to week basis, you may have, you know, each team throw throw the deep ball. And when I mean deep ball, we're talking 40, 50 yards plus two, three times a game, yeah. you know, tops. You know, so I feel like that can be a little overstated. As for between the, you know, 15 and 20, 25 yards, I mean, I, I think he has adequate enough arm, you know, to 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 be an upper echelon quarterback. You know, I feel like Joe <laughs> When you come back, looking back at Joe Burrow, before the year he had his senior season, everybody was saying he was a third round quarterback. Then he comes on have that, you know, that baller season, uh, senior season, and then he's, of course, the number one quarterback. But then he doesn't have the biggest arm in football, but you can argue, say, he's the second best quarterback in football. You know, so I, I mean, I, I think that the arm strength thing can be a little overstated. I think that he has enough, uh, you know, a big enough arm to be an uh, be a upper quarterback, man. And I feel like he does everything else. Right, you know, to where that can overcompensate for not having the arm like Anthony Richardson or not having the arm like uh, Will Levis. But yeah, man, I, I'm all in on Bryce, you know. But I felt this way, and like you said, and we've talked about this in the creator chat. I felt this way for months, man. And I, I thought he could he checked every single box, but being 6'2, 215, you know, and that, that was the only thing that he did check for me. And I was gonna piggyback off of that by saying if Bryce Young was six foot three. There would, he would be the number one no question. unanimous pick of this draft. Like yeah. if it was just everything that we've seen him do on tape for the past two years, and instead of him being 5'10, he was 6'3 okay. with the exact same stats, we wouldn't have these questions. And that, right. that got me over the hump. It's like, especially in today's NFL, quarterbacks can only get hit from here to here. You know what I mean? Like you can't hit them below, you can't hit them up top, you can't can't really hit a quarterback unless you just hit him in the chest. And if he's getting hit in the chest, unless they're runners, and that's what you're getting with a lot of these guys like AR. As well, well so six five two they fifty, are, and they're not old they enough to get the call. Yeah, Cam never got a rough in the passicle ever, did he? So, yeah, no. also, also, this too, guys. I haven't heard this point yet, really, on any show regarding Bryce Young. People are talking about how, uh, you know, they're worried about him getting hurt. Um, we talked about this on Embrace Debate. I think a week or so ago, I brought this up. Remember how referees used to referee Cam Newton because of his size. All yeah. right. Yeah. They yeah. read yeah. him differently because of his size. Who's the you same Remember referee? when the ref told him you're not old enough to get that call? Yeah. Right. But, uh, even beyond even that, uh, just the Denver game season right. 2016, but right. my point is, my point is think about it in reverse with Bryce Young. You know, referees may tend to give him calls because of his size as opposed to the other way around. That's a benefit to us if we have him. It's just a matter of him staying upright and he seems smart enough to avoid contact. Uh, similar to Lamar Jackson, actually. So I'm not worried about his size. In fact, I think it's going to be a detriment to other teams to try to defend him because of his size. I think it's going to be. I just, I just think the thing that worries me is after watching Baker last year, getting passes batted down, batted down, batted down. How frustrating that was to watch. And I know this is a completely different guy. And this guy, you're drafting him for his brain. You're, you're drafting him for the little subtle movements he does, the way his eyes will go to one side to, to open space on the other side, all these little things. But I don't want to go back to that, you know, 10 passes a game being batted down because he's too small to see over the top. And this guy's a lot smaller than Baker. What was Baker? Six foot, six one? Six foot, I think. Like yeah, right about, six about foot. that. But yeah. Baker, I think that was just Baker. So yeah, Baker ain't yeah. Bryce. Like, I think we tried yeah. to do that before. He's not him. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and, okay, can, I, can I just say that, like, all this stuff we're talking about, both every side is fair points. Like everybody's making sense in what they're saying. All I'm saying is, CK, you brought the point earlier about the three foot pole and the two foot pole, and you're right. 
the three foot pole is easier to break. However, you're talking about length, not tensile strength. I'm sorry, a 300 pound guy or 320 pound guy falling on a five foot 10, 195 pound, 195 pound guy has a way better chance of breaking a rib, breaking a leg, breaking an he ankle. He shouldn't be falling on him though. That's You're against right, the rules. Should, oh, well, he shouldn't be, that's but you know it's going to happen. Even if it's against the rules, you know it's going to happen. But so it's not happen. Like, throw the rules out the window. People don't throw the window. What I'm Go saying ahead, is that tensile strength of those bones that are smaller is less than somebody who is bigger. They have less muscles surrounding them, and the tensile strength is less. I'm saying, but you can say I mean, same thing if, if a 300 pound dude fell on Anthony Richardson the right way, like the same. No, but the problem is the, the difference. You can, no, you cannot. You cannot tell me you that can. if, 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 you can't tell me that if a 300 pound guy, if you drop a 300 pound weight on a guy who's 195 pounds, is going to be the same as the guy who's 250 pounds. It's, it's here's, not, here's it's the not reason. The same effect. Here's not the reason. Let's say Anthony Richardson, and, and, and forgive me, I don't need to take it away, Des, but I, I, say Anthony Richardson is not – we know his his number one strength that we know for sure is going to be an asset. We know he's got arm strength, We know, but we don't know where his accuracy is going to be, right? We know he is going to run the ball, and we know when there is contact in front of him, he might try to avoid it, but if it's unavoidable, he's not sliding. You think – Anthony Richardson's not going to go down – in that moment. So let's talk about this, right? Bryce Young sees a guy running at him and he's running towards him. He might be scrambling. Is Bryce Young getting down? Most likely. Now, Anthony Richardson sees that same guy. There's a 300 pound guy, a 300 pound guy running full yeah. force at one another. That impact is incredibly more impactful than Bryce Young is going to take by standing, you know, still in a pocket. It doesn't, yeah, that, that, more, that's way problematic. I would actually yeah, 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 all, mean, all AR is not going to play smart. All these quarterbacks have said that Cam Newton pretty much is their inspiration or idol. You got to think about it. He's got, these kids grew up watching Cam Newton from 2011 yeah. on. You got to assume that they saw the punishment that Cam Newton went through trying to be a linebacker running the football and it shortened his career. So I don't think that, uh, any of these guys, Anthony Richardson, Bryce Young, I don't think they're going to be necessarily looking for contact. I think it's going to be more along the lines of Lamar Jackson, where if you watch Lamar play, he doesn't seek out contact. He's actually really good with avoiding contact, getting out of bounds, sliding, whatever it might be. They don't really they run call plays for him. But the difference is with Cam, it was like they were running a fullback. Like Cam was looking for guys. Well, you had to make some business decisions with Cam. Right, he was the biggest guy on the field. <laughs> I would I, imagine being Dante Jackson or somebody like that, and Cam's oh, barreling yeah. down. You're like, oh god, so, please. Hey, go ahead, Monty. <laughs> nah, are you fine? Uh, but I feel like one of the biggest things that we don't talk about as well is, you know, Bryce does a good job of getting down and not taking yeah. big. You know, I, I, right. I feel like in, in comparative to you know somebody else that we just had in Christian McCaffrey. You know, when Christian McCaffrey got drafted, he was said to be an undersized running back. You know, he said he wasn't a running back one because, you know, he couldn't be a bell cow. He couldn't be a down back. And then Boy, that, oh, the, you know, I feel like, and he just like where Christian McCaffrey and those parallels there, Christian McCaffrey just knew how to not get hit, take, take big hits. He knew how to get down. And that's what I, I see a lot with Bryce. Bryce yeah, knows. but C-Mac was injured. He, he was injured all the time. That's but not from contact. Right. That, yeah, that, was, that wasn't from contact. Yeah. But a lot yeah, of those muscle injuries. That's worse like if it's not yeah. even contact. True, true, true. Same with Cam, though. Honestly, Cam's injuries came from him getting blown up in the pocket more yep. than uh, – than, and maybe that was him staying in there and mind. trying to be Superman. And that, to, to be honest, that that's a little bit of what CK's point was, is that when you are bigger and stronger, you're going to trust your durability more. Yeah, yeah. You might stand in there and take those hits. Some of those hits might be unnecessary just because you feel strong enough to take them. Uh, listen, Desmond Monte, I wanted to get this question in before you guys uh, jump out of here, and I definitely appreciate y'all jumping on. How disappointed would you be if, let's just say, the number one pick is anyone other than Bryce? Do, would you be just distraught? I'm rooting for it. You know our uh, podcast would go nuts how, in the how short would, term. I, I, I want to go with Monty first because yeah. I know that Monty has been – uh, the leader of the Bryce bandwagon. Me and Monty have been going back and forth over this for months now. That is, that, that is Monty's dude. Monty, how disappointed are you going to be if it is a C.J. Stroud or an Anthony Richardson? Or God I, forbid, I, that mayonnaise monster. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's impossible. No. Don't say it. Don't say it. Cody. You're going to speak it into existence. Like, uh, no. Come on. 
knee jerk reaction, I'd probably be pissed at first. Um, but I, you know, I've liked CJ Stroud. I've liked Anthony Richardson all year. You know, like again, we all know like Bryce has been my guy, but I liked all three. So you know, I think is is it better not be anything? I mean, it, it couldn't be anything like anything but a quarterback though. Any. Like, after the fucking defensive end, dog, I would Oh, leave. I know. That would be yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be yeah. I, would, I, would, I might quit the podcast. <laughs> yeah. 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 Most people collected them be like, man, they, they just clowned us. Like they, the Panthers just literally clowned us. But oh. my my thought on this, uh, if it was a different coaching staff, I would be really concerned. But the staff that they've this Avengers unit they've put together on the coaching staff here between Frank Wright and Josh McCown, Thomas Brown, uh who am I free? Uh uh, what's his name? Uh the offensive uh, advisor, Jim Caldwell. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the most I mean? important man, in my yeah, opinion, you know, on the staff. Yeah, you know, the list of guys that are going to be in this rookie's ear, rookie yeah, quarterbacks, but... no matter who they are, it's all about where you get drafted to. Like, yes. if you get drafted to the right Place. spot with the right support system, you can succeed. If you get drafted someplace where it's not in place, you're going to struggle. Look at Baker in Cleveland. He went through like three head coaches in like four years or whatever. So, he, or offensive coordinator. So, I mean, it's all about where you go. Any of those three, if they land here, I think they'll be okay. I this is the best situation for any one of these quarterbacks. I tell you this. Oh, and Monty, I think we do have a bet. I think we still, Monty and I got five bucks. One was this, as he said that Bryce Young would be the first pick. Right. And so I'm going to owe him $5 on that. But I said whoever went to Carolina would have the best season. Oh yeah, Ooh. and so basically, I think we're end up probably having a wash of a bet on this one. We're, we're uh, yep. On each other five bucks, yeah. That's yeah, it. yeah. And I was going to ask you guys before you split the, or and you guys are always welcome to come back and stay as long as you want. You're always welcome to come on the podcast anytime. Um, are there anything else in the draft you're going to be or you're interested in? <laughs> you know, is I mean, I know we're going to have to stay up and watch to the end to see if we trade back in, which is kind of cool in some ways. What else is interesting in this draft? Because even if you look at the teams that are picking uh, uh, kind of high up in this draft, I was trying to arrange some guests and some things. And nobody 2023 wasn't a good year for the Carolina Panthers, but I'm trying to make 2024 a better one for myself. Get started on your resolutions with Factor so you're ready for the new year. Factors ready to eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including keto options, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. Skip that overpriced takeout trap. Factor is cheaper and way more delicious than takeout. Get chef-crafted, restaurant-quality meals delivered right to your door, and they're ready to heat and eat in just two minutes, which means more time for you. Head to factormeals.com slash C350 and use the promo code C350 to get 50% off. That's code C350 at factormeals.com slash C350 to get 50% off. Doctors take Field of Greens for their own health. Here's Dr. Ryan Green to explain. We're like you, too much fast food and not enough exercise. That's why I take Field of Greens. The fruits and vegetables in Field of Greens support my heart, lungs, kidneys, and metabolism for weight loss. And Field of Greens promises your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Get 15% off with promo code HEALTH at fieldofgreens.com. That's promo code HEALTH at fieldofgreens.com. Product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. He's really related to the Panthers, right? Even the teams that have like, it's just like, we don't even really have a long history. I didn't know a ton of people to reach out to. It was just, what are you guys looking at other than the quarterback in this draft? For me, um... I want to, well, we might not know. Well, we might find out tonight. I want to know if, uh, in terms of the Panthers, if they're going to be as aggressive as they've, as they've, as they've been in the offseason so far. And by that meaning, taking that second round, 39th pick and going back into the first. Cause I think it's, I find it interesting that Fitter has mentioned that they spoke to a wide receiver they really liked. And the wide receivers that are on that board that they really like are going to go off the board in the first round. It's almost like he's sending smoke signals like, Anybody want to bow? I mean, he's like, a terrible he, liar, too. You know, like, he's he, didn't like really, he didn't really lie. He's kind, he kind of lays it all out there. People yeah, he's like so lie. open. Yeah, until it goes down. It's almost like uh, 
Don't ever commit a crime with him. He's going to fess <laughs> up right away. But outside of the Panthers, for me, uh, being up here in the triad, I'm in Kernersville, so I'm in between Greensboro and Winston-Salem and High Point. I'm curious to see where quarterback Hendon Hooker lands from Tennessee. He played high, he played high school ball here, won a state championship in Greensboro at Greensboro Dudley. Uh, I covered him. Uh, his father is a, a legend uh, quarterback at North Carolina A&T, who I do stuff with. So I'm re- and he's a really good kid. I- I'm curious to see where he falls because if he hadn't got hurt, we would be talking about us drafting Hendon Hooker. He had the best season last year out of all these quarterbacks until he got hurt. And people have forgotten about it uh, because it happened three weeks before the end of the season. So curious to see where he lands. Hopefully he lands in a good spot uh, that'll have a good support system too. But that that's probably for me the biggest thing going into tonight if Hendon gets drafted in the first round. How about you, Monty? Uh, yeah, I'm looking probably defensive end or receiver. You know, I, I agree with – I'm going to piggyback off that. You know, I I want to see, you know, how aggressive we're going to be tonight. Uh, I, I definitely think those are going to be the two biggest needs after quarterback uh, is defensive end and receiver. Uh, I I hope that we, we get in to get one, man. I, you know, if we can come out today, you know, with one uh, with two with – oh, Either two of those three positions, I feel like we're set for the next five to ten years. And especially, I feel like, you know, we haven't talked about it all year. We have to get somebody to pair with Brian Burns. You know, and I feel like that's... Oh, well, now we, man, now we need to be talking about this is ten years ago, we were coming off a great season, 12 and 4. Right. Uh, with one of the greatest defenses in the history. Arguably, I think our that's- best defense ever was that that 60-sack season. Yeah. Mike Mitchell back there laying the wood in the set, you know. And then Cam Newton opts to have rehab that ankle. By, by the way, I'm going to be putting out a story on CarolinaCatChronicles.com. It's like 98% done right now. And uh, had a late season, sur- late off-season surgery in March. And then now Brian Burns, and they told us the timeline was training camp. You know, we need Brian Burns in this transition to a 3-4. is very important for us. This It was important anyway. Um, uh, so do, we'll we have, a- do we have the live stream from uh, somebody at the uh- – at the draft yet? We are. Yeah, starting. I'm getting We're them start- now. We're all- starting all right, cool. break. Before yep. I get out of here, because I got to go do a hit for Believe, but uh, before I get out of here, mm. I just want to know real quick, what do you guys think about maybe knocking on the door and talking to our old friend Ron Rivera about grabbing Chase Young since they're not going to up his fifth-year option? I'm totally down for that. Two, two first, they're talking about two first-round draft picks. I don't know. Uh, too much. First. <laughs> first. <laughs> not too first, hurt. but I would love to talk about yeah, having a team. <laughs> He's so hurt. Two first yeah. round for Montez as well? Yeah, is he coming too? <laughs> because, well, I mean, mm-hmm. like, like they, they said either or. Oh uh, no, that's why. No, nah, that's yeah. That's, it's too rich. I think it's a first rounder, man. Just period. Yeah. Like, I mean, if even that, I don't know. Nah, there, yeah, or his injury, maybe a second. Right. Get your plugs before you leave, though, please. Uh, Monty, you go. You go first. I, um, yeah, man. Hey, uh, I'll find you. <laughs> Westside Fetty, um, you know, on, on Twitter, uh, you know, I would definitely uh, follow the four man rush on Twitter as well. I uh, appreciate y'all fellas having this on, man. It's always a pleasure talking junk with y'all. Uh, Cody, you, you, man, you know, brother, you my sparring p- partner. So, you know, I, I definitely really, really appreciate you inviting me on. Um, and yeah, man, let's you know, let's- man. Um, for, uh, for me, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, Daz, D E Z underscore three five zero five. Um, I, I host Embrace Debate with these two guys here. It's every Monday live at 1030 a.m. So you can catch that. Get ready uh, for the rest of your work week. I also host the Believe in Carolina Panthers podcast with uh, Sports Illustrated Panthers beat writer Skylar Callahan and all-time Panthers leading rusher Jonathan Stewart. Those usually come out Wednesday, Thursdays in the offseason. We're on twice a week during the season. Uh, Stu's actually going to be presenting the second round pick uh for the panthers tomorrow oh wow great that's why we had done an episode this week because he's actually at the uh the thing itself and skyler's at the party at the uh the call or at the arena and i'm in my living room so <laughs> but, yeah uh, hey, uh, hey, well, well, guess what well, the that. bathroom is closed at least <laughs> and then go. follow us at, uh, follow me on tobacco road sports radio at tobacco radio for uh everything panthers hornets anything north carolina centric uh we got you covered there from the the middle of the state so uh appreciate y'all having us on too yeah, go check them out, folks, man. And uh, we'll be debating this and uh, be excited going forward. Thanks for Bye thanks guys. for coming on, guys. I appreciate y'all, man. Keep pounding. All right, fellas. All right. Keep the pounding, pick brother. is we're, we're going to bring Jay Cryer I'll, back I'm, in. I'm, I'm working on getting uh, either Kev or Matt, who's both at the at the – draft right now so y'all y'all take the show while i do stuff so what, tony i've got a question for you so if, bryce, if bryce is the pick yeah who do we believe has the final say because all the talk for weeks was the coach loves 
Stroud and Tepper loves Bryce. So if he's the pick, who do you all think made that decision? Well, I tell you this is one thing that I've I've noticed about Frank Wright, and even from his time in Indianapolis, he kind of he worked with an owner who was difficult to work with, right? Uh, what's his name? I forget. Uh, it'll come to me in just a second. Um, Irsay, uh, who's just kind of a wackadoo in his own right, right? It's that typical billionaire, um, you know, big personality, plays in a rock band and involved. And he also has a, the, and I forget the guy's name too, who was the general manager who's got a real big ego. And I felt like Frank Reich was able to manage and find consensus. So I think Frank Reich's a guy that's easy to work with. So I don't know if Frank Reich had a guy and then he had to come over to the other side. I think he probably had things to say about all of the guys. Honestly, I think it's probably Tepper. I mean, not Tepper, uh, Scott Fitter, that is, has been driving the charge for Bryce Young. I could almost see Tepper falling, kind of being like me, and that is just falling with, in love with whoever has been the most recent thing, right? So it's like, oh, I love Bryce Young, and then I saw C.J. Stroud play Georgia. He looked great. Now I love C.J. Stroud, and then I saw Anthony Richardson at the combine, I love everything. And like people are kind of talking him back to a mean or a median. So I would actually say, I think that fitter has been the guy that's probably been the most consistent about Bryce young. He's talked a lot about Russell Wilson. He's overcome the size. I think uh, he has, has been prob. I think it's, I think it's Dave, uh, Scott fitter. That's my answer. Okay. Because they, they, they're making a link back to uh, Russell Wilson, aren't they? Yeah. But they were completely different body types. He was short but stocky, wasn't he? He's quite... Yeah, he was a... I mean, he was a, a, a significantly different prospect. First, he was older. Um, and, yeah, and I don't think just because he's shorter that he's the same, you know? I mean, as Bryce is such a, a frail... He's a diminutive is how I've described him. Um, so no, as a chat, well, chat, you guys do whatever you got to do in the chat. It's going to be hard to regulate if we can keep people from breaking them. We're going to, I'm going to turn the, I'm not going to look at the comments right away. One of the things that's interesting to me, and I was hoping that Desmond and them would have, cause I know they guys, these guys watch football tape like crazy is every year. There's kind of a run on a position, you know, it's like something happens weird. I go back to that, uh, John Ross draft where he ran the four, two and he went like in the top five. And then all of a sudden, all the other teams afterwards were like, we got to get a wide receiver. We got to get a wide receiver. It seems like, I mean, clearly the quarterbacks that are the run on this one in this early in the draft. I wonder afterwards for teams who aren't focused on a quarterback, where those players are going to go. And that's where this draft has been kind of boring to me because I've only been looking at the number one pick. I barely even care who the bears are going to go after, right? What this is going to happen or the Texans, I should say, um, I guess their quarterback. So some of those trends we see in this first round, is this going to end up being one of those drafts where we think, Oh, there's not a lot of talent, but then we go back and look at it in 10 years and there's like 10 hall of famers or something in this draft is there, is it going to be defense that's often? So these are some of the things I'll be interested to see and how some of these other teams are kind of trying to maybe parlay. You know, now you got teams like Green Bay that have some draft capital they could work with to move around in this draft if they wanted to. Are we? Where is the excitement going to be coming? Because for us, it's just making that pick and waiting around to see if we trade back into the first. Cody, Hey, you yeah. got any – I mean, if you're back now, if you still need some time to keep talking, yeah. to, tracking these uh, guys down, where have you – I know you do since you do so much with draft tech. Where do you – are there any signals of, like, maybe how there could be draft surprises or or whatever it may be? Yeah, I think there's a few edge defenders that could end up falling, and maybe that's why the Panthers are interested in going back up into the second round. You're already hearing some rumors of that. Um, I, I don't know. One of the, the narratives that you're hearing 
and we talked about this a little bit with Joe DeLone on Tuesday, is that, you know, there aren't a lot of quote-unquote blue chip prospects in this draft. In fact, someone said that there's only about, or according to one person's draft board, uh, that, you know, there might be about 15 first-round players or players with a first-round grade in this draft. And, you know, that, that's really interesting because since you don't have this plethora of like, oh, you cannot miss on this player type of talent, it really makes the draft board that the Panthers have built all the more important because it's what do they value and where do they value them in the draft. And that's going to be really important going forward. You know, we've, we've had in a bunch of receivers like Jonathan Mingo and Jackson Smith and Jigba, and it seems like they might be interested in drafting another wide receiver, even though we've added so many via free agency. So I, I don't know, man. It's going to be really interesting to see what ends up happening. Um, and right, yeah, well, man, it's going we're to be on the like, clock. Are we on the clock right now? Yeah, uh, white, uh, white chocolate's in the background. He's trying to come in. He's telling me that he has some terrible cell phone service. Uh, okay. Up there. It's all so right. We're gonna, Tell we're him we're he's he no, I mean he, he's trying to join right now, but uh, no, I'm talking about like they like it's yeah, almost yeah. intentional that they don't yeah. have good cell service like in that area right. because of yeah. them not wanting to the let NFL people watch. NFL is here. trying to stop this. How about this? Yeah. While we up oh, up, oh, look at this. Um, how about we uh, take a call real quick? Somebody called in a little bit earlier. Let's take one call before see, but because it's going to be dated after we make the pick. Uh, as we wait and see, because and then we'll stop okay. it if we get and some news. Of, yeah, well, as of right now, uh, Roger Goodell is about to officially put the Panthers on the clock, so we're about to be ready. All right, well, let's take this quick call. We're on the clock. I think we're taking the call. We're not taking the call. All right, man. Why does it always do this on the first one? Who's got the who's got the clock? Hey, I believe that the Panthers are going to do great things this season. Hi, my name is Chris. Um, I've been a fan of the Panthers for quite some time now. I seriously think that we are going to do well this year, no matter who the quarterback is, whether it's CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, mainly those two guys. I still think we're going to do phenomenal. We have a good receiving core. We have a good O line. We have an ace backup quarterback in, in Dalton. Our defense is solid, but we also have to make sure that we run the 3 4 defense correctly. If we don't run it correctly, I don't think we are going to be as solid as we have been before. But I do enjoy everything that we have done this offseason with hiring Reich. With getting new coaches, getting these star players that are so overlooked, yes, we have the potential to be great. And I just can't wait for this season to start. I keep pounding, folks. Keep pounding. Oh, there's Tepper right there. Um, right. I, I'm, okay. at, I'm at eight minutes and 24 seconds. I'm at eight forty five. So you're I'm at eight twenty. Okay. I'm at eight nineteen. I'm me and Cody you're exactly on the same. Yeah, okay. so it seems like uh like uh me and CK are probably gonna get it first. We'll probably be the first ones uh to announce it. Hold on, let me see something. Again, I'm working in the background here. Well, um, yeah, I mean, this is the the pressure is on for us is that I'm excited. I'm, I've been as I've been working on this story about Brian Burns. I also have some nervousness in the background because while there's been so much excitement that has come and optimism that has come with um, us getting a new coaching staff and getting this shiny new toy, which is our quarterback, um, you know, we are going through a transition period on our defense. There's going to be a lot of questions about how some of these players like um, your your term, Gross Matos, um, how maybe Amari Barno or whoever else you want to pin in that we don't know a lot about how they're going to play in this new scheme. There's some new faces on this, and we think we like to think that that defense has been in such good or in pretty good shape. But, you know, you really need Dante Jackson. And, you know, there's some health question marks on that defense, too, about the health. 
So I, I know that we think about the optimism of, of things, but there will probably be some growing pains uh, in some respects. But I tell you, it's nice to really believe in the coaching staff that they can handle it. Oh, what do we got here? Uh-oh. Where's your time at, Kev? Yo, Kev, I don't know if you can hear us. We can hear you, man. We got you live on stream. Getting close. Gosh, I'm, I'm at 629 right now. And is, is it in Kansas City or is it it's yeah, not in Indianapolis? No, I no, thought it was Indianapolis. I've been City. saying it's in Indianapolis forever. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's about to happen. It's about the to happen. combine that's in Indianapolis. I'm gonna, oh hey, gosh. chat, I'm turning off the comments. I cannot see the comments. Uh, we're just going to be listening to see who the pick is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, gosh. my palms are sweaty. I'm so nervous right now. This is where we need. I can't you know, well, this is the beginning of a legacy. In 20 years, this if we have the number one pick, there's going to be 500 Panther fans there. I wish so bad we had next year's number one pick. I'm not going to lie. But I am so excited right now for what's going to happen in five minutes, 35 seconds. Hey, by the way, everybody hit that like, man. We have someone at the draft. These three members on the ground. Look at that. Look at that beautiful face. Yeah. 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 That beautiful guy right there. Oh, let's go, man. Hey, hit that like button if you're enjoying the content. Trying to get you, uh, you know, first-hand news about who the Panthers are drafting in number one. Why it's like the NFL have some way of tracking this down and copywriting this shit. Right. No, you can't copyright this shit. We're, we're, this is our own film. You have the right to film whatever you want to. Yeah, we're not still in their broadcast. Yeah, you have the right to film whatever you want to. Oh, they made the pick. They're all oh. applauding. Dick is in, baby. Hey, what, what time are you on, CK? Well, I'm just watching them uh, applauding in the draft room, and there's somebody on the phone. So, Yeah, but what, what what's the time that you're on? 4.30. Down at 4.34. Yeah, okay. You're, yeah, I'm seeing it now. Hey, are you on ESPN or are you on NFL Network? I'm on ABC. Oh, okay, I'm on NFL I'm Network. I'm on ESPN. I'm at 4.20 right now. 4, 13, 12, 11, 10. Right. Dave, 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 I'm not looking at the chat. Chat, we cannot see what you're saying. You're invisible right Pick now. Pick us in. The pick pick is is in. Is in. Let's go. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we effing go. Oh, my gosh. Turn the card in. They started it over. We got a well, guy. Far pick, yeah, if our pick is in, the next clock starts for Houston. So we just got to wait for them to announce ours. Oh. You know, I wish we could have heard the boo in for Roger Goodell. You just weren't listening. It was there. It was definitely there. I don't think we heard it for Kev yet because we weren't on that. You know, oh, you come on, Kev. See? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. Don't be showing me no Baker Mayfield. All right, so I am wrong. They are not long, trading. Long time. I am wrong. They have not traded the first pick. They are making a pick. So we'll see what happens. Oh. Oh, Boy, they really on. know how to milk this one, don't they? I know. I hope. Yeah, of I hope. I hope they make guys like crazy. So oh, much for up. running to the podium. Well, you only run to the podium if somebody hasn't made their pick. So you can get right. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh my God! I'm half expecting them to. We talk over the music. Talk over the music. Yeah, I'm half expecting. I'm really half expecting this to be somebody we did not. Nobody's expecting. Like I'm just like, I am. I am really hoping that this isn't a Daniel Jones or Daniel Trubisky type. Or uh, don't be Will Levis. Yes, I agree. I agree. Come on. Let's see. It's gonna be Bryce Young. There's nobody else. No, he's pissed. Look at him. Who's pissed? pissed. Pick Bryce Young, look at him right here on the feed. He's pissed. Pick he ain't got no phone. All right, he said the pick is in. The pick is in. 
Bryce Young. Yeah. Bryce right. Young. Let's go, baby. Let's Bryce go. Up in the I, draft. I am leaning into the short guy. Thank you, Kev. Thank you, I Kev. We got the, yeah, I'm still waiting on the feed. Wow. All right. All right, Kev, go have fun, brother. Go have Kevin, fun, Kev. Kevin, you're the man, brother. We love yeah, you, dog. Appreciate, appreciate you, it. man. Bryce Young, the number one pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Can- the Carolina Panthers' new savior. We're going to call him Atlas. Atlas Shrugged from now on. Kev, love you, bro. Love you, man. Have fun. All right, take him out of there real Bryce quick. We Young don't need to see these quarterback. Steeler oh. booties. All right, so Bryce Young is the pick is in. The number's 252-228-5098. You can go ahead and bring the comments back up now, guys. Bryce Young, the new Carolina Panthers uh, quarterback, the guy who is most prepared to take the job right away and bring this team into really contention for me is this, is that now we have the best quarterback and the best coaching staff in the NFC South. And that's where the expectations immediately come. No learning curve. Bryce, Bryce, baby. Bum, ba dum bum, bum, bum. Bum, ba dum bum, bum, bum. Bryce, Bryce, baby. Oh, my Lord. Guys, it's finally happened. He is the guy. Atlas. <laughs> He's holding can we? Up. Can we talk about why in the heck our draft cap is that garbage? Yeah, that is the like worst. It. I do not like that at all, dude. That's the that's the official one they put out this year. Oh, though, right? I, I know. I don't like hey, it. Let's get Jay, I, 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 let's I live, get Jay's live, opinion. He can't stay up late. So yep. Jay, yeah, he's, I, I, we, we I just, just want to say, I just want to say real quick. I'm right by the stadium. Uh, they just set off fireworks at the stadium, and I nice. heard them from my house. Nice. Go ahead, Jay. Yeah, I think it's what we expected, but. Uh, that's it. It's the start of a new chapter. And um, that's it. No more looking at other quarterbacks and thinking what could be. It's, it's time to just get behind him. And, you know, I've enjoyed the draft so much the last few years because it's kind of been what we've been we've had to hold on to after some poor play. Um, but now I'm excited. You know, we're all in now. And there's no reason to want to see us tank or anything because... We haven't got a draft pick, and that's it, hundred percent. Now we're right behind the quarterback, and it's exciting. It's a fresh start, and uh, you know, if he's anything like the last time we picked number one, then we've got a lot to look forward to, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Is that uh, big expectations, Cody Lack? It's here. Um, who is? You know what? We're gonna have to start. We're gonna put the link out in just a moment to bring some people in. It's time to open this up to the fans. Um, you know, I guess who is going to be the most excited person in the world? It's G baby. It's G baby. And you know that he has been rooting. I think part of it is that G baby likes Bryce Young because they kind of resemble each other a little. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, doing like 15 yeah. different things. Okay. Uh, it's all right. yeah, and, uh, okay. and, and, and in a minute, uh, we can let people in too. Just tell me whenever you're ready, Tony. All right, so uh, the pr- the pick is in. Next up on the clock is the Houston Texans. I guess the question we'll be watching is where will, in some in some degrees, is this? Is I'm very excited, like uh, Jay said, that it took some of the mystery and the intrigue out of this draft and being number one. I'm kind of interested in this. Is like, what if you were sitting there at pick nine? and Stroud falls to nine, you know, we're going to be watching to see if who the Texans take here. Do they punt? I think uh, I would be really upset if I was a Texans fan and they punted on a quarterback right here is who really cares. You don't want to be back at number two or number one next year. That really shows such a long process. Hate that concept. I'd rather just miss on the guy and then be back in the top five than to, be back in the top five because you didn't even have the guts to take somebody. But we'll be watching to see if somebody like Anthony Richardson surprises. Will CJ yeah. Stroud go number two? And if neither of those guys go number two, where, what would we have been? What would have our options been at number nine? 
Because you got to say, I mean, it is an intriguing thought to say, what if we didn't do anything and somehow Stroud was there at number nine? What would that have been like? You know, I'm really probably most concerned, CK, is that uh, the Atlanta Falcons getting a decent quarterback here. Yeah, it's possible. But the Texans pick is in. They did not trade back. So that doesn't bode well for the Falcons um, if the uh, Texans are going to go ahead and just uh, pick CJ Stroud. Because that's going to leave a lot of uh, a lot of uh, is going to leave the Colts getting their guy. Um, you know, I think the Falcons would have to trade up for the, with the Cardinals here in order to be able to get uh, any one of these uh, either AR or uh, or Levis at this point in time. I think it's the Panthers the got their guy. It's the littlest guy in the world, and you know what? It's something to cheer about is that he is our guy now. Hey, and like Jay, go I'm ahead. I'll jump in and say my good boys now because um, it's nearly half two here in Spain. But it's been a pleasure. I, I love this show every year. It's nice to see everything's the same except you've got much nicer set up now. I noticed and the cameras are looking clean and stuff. <laughs> yeah. You've come, you, you come a long way in the last <clears throat> nine years. But thanks, boys. I always listen. I know I don't get to catch up with you a lot. But I always listen the next day on the podcast and... Uh, just keep up the good work, and maybe this will be the year I finally get out to Carolina. And I keep, yeah, playing. man. If not, I'm coming to you soon. Uh, you Jay, forward. I love you, man. Uh, man, it's so great catching up with you. Uh, be good, my man. Yeah, thanks, boys. Keep hiding, everyone, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. All right, the number is 252 228 5098. That's 252 228 5098. We want to get your thoughts on the Panthers draft pick. I'm going to go ahead. And uh, I'm going to put the link out because I think it's time to make this show uh, as we continue to monitor the draft about the fan. And we've said a lot over the last CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud. Pay me my $25, Anthony. Pay me my fucking $25. Stroud went too. Stroud went too. Look, look, y'all, I'm not going to say right now. I'm I'm going to lean into – into Bryce because he's my guy now. I can't get away from that. But I am so fucking pissed off right now. Oh, stop, so, Greg! You know what? No, you know I'm what? Sorry. You should be. I, I need to make yeah, it over. Yeah. I'm so pissed off Bad right now. That we have chat. Bryce Young and they have CJ Stroud. I guess oh what's happening? Stroud. Uh, week one, guys. Mm. Week one. <laughs> Panthers versus Texans. I know. I called it. I called it. Yeah. I said. <laughs> yeah. Look. It, it, like, like it, oh. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Like, yeah, like it or not, here's how it is. The the Houston Texans fooled everybody. They fooled Scott Fitter. They fooled everybody. They said we didn't want CJ Stroud, and yet they did. Agreed. I agree with you 100. percent They fooled everybody. Yep, I agree. You're looking at the better quarterback right there. I'm, I promise you, CJ Stroud will have a better better career than oh, Brett Jones. Dude, that. he's Send me he, a break. I'm telling you. You I'm, don't know that. And you don't know that about Trevor Lawrence, but you said that he yeah, was the so fucking yeah, and, next and coming of Jesus. I was right like, about Trevor. We have no uh, right now. Well, Bryce he had a good Young, year last year. Bryce we'll Young is going to a better situation than Agreed. CJ Stroud. By far, by far. far. we do not so have we do advantage. not have a crystal ball to look into the future and say who's going to be more successful. Everybody thought Sam do. Darnold was going to be the best quarterback in his draft, and how did that turn out? He, Greg, Greg, Greg hides it under his beard. I do. I have a crystal ball. <laughs> it's always right. <laughs> I, also uh, a, I also have a freezer full of crow that I eat all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, hey, I man, just, let me welcome in my guy, Drew. Drew, what's, what's up, brother? What's going on, fellas? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I'm good. And uh, hey, uh, let me also welcome in the man, G. Kavasi. Hey, baby. Hey, what's how up, y'all bro? doing, y'all? Hey man, how y'all feeling about Bryce? Man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I damn near got tears in my eyes, man. I'm so yeah. happy. I'm so damn happy for this damn pick, man. Oh my god, man. The South, I'm saying this shit right now. The South is ours. I'm telling you, the South is ours. It's Agreed. ours. Drew, how you feeling, yeah. brother? Hey, as I've been saying since the beginning, whoever they pick, that's who I'm getting behind. So Bryce Young is the man. Let's roll. Hell yeah. And congratulations, CK. Hey, I appreciate absolutely, it. Absolutely, <laughs> CK. Congrats, man. Congrats, hey, uh, CK. I appreciate it, fellas. I, 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 I got to throw this out there. A, a, few, a few hours ago, I read on Twitter that um, 
remember where it was, but I read on Twitter that um, rumor at the time was that the Texans were going to go to Stroud. And the reason why was their head coach went to the owner and had a private meeting with the owner in which the owner overrode the GM because the GM didn't want a quarterback. But I, like I said, I don't know if that's truth or rumor, but let's go back on to what we're talking about. So just um, up the thought. Hey, man, let me welcome in uh, my man, KPM, and from the beautiful Isles of Hawaii, JD864. Gentlemen, what's up, boys? How y'all feeling? Yo, what's good? I'm, I'm actually uh, in in class right now. I just, I just stepped outside of uh, Hop on, see how you guys are doing. Worth how you feeling? How you feeling? Man? How you feeling about this pick? I, I ain't. I'm, I'm like I said it a few weeks back. I really didn't have a dog in the fight with Stroud or Young, but um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm cool with the pick. I think for Young coming to us because we're not the, the prototypical situation for for a number one overall draft pick. Like he's probably going to – if he's the starter week one, which by all accounts he should be if he's that dude. Um, yeah, come week one, he should be able to hit the ground running. Like he, He's going to have a, a damn good offensive line ahead of him. He's going to have some skill position guys out there. Uh, so, yeah, man. I, in all honesty, I just, I just hopped on a uh, crack of joke or two listening to what y'all saying. <laughs> Word uh, up, man. man. That's, uh, that, that's your last name, man. You got that. You're going to get that young jersey on the back of the shirt, right? Bro, like, I, I, again, I said this a few weeks back. If he's picked, he needs to hit Cam up and see if he, he can rock the number one. But, yeah, put some respect on the family name. We build different. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. The Bryce is right, somebody put in the chat. The Bryce is right. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I like that. It. I like that a lot. That's a good yeah. t-shirt. You know what? We're going to have to do that, Greg. Let's go ahead and get on We're the Bryce is Right in the Bryce is in the Price is Right font. Can I put the wheel on there and have all the quarterbacks that were going to be drafted? Oh, like, man. There you go. Oh, that like actually is a good – that's go. a really good idea. Hey, uh, CJ, yeah. Stroud, where's our bumper? Go- hmm? Can we have a bumper for uh, Bryce? Oh, yeah. Oh, we do, do we have, have a Bryce Young? Yeah. I made all three of them, yep. Uh, is it uploaded yet? It is. Yeah, I'll put it on. Uh, Hang on. Let's yeah. see. Uh... Hey, the Texans are trading up to number three. Here you go. Here's You're our price. Uh, yeah, that, Texans are trading up to Arizona I, to number three. I they knew it would be the Texans. They're going to get that the, defensive. The Titans. The Texans they, did what I thought we were going to do and be ultra aggressive. They don't want to get mm-hmm. amped and watch. They're they're doing what I thought we were going to do. They got the quarterback uh, okay. and they get the defensive end. Yep. Uh, Why yeah. not when you have all the picks Those in the world? Cornerstones for yeah. a franchise right yeah. there. Quarterback hey, and defensive end. Hey, Greg, did, did you read that article on Panthers in, Panthers.com about Federer trading up? They uh, I, today? I, no. No, uh, they had you the need tweet. To read didn't they have that, the yeah. text in there? The text, the piece of paper. Uh, yeah. We got in here. We also got KPM in here. P- KPM, did you tell us how you felt about this pick yet? I just got two things to say. Well, two <laughs> words to say. Well, no, we're gonna get three words to say. Bryce up, son. Bryce, oh, Bryce up, baby. Yeah, Bryce I like that up, one too. Son. Bryce up. I like that. Uh, man, it's a big day for the Carolina Panthers. The second time we've had the number one pick and the uh, overall pick in the draft, and the second time we've picked a quarterback to lead us into the future. This one, in so many ways, is so different from the last pick we made at number one. Cody brought up that great point is that the polar opposite of Cam Newton, right? And that doesn't mean in a bad way. It just means different. So it's a new era in Carolina, and uh, the Bryce is right right now, and the Houston Texans are getting super aggressive. I wonder, you know, this is probably, who is this? This is great for the Colts, right? It is. Because nobody else leapfrogged them into Mm. the three spot. That is going to pick a quarterback. So the question is, do they go Anthony Richardson? They will. They will. I think that's got to be the pick. I was hoping that. I hope they do. So bad. I hope they do. It's my number two team. All right. Pick number three. Hey, real quick. Speaking of uh, our new quarterback. Well, yeah, let's see him in, and here's, and then I'll go with our new quarterback. So everybody, just so you know, this is the guy right here. Yeah, Will Anderson. Will Anderson. All right. 
Told you. I told uh, you. Wow. You know, I love that by the Texans. Is you know, because Nick Nick Casario's his job, he's on the hot seat. I, Nick Casario I, is on moves. the hot seat. You're right. He's yeah. got to make moves. Yeah. So I thought right. it would be that Wilson kid, but he's got some leg injuries, so that may cause him to fall a little bit in the draft. Yeah. I wonder All right, what Glenn, 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 Let's Houston see what we got Texans here. Select Will Anderson, number three overall. Yep. So they get their quarterback and they get their edge rusher. Well, yeah. you know what? Well, the- they can take that. We got this. Whoa, well, what just happened? Uh, uh, do it one more time, Greg. I was trying to get the comments off. Try it one more time. My, my bad. Oh, you so good. anti-climatic. I know, right? I thought I had it. I was like, hit the button. Cody gets Go. one beer in him. One beer nah, in him. Dude, dude, I'm doing 15 <laughs> different fucking things at once, bro. Gotta mm. add that to the Hit it again, takes. Greg. All right, here we go. I th- I think this Love is it. a great opportunity to bring in one of the biggest uh, Bryce Young fans that there is on the planet, or at oh, least okay. in Panther Nation. Oh. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony Piccarello. Yo, in what the, house. the fuck is up, C3? Woo! <laughs> That's the energy we wanted. Let's go, Cody. I'll have your money for you, but on the side note, we got Bryce Young. Let's fucking go. A new era in in Panthers country. Let's freaking go. <coughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Like, y'all I'm are happy, making me man. feel better about this already. Hey, Tepper, Tepper said so, he made uh, this move with the mindset to win Super Bowls. I'm I'm happy about this. Let's go, man. Let's go. So let, let's let's put this out there. We should probably consider putting Lovey Smith in the Ring of Honor for uh, helping yes. us get to the number one spot. <laughs> oh, dude, he's the he's gonna be all. T- if we get a Super Bowl because of this, Lovey Smith needs uh, to have a a banner in the. Uh, you know, he, he needs to be a part of the Super Bowl parade. Him and Davis yeah, Mills. Dude. I mean, uh, part of the Ring of Honor. It's like him and yeah, Sam Davis Mills. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of wild, isn't that so wild that they. And this kind of is a little ir- reminiscent of those couple of wins we've had in the past where we fell out of really good picks because we had some meaningless win. But at least those were falling from like four to seven or something. Falling out of one from one to two. You know what? But good for Lovey. Good for Lovey. Making yeah. him, they're making him the fall guy. They put him in that situation. Way to screw him back. Yep. Way to screw Nick Casario well, and all those guys back right there. But then Casario right said now, this. Is we don't, I don't got – but this is my last year. Unless we make a big leap and a big jump, we're not getting it done. And, boy, I like this attitude if you're a team and you've got a lot of uh, collateral in, of draft picks to move up. And to be honest, we're going to stick around now to the end of the draft because the Carolina Panthers have been playing hardball like this in a little bit this season too, moving up from nine to one. Man, I'm almost ready for this. How cool would it be, guys? Would you be upset? And I, I, uh, I'll ask Drew. I'll start with Drew on this. Drew, would you be upset if tomorrow night when I kicked off the Friday free-for-all because I might have to cover for Cody? He'll still come in. I know he'll show up anyway because he can't let his little minions turn to my side. Um <laughs> Would you be upset if we weren't picking any more in the draft and we just had uh, Bryce Young and the wide receiver? Who's the guy? In in Jagaboo or whatever. Like, what if we were just over tonight? What if the Panthers draft was just over and we're like, I wouldn't mind it being over, but not for a wide receiver. Oh, okay. Exactly. Okay. Then for who? We need a linebacker or a pass rusher. Yeah. Do you think there's one Tyree out there Wilson, that's worth giving let's up just get the, the rest Tyree of the draft? Wilson guy, which I got a foot injury. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, is that, is that Anthony Richardson? Look the rest of the draft because you got to remember they're talking Uh-oh. about into the back end of the first round. Ar so, might be going to Indy. 
Is that a- AR right there? Oh no, I that's the love that. Oh my but, gosh, um, I love that. Honestly, I, I like the two. I like the two linemen. <clears throat> I like uh, what is it? Uh, the Jack Campbell Bruce, guy. Jack Campbell and uh, Drew Sanders. Yeah, I think you're gonna. I think they might fall on the first, but I'm I'm kind of interested. I'm just more my style now is uh, we go back to the Panthers first draft with Matt rule where we picked eight defensive players or whatever. And it's the first time in whatever years. And then only two of them are on the team still. I'm kind of more interested in this is not having a lot of picks, but just getting a cup, a few really good picks that you invest in quality over quantity. Yeah, I agree. Cause I mean, think about it. If you draft a receiver, where are they going to start? Who you, who you taking out of the starting lineup? You're not taking Terrace Marshall Jr. out of the starting lineup. Nope. You're not taking Adam Phelan out of the starting lineup. And you're not taking DJ Shark out of the lineup. And you still got LaVisca Chanel. You still got Shy Smith. We can't forget about Bird. So I'm like, you know, where are you going to put him? I mean, it's going to leave somebody out. Ooh. And I think you leave, hey, you leave the potential out. He went to the Colts. Oh, Anthony Richardson. Oh, uh, AR to the Colts. That's good. That's fine. Hey, listen. A- the AFC is about to be stacked with quarterbacks. I am perfectly fine with them taking all of the remaining uh, quarterbacks at this point in time. Because I, I think anybody – I agree. The, I agree. The next I agree. NFC team that I think is even going to have a chance at picking a quarterback is going to be the Falcons. And I think you have a bigger shot of having Will Levis taken uh, even before that. I mean, you have – uh, you have a, a few situations. I mean, who's going there. next? Who's pick next? Who's pick is next? Number five. Um, at, the, it's uh, the Seattle. Seahawks. Yeah, Seattle yeah. could yeah. could in fact. I mean, I know Geno Smith yeah. had a good year and he just signed a big good. contract. They could still go with the quarterback yeah. here. Um, if Indy had gone Will Levis, I think Seattle one thousand percent would have gone AR. So I don't know that yeah. Will Levis is going to be a Seattle's style of uh, quarterback that they'd want, but we'll see. If Will Levis uh, is I, as bad as people I, say, I hope he goes to Atlanta. Yeah, well, um, yeah. the, the Seahawks, the, the G- Geno Smith's contract is tech is really a one or two year deal. They yeah, can get out yeah. of the I, I think they were really hoping AR would have been there. For yeah, them. I agree. Uh, when you yeah, think about like the, right the, think about the, uh, the people that they've, uh, they've drafted. I mean, DK Metcalf, that is a, freak of nature and so i think they would have 1000 percent gone with the uh with the anthony richardson uh uh pick if uh, if he was yeah, there at five i think it would have been good too yeah, for a guy who's kind of a developmental player in some ways where you don't want to put the pressure and the onus on him to start from day one that he could study under a year or until gino gets hurt or but returns back to earth um you know you're kind of wondering what the raiders are going to do here and you know That's what I, I was thinking. one thing is they weren't they weren't gonna like a guy like Anthony Richardson anyway, because the problem with their coach, who is this what's the guy that came from New England? Uh, uh not um he used to be coach Denver a while back. Uh everybody loves him and he's uh, just like been terrible too. He's not been uh, a good head coach. He's a good offensive coordinator, supposedly. His system McDaniels. is McDaniels, yeah. He's supposed to be his system so complicated, right? It's like it's overly complicated. So I don't know if and I'm not saying that Anthony Richardson couldn't help it. I just think that or couldn't handle it. I just don't think that he's going to want a guy that's kind of like a Bryce Young guy who is more polished in the terminology and in the game a little bit so he can pull out the 900 play playbook here. But uh, Anthony Richardson going to the Colts. Just remember, remind you guys, this is the coach for the Colts is the former offensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles who had a lot of success with uh, Jalen Hurts and the reason that he uh, got a big job, not the reason, but was able to successfully help him get one of the big contracts. That's a play style that he knows how to work with. So you could see a lot of success happening with the Colts with I mean that might be a good fit for Anthony Richard and imagine how fast Anthony Richardson's going to be on turf it's like a track star hey guys I'm gonna hop out of here I'll let other people join I got people at my house but like this is awesome I'll, I'll try to hop it back in later man but all right man man thanks for joining man congrats later brother oh yeah for sure we're in good hands now it's going to be a great um future for us so keep pounding everyone keep yeah pounding. 
I don't totally know. excited. Uh, G, I'm really excited about this. Is G, you know, you've been with the C3 Panthers podcast. You've been listening to the show probably as long as anybody has. Um, this is a different type of player than we're accustomed to. And that we had Cam Newton, who was the freak of nature athlete, the guy that could throw a football through a piece of plywood, who could <laughs> run over, who could run over anybody, who could who could have been a defensive end, honestly, in the NFL if he wanted to be. Yeah. Uh, and then we've had a bunch of bums. Oh, yeah. So this is like right now we get the cerebral quarterback who is supposed to be able to win just by preparation in a way. How are we going to handle that? And what are your expectations for Bryce Young? Because to me, and this is the nerve wracking part about selecting Bryce Young, is for me, I'm like this. It's like playoffs, NFC championship next year. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like all of a sudden I feel like it's now, 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 now. And that might be a little unfair to a guy who's just 21 years old. And still, although he's a great uh, student of the game, he's still going to have to learn the NFL. Oh, yeah. He's going to have to, and like with me, and a couple episodes ago, I was the main one to get up here, and I asked everybody, you think Bryce Young's stock is going to damn drop due to his height? And to me, <clears throat> it was the right choice, and I, I, I do believe that he's going to make some noise in, in, in Carolina. I really do, and I'm surprised, because honestly, I thought Will Levis was going to go to the damn Colts. And I know the internet people are not watching this show right now. To all them damn people talking about, well, I was talking to Anthony Richardson, and he said he's going to Carolina. And then the Will Levis, his stock to go number one went up a couple of days ago. Y'all see that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking rumors, man. That's all that shit was, man. You know what? As it turns out, that plus 4,000 and plus 400 are still losing bets. Yep. For Will Levis going <laughs> right. number one. Who You're cares right. yeah. what the number is? Is you just gave your money to the house on that mm -hmm. one. It would have been more interesting probably to put your money on Stroud. I bet you that was the big payout today on Stroud number two with his stock has been kind of yeah. sinking so much. Is I bet you the numbers and the payout were good at uh, number two. The Houston Texans making a lot of noise in the top five picking C.J. Stroud and Will Anderson Jr., Anthony Richardson, who, you know, the good news about this is that he plays for the Colts. Uh, he plays in the other division. We play in this it, year, though. Oh, you're right. I'm going to be able to cheer year. for him um, a lot easier than if, like, I would not. I would have to hate him if he went somewhere in the NFC South. Mm -hmm. I'd have to dislike him if he went in the NFC. Now I can kind of root for these guys, all of them, to have good careers and what we're really hoping for, honestly, and this would just be great for the NFL and great for the Carolina Panthers brand, is for these three quarterbacks in, in the five years being the names that we talk about, like Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, to be these quarterbacks that are continuously linked together, right? It's like we actually want them all to succeed because if they all succeed, the conversation becomes so rich that maybe this is the one thing maybe Bryce Young alone can't propel Panther nation into the, the next level of stardom, like a, maybe say a, a like a Dallas Cowboys or a green Bay, or you're going to pick the legacy teams, right? We're going to have to win a super bowl to get into that conversation. We're going to have to have consistent winning and continuous winning. But man, I tell you, that brand, our brand would help if we're continually every year to be talking about these guys fighting together oh. for the number one quarterback spot and who's the best. What a conversation that'll make on this podcast. What a conversation that'll oh, make man. on ESPN. Oh. So we need to root for all of them. Uh, the Seahawks are still on the clock. No, pick is in. This pick is in. Let's give hey, a big man, shout me, um... out to Grim Reaper who says, Bryce up, son. Bryce Upson, yep. man, thank and, uh, you so much for the ten dollar love bomb. Your support is great. Smash the thumb, so, uh, thumbs up button. Be a part of the show. The number is two five two 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 eight fifty ninety eight. Go ahead, Cody. Yeah, I'm back now, man. Forgive me. I was doing a bunch of different things in the background, I'm doing stuff for Draft Tech. Uh, hey, y'all want to watch the uh, the presser? We can we can show that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, watch sure. the let's do it. Yeah. Let's yeah, go ahead and bring in Duncan. Let's bring in Aaron. Dunk on demand. Welcome back, brother. 
What's up, fellas? Going on. It's a new day uh, in Panthers Nation. The Bryce is right. That is the that's the phrase that we have settled on. That's the T-shirt we're going to be running for every year. The C3 Panthers podcast runs a T-shirt for our fantasy football draft and just the T-shirt of the year. The Bryce is right is, I think, what we're going with right now. The number one pick is there. Let's see what Frank Reich has to say about it. We'll do over, you know, really from now until training camp. Oh, wow. Um, uh, yeah, this pick by the Seahawks might shake up the draft. Really. Yeah. Yeah. On from the start, yeah. Right. I mean, you know, that this oh. is a winner. And he's been Damn. the best player on the best team. Yeah, yeah let's mute. Players. Let's all mute our mics while we listen to this a Eight little bit. Old, literally. So, um, yeah, it meant a lot. Ooh. You guys' eyes, does Bryce come in as QB1? You know, we Scott and I have talked about this. And, um, you know, right now he'll come in and we're going to, you know, he'll have to earn it. You know, he'll have to earn it. Um, obviously, uh, that's the way it should be. And so we'll know when the right time is. That'll be a decision that Scott and I and the coaching staff, you know, will continue to look at. But I, listen, I, he's got enough going on right now. I just want him to come in and learn the offense and not have to worry about stepping into the limelight and, and doing all that. Just come in and learn the offense, get to know these guys. Um, when we step in the, when we step out on the field the first time, you know, he'll be, he'll be in that number two spot. And then we'll just progress from there at the right time. We'll, we'll know when that time is. How big a role did his S2 score play where he was almost historically high on it in the 90s? Are they at Bank of America? Uh, the one thing about the S2 score, I think yes. people made a big deal about that this year. It's just one small piece of the puzzle. It comes back to the tape. It comes back to the meetings with us. You know, how do they is do champagne the on his on shoulders? The board, you know, or not the draft. Board, <laughs> uh, yes. You know, on the board. On the board <laughs> um that's that's what really matters, but it's just a small piece. Uh, it's a nice piece. Or somebody's room. tears. All Good I would do catch. is like make this ask a question, go back. Do we miss something? If it was different than what he had. Was there a moment? Frank was asked this, but was there a moment for you, Scott, in one of those meetings or watching one of the tapes where you were just like, okay? Yeah, I think you know during that dinner that we had, you know, we had asked him a question, and then he just went on. He went on for about ten minutes, and it was. Not just answering a question, it was the level of detail in that and just how precise he, it wasn't something that he was kind of making up as he went to tell a good story. You can tell he actually did this and this is part of his process and he's, uh, he's unique that way. And that's kind of what stood out. Remember what the question was? Uh, I think it was like during, what is your, what are your practice habits during the week or what is your process during the week? And I think he started like on a Sunday and it, he went on and on. He got to about Tuesday. It was like 10 minutes into it. They're like, please shut up, little guy. So. <laughs> at one point, at one point, Scott and I, Mr. <clears throat> Tepper kind of made eye contact like this is crazy. But and in particular, like Scott is saying, you know, he got into how he was studying the film and some of the things that he said about that. Like, Scott, we just, you know, I, I looked at Mr. Tepper. He looked at Scott. You know, it was like this is this is like next level stuff. And listen, we've all been around and we've all heard good stuff. The other guys said good stuff too, but like this was just at a level that was different. I'm getting more and more excited about. You know, this. I am too. I'm not gonna lie. You sit with him, and it was it was gotta coach. be Mr. Tepper. This is what you picked Cole him for, though. This is exactly John. why we picked him. This and is not surprising. This is conviction on him. He, like he couldn't say a bad thing. We challenged him, and he was just so positive. Um, about him and his process and you could tell he really believes in him and i think that was a, that was a great meeting and we appreciate his time because that, that was that really helped in this process hey scott when, when did you inform bryce that you had made the decision and what was his reaction and well, how did that go down he first phone? found out when mr tepper got on the phone and told him we didn't tell him beforehand we didn't tell the agent we uh we kind of kept it a mystery i mean it was come on david newton publicly. ask the zinger baby you actually make that call <laughs> Come on, yeah, David. That was that was the first time he heard from us. So what was his reaction? You'd have to ask uh, Mr. Tepper. I think he, I'm sure he's excited. Do you want to know? Yeah. So, um, so I got on the phone. And I said I saw Bryce at the Super Bowl. You see a bunch of these guys at parties and such. So I saw Bryce, and I said, uh, you know, I said Bryce, remember when we were at the Super Bowl? I told you we were going to pick a quarterback, and I wasn't kidding. And I said, um, you want to trade in some sweet home Alabama for some sweet Carolina? Hey. <laughs> I'm right, baby. There you go. I mean, that's, that's not Bars. bad. Bars. That's not right. bad. Let's pull out. <laughs> we can pull out of this now, I think. No, hold on. Okay. 
Why, why, why did you guys wait so long to tell them? Why not tell them a day or two before? Why keep it under wraps? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you set the, the bar high out there. Why not? I love that. Years old since you got here, though. But mentioning the Super Bowl, could you elaborate on that? Well, when we went through the process of quarterbacks, listen, just as you guys know, we went through a, a very deep process with the with the head coach, found what we believe is the best head coach we could find, and then set the head coach free. We have another trade. Oh, okay, so that was what the we Titans, saw. right? Um, the Cardinals. No, the Cardinals. The process of these quarterbacks. The Cardinals. One of the questions we ask ourselves is, Shit, which one of these guys? Up. Will be a, you know a guy that can take they're getting they're, they're getting oh wow cardinals get so, 12 and 34. different guys but we thought this guy had the highest probability of winning super bowls and i think for myself when i i don't want to speak for frank and i think he goes to scott we told us hey, listen you want to win super bowls and you know there's no sure thing here but it's a probability sort of we thought this guy has the best probability of, of winning us super bowls you know the way he throws the ball the way he's a point guard how you can use the different players in the field, how you might not have to have as many elite receivers because he's a point guard, right? So he, he distributes the ball to people with routes. So you can save some money there. You know, we believe we can save money other place, places because of him and, and, and put that money into the defense. Oh, don't go bargain shopping so now. Did he just throw the receivers oh out of the bus, though? For us, Dude. This Carolina Panther team from, you know, um, you know, from the time, you know, I guess, you know, Matt Rowland, Talk about the process we went through. Oh, come on. Stop him from talking. He does that. He he rambles That's a good on. He's, yeah, he's making it easy. Somebody, stop. Nicole. Yeah, he hit, Nicole. He's drunk. Yeah, he hits old man mode. Folks. Nicole. There. He hits old man mode. <laughs> <laughs> he's drunk. <laughs> Just turned up, bro. He's drunk. <laughs> done turned it into drunk uncle hour. <laughs> All right. I'm done with this. No, he, yeah. he messed mode. up, man. You do not yeah. say... We can have Bryce Young and we don't need elite wide receivers. What does it say to your wide receivers you just signed? Nice. Like, oh, oh come on, dude. You don't say that. Him. that. That's the best part is, though, is that we do have veteran wide receivers. I think he didn't who, mean who that. But he's also that. not wrong, no, though. Like, right. is, that, I mean, is that not what we've all been saying? That Bryce I mean, he's not wrong, but you don't say that. I'm not no, worried about that. You don't say that no, coming in, you know? I'm not I worried really about our receivers. Know they're not elite. They're good, but they're yeah. not. Elite. I know what DJ Shark feels like. He can be elite. Yeah, we, we I'm not worried about him. Then. I want him to actually MJ feels like he can be elite. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking about. Oh, though, yeah. This. Is there already? Yeah, don't do that Cam Newton bullshit where he's just uh, yeah. 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 Let's just get him a bunch of twos. Yeah. Who are the Cardinals? We, we, All right, boy. pull we, this down, Cody. I'm I just, tired of I just it. saw their pick. Yeah, we, we forget. We forget that he is a fan, and nice. as we all would, if we got up there and we all of a sudden owned the Panthers, we would blow up. Oh, <laughs> There's things I, I would I, say I, that would just destroy everything. <laughs> Cardinals my, took Paris my Johnson. Price, uh, number one pick bet, just cash, baby. Let's give Greg his exit real quick. Greg, uh, yeah, we got a lot yeah. of work to do. Uh, for, look, he's better put a lot of effort into the C3 Panthers podcast. Now he's doing NBA stuff as well as his podcast. Yeah. Greg, uh, guess what? You're a Bryce Young fan now. I am a Bryce Young fan. That's my next jersey. And you know what? Uh, I, I'm, I was angry. I've already gotten over being angry. Y'all have made me excited for it. So, Bryce Young's my guy. I'm a small guy. I'm pulling for the small guy here. Let's see what happens. Like, where did our other it? layout go? Are y'all doing a show, the, uh, doing show tomorrow? GCS. Yeah, the Geeks and Squirrels. Yeah, we are. Okay. We have a special uh, guest on the tomorrow night too. If you uh, just check it out, oh. so you know. Okay, but yeah, we're doing it tomorrow. So uh, yeah, but check me out uh, at the Bat That Two right. is on Twitter. It's my only uh, form of social media. Uh, I am the host of Geeks Chasing Squirrels Across the Multiverse on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. Um, beyond that, nothing really else. C3 Panthers podcast. I'm doing the five on five right now every Thursday, except for tonight. We did it last night just to supplement for the draft tonight. Uh, we're just covering NBA playoffs, so it's a good time. But uh, come check us out. Uh, and yeah, you can find me there. All right, uh, man. Thanks a lot, Greg. And uh, Greg. what happened to our other layout, Cody? Which um, doesn't matter. It's Streamyard, man. Yeah. Streamyard does it. It's yeah, man, but we were just yeah. in it like two seconds ago. We were originally yeah, hit in the down. 
I'll find it. Give me a second. Okay. It's okay. It's if, all right. If let's, if let's go to this. Is. Move the um let's go to this. Is we didn't get Dunk. Dunk came on the show. Aaron, uh, your thoughts. I mean, obviously we all knew uh that this was happening. Look, is uh the Arizona Cardinal. What your just thoughts on how the draft is unfolded right now? Maybe a, a little talk about CJ Stroud and what the Texans have done. That might be the big story right now. A lot of uh, trades, a lot of surprises. The Texans are going berserk. I think they're trying to cope for them not, for them dragging their feet and not getting up to one to get Bryce. I guess David yeah. Tepper's right. He's 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 uh, bleeding from the mouth right now, just talking about whatever. But he talked about the scenario of us going to two instead of going to one. Um, I think the Texans they kind of just drug they drug their feet. Um, they wanted Bryce, they didn't get him. And they end up taking Stroud, despite all the reports that came out. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, we're aggressive. But that statement about not needing elite wide receivers really just kind of set my stomach sideways. Well, yeah, I mean, I think this is that this is again what happens when you talk uh, live and on the fly, right? As I don't, I don't think he was. Like Pepper's still go, talking, by the way. Is still it? Talking. Yeah, oh yeah he's still, yeah. still going, dude. Uh, Yo, they got my, my, my boy is the... my boy is lit right now. He wasn't drunk. He's just Murder himself man. at this point. He's trying to. He's feeling it. But I wonder if he's. I think what he was just out. saying is this: is that this gives you the opportunity to to not have to um, have other offensive players be the guys that pull your quarterback up but that your quarterback can pull those players up to the level of, you know, of eliteness in a, or a certain sense is elite. We probably throw that word around a little too easily at times. That might have something to do with it, but it does bring back those cringe moments of Dave Gettleman talking about shopping at the dollar's tree. And then he's like, Oh, well, we got a little money now, but we're at the dollar general now or whatever the hell he would say is at this point we're at target, but we're not at Macy's and all of this. So that is difficult right there. I think you also bring up a good point, Aaron, is that the um, the Texans kind of having to make up a little bit for dragging their feet. But I think it might even go further than just dragging their feet. Well, that one is a big one. But also Nick Casario has just been such a disaster there as a GM over the last two years. And I feel like he's really having to make a statement to try to keep his job at this point. Do you well, believe I, that he's on – some people are saying he had one foot out the door. I mean, he came, he came yeah. out and said that he was fine. But do you think that's legit? Yes, mm. I think he's on the hot seat. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm totally. Here's, here's my thing. I, I don't think you know. So I, I want to talk about a couple of things. I think right now the Texans are probably one of the top uh, potential turnaround teams in the NFL. Um, not just because of CJ Stroud uh, or anything like that. You know, they're. They're they, they are not given a lot of credit because you don't really see the talent because there's no other talent. Like when you're a superstar on a really bad team, it's it's sometimes it's hard to be a superstar when your only focus defenses have to have on you or uh, offenses have to have on you. So I, it'd be interesting to see what happens. But it's funny because I've had a Bill fan, a Bills fan, talk about C.J. Stroud's going to be a bust because he's going to go to the Texans. Um, and I always found and it, that's his only re- reason and because he's going to the Texans. And I'm like. If you were a Bills fan 10 years ago, the Bills were talked about in the exact same way that people talk about the Texans. The Texans aren't – like, just because the Texans haven't been good doesn't mean they're going to be bad because their name is the Texans. If that's the case, the Bills would have never t- had the turnaround they did. So I think the Texans certainly have the ability to do so. But I also think that when you look at the way this draft played out, you know, and, and maybe we're getting a little bit in the weeds on this, but, you know, if I'm the Texans and I have the hope of getting the top – so the top two guys on your board, Will Anderson and C.J. Stroud, I'm going to play the card that I'm going to want Bryce Young. And then that way that, uh, you know, Indianapolis isn't going to feel the need to trade up to number three to try to take Will Anderson or C.J. Stroud or anything. I, I think they were playing a little bit of chess with this. Um, I mean, this, this, there's oh, sometimes where there's smoke, there's fire. You know, they're, the talk about them not being interested in anybody else other than C.J. Stroud, it's probably stuff that they put out there. Um, in the hopes that nobody's going to be making a move up to try to take Will Anderson uh, instead of themselves, right? Being able to yeah. trade with the Cardinals. So I oh. think, uh, listen, I think it's worth saying that the car, the, the Texans have have done a, a tremendous job and maximized the assets they've gotten out of uh, Deshaun Watson. So I, think, I, I wanted I to, I wanted to, 
you know, I, I wanted to add to this conversation because the, the, the rumor was before, like literally in the ninth hour, the owner, Cal McNair, jumped into the conversation and said, hey, we have to have a quarterback. Listen, imagine you're the Houston Texans fans. How are you going to get excited about Davis Mills going into next season, man? Like that, You could not have another year of this team just floundering. They had to have a quarterback, and they made the right pick at, at number two. Go ahead, Aaron. So I was going to add, I was just saying about the Colts thing. I think it was more, I think your point about Will Anderson was probably the main idea for the C.J. Stroud smoke. Um, that was a big surprise to me because, like I said, all we heard was there's two scores, um, not coachable and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think I think more so them taking him first before Will Anderson said everything because I think the Colts were locked in on Levis. I mean, excuse me, not Levis, um, AR. I think – the the parallels to Jalen Hurts uh, was just too it made too much sense for Steichen, 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 whatever his name is. So I think the smoke screen was that nobody traded up with Arizona. Because I think Arizona didn't was not shy about saying our pick is for sale. Like come get it type type stuff like that. But picking back, I, I don't know if we've ever had anybody do that within the top 10, let alone the top five, trading like picking, then trading up to get another pick after that. Um, and you're right. Getting their top two guys on the board is, is is a lot, but I think CJ needs weapons. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see what they do from here on out. Brandon Cook is their quarterback one. I mean, uh, we're our receiver one right now. No, he's um, on the Cowboys. Cooks? <clears throat> yeah, he got traded to Dallas. Yeah, he got traded to the Cowboys. Well, I don't know what's going to happen then as far as their weapons. If yeah, that's they the got case, like Matt. Wilson to the Raiders. Nobody else. Will yeah, Lewis is dropping like a brick. Yeah, hold they, on, hold they, on. Is the anyone Cowboys else don't... surprised Jalen Car- Jalen Carter ain't gone yet? No, 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 not not really. Hey, do y'all remember the ru- do y'all remember the rumors that he only went to the top ten picks? The teams yeah, with the top ten right. picks. That'd be hilarious if he falls yeah. outside the well, top ten. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, y'all know who's going so next. Though, don't is that Tyree Wilson? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twitter, yeah. Is, isn't he dealing with a foot injury though? The Twitter yes. doctors are saying it's Liz Frank. Oh God! Y'all don't think y'all don't uh, think that, that it's going to be Atlanta that's, that's going to take Jalen Carter, huh? They could. I mean, it's 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 a potential, dude. I mean, Georgia and uh, hey, listen, it's. Yeah, I think that would be a uh, one of those picks that's good. similar to yeah, that's similar to our Quano. If if I was Atlanta though, I would take uh, maybe Will Levis. Uh, I don't know what I take. Yeah. Have y'all seen uh, Tyree? Have y'all seen Tyree? Yeah, that's yeah, what I do. If I was Atlanta, I'd take a kicker at the first. Cody's pick. like Cody <laughs> likes this film a lot. Have y'all seen this hey, film? Cody, he just looks um, abnormally large. Yeah. Uh, hey, let, bro, real quick, let me welcome my man JJ and Chad Morales. To the stream. Happy to have y'all boys in here, man. Go ahead, Look JJ. At that suit. Oh, I was about to actually ask yeah. you. Um, Good you, you, you feel yeah. a little better that, you know, CJ really didn't drop like that? He ended up going to after? Yeah, him? absolutely, man. And the the yeah, Houston Texans. The Texans would have been so – They would have been so dumb if they would have passed on CJ and let him go to a division rival – like the Colts or the Titans, didn't you have to see him twice a year? And you know he's going to ball out. He's going to ball out because they didn't pick him. They made the right move. And, yeah, yeah man, now that he's not in the NFC, I'm, I'm pulling for him, man. I'm hoping that he proves this dumbass fucking S2 test to be bullshit. Uh, yeah, yes, I agree with Cody. I believe That's they did. All wrong, man. Oh, wow. I yeah, do. and I'll be honest. I'm I'm also gonna be cheering hard for AR, man. I I, I love that dude. I, yeah, I, I might go see him again this year. Yeah, we'll Chad. I know, were, I, I know you were. I know you were. You were really uh leaning towards AR right up at the end there, man. Yeah, dude. I, I was just enamored by what he can become and and his ceiling. I love I like I'm kind of like Tony like you gravitate towards Bryce Young I gravitated towards AR in the way that he spoke how how highly intelligent he sounded and he just he just seems like a very lovable dude um so I wish him nothing but the best with Indianapolis man that 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 dude's going to be special if he's if he's coached right that kid's going to be special oh yeah yeah ready for this CJ Stroud versus Bryce Young matchup 
Oh, hell yeah. 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 Hey, yo, Aaron, Aaron, I think that's going to be yeah, our Anthony first game of the season, bro. You think so? Uh, and, I think, and Anthony I think, Richardson. I think that's going to be the season yeah. op- uh, opener. We play the Bryce Colts, Young versus yeah. CJ yeah. Yeah. Are, both, are both of those games going to be in Charlotte? Remember, they did it. They did it uh, uh, for yeah, Mariota yeah, true, and yeah, Jameis Winston that year. The first game of the oh. season was uh, Jameis, or at least their oh. opener was. Oh, man. The Falcons, the got man, the, man. The yeah. Falcons pick is in. B. John Robinson. They got B. John? John? It's B. John. Hey, dude, cool listen. That. They dude, took a running back in the top 10 in a first yo, game. Yep. Dude, dude, outside of my house. It sounds like a war zone right now. That's how loud the fireworks at the stadium is, bro. <laughs> dude, I, tell you, bananas. I think there's a lot of I think there's a lot of value in taking a running back in the draft early and then just running him into the dirt and taking your five years with well, him and then moving on. I know it's kind of cruel yeah. to the player, but you know, Tony, but they signed up for it, though. The starting I mean, running honestly, back they the signed up for it. Chiefs was a seventh round draft pick. You don't God have to run him back in the first yeah, round. But, yeah, but Drew, let's be honest. Let's be honest. How many? Go back and calculate how many running backs is taken in the fifth, sixth, and seventh round for the last five uh, years, and how many were successful? I tell you, the greatest you know, one, the, the greatest the one, really Cameron Artis Payne. <laughs> the greatest one, yeah, and man, yeah, yeah, what a get out of here. Uh, okay. So like, I got, I got, I got a hypothesis for you. All right, so Aaron, go get you. You got to go. No, no, no. Uh, Panthers oh. post, uh, Phil from Panthers post. Apparently, he got he grabbed a screenshot from the live stream, and apparently, it says Zay Flowers on it somewhere. Like, I don't know if you can see on um, what live stream the the Panthers team live stream after. It says they drafted Zay Flowers. You just say Zay Flowers live. Oh, yo, what the? So fuck? does that mean we're trading up? <laughs> I don't. It hasn't happened yet, but it says it right what there. The- Could you imagine? Dude, I, I wouldn't no. even care. I'd be happy flipped, as hell. I would be upset, I'd man. I'm gonna tell you this: is I'd look, be happy it's, as hell. Aaron. No, man. I can't <laughs> the wide receiver that tiny that early. How many of the? Is how many of the Smith, giant? Tony? He's the next I'm Steve ready Smith, for Derek bro. Brown. Outlier. Like, 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 like the A.B. Like the A.B. Combs. His hands just Yeah, I, I also like the uh, Antonio Brown Combs. His, his hands he just did. aren't there with A.B., but I like it after the catch. But he's fast you know. as hell, though, He man. is he's awesome. His change, I think his change of direction is the, the crazy thing, is like he's going to be able to create, get open every time. I do think that's interesting. We had David Geddes on the show a couple of weeks ago, former Carolina Panthers it. wide receiver, and he – he liked uh, some of these guys because he runs into them uh, coaching in Boston College, and he likes Zay Flowers' tape. And the other thing that was real fun about it is one of the receivers he shows his players as a wide receiver um, quality control coach is he likes Adam Thielen so much just because of, like, the technician he is. So that's always nice to hear. Um, that would be interesting, man, if the Panthers trade up. There's been a lot of trades, like Aaron said, in this draft. The Carolina Panthers could make some moves. It's just wild to me to pick such a small guy uh, again. Imagine this: we're gonna what we went. We're gonna be the smallest team in the NFL with a uh, Bryce Young to Zay yeah. Flowers. But the idea here is, I feel like a, the Giants Eagles picked a lot of these players. Eagles like who the Giants had? That the Giants had a ton yeah. of small receivers that were really good, the like Sterling Shepherds, the this and that, and nobody's just been great. Hey, I want to I want to give a uh, a shout out to uh, to to Aaron, man. I, I I'm a big fan of, of watching your content. Hey, uh, anytime that I've ever messaged you on Twitter with any questions, you've always been very nice and asked and, and answered the questions. So, man, I just wanted to give a big shout out, and I I'm proud of you. I want you to keep grinding and master your craft, man. For real, you you you're, you're going to do wonders, just like these gentlemen up here with the C3 Panthers podcast. You gonna make me blush, man. You may not even see it. You know, so I appreciate the, I appreciate <laughs> it's a lot of joke hey, uh, right there. Hey, real, real, hey, real quick, uh, our, our man, our man CK has to get out of here, man. That wife and baby girl are beckoning. Uh, CK, you know we love you, brother. Give us your final words before you jump out of here, man. They get man, I'm just happy. What's that? They get that running back from Texas. The Falcons did. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, man, I'm just happy to, to have a new uh, a, a new generation, man. It's it's nice to have this be new, the uh, new the pick, a new era, a new you know. And and listen, I mean, with the uh, with everything going on, man, it's been a great week for me. We've got a new baby, and uh, you know, now we've got a, a new era. I'm just excited as can be. Um, and uh, man, I'm trusting this process. I'm I'm, I, I'm really optimistic. That we're gonna be able to beat the South this uh, this year, um, okay. you know. Prior to this draft, as our, our team stood, I didn't think we were winning the the, the draft or winning the South until we drafted one of these two guys. And I think they are one hundred percent going to be capable of doing a lot of things. This is the best situation that Bryce Young could have asked for. Um, had he gone to a team that was way more QB or had way more holes than we had, it would have been a much bigger issue for uh, for any of these guys. Um, and, uh, I'm just, man, it's, it's, it's thrilling to see the, the changes, man, but you guys can hit me up on, on Twitter at Codizzle Allen. Um, and, uh, man, I'll be back here. Um, and who knows, maybe tomorrow night, uh, on the Friday free for all, but, uh, for sure Tuesday night. Congratulations. Yeah, you're the man, brother. Congratulations, Congratulations, Cody. I I know you are, you and your wife are through the roof right now with joy and excitement and we wish y'all nothing but the best, man. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, guys, I appreciate y'all. Love you. Uh, C3 family, I appreciate everything you guys have done as well. But uh, keep pounding and uh, go to sleep with your, uh, with your uh, you know, positives, uh, positive uh, cap on and, and wake up an optimistic Panthers fan because right now we've got to move forward thinking this is the best move. That's definitely. It. Okay, you're the man, bro. We love you, brother. Eagles, right, later, guys. Jalen Carter. Peace. Uh, knew it. Fuck. They don't need him. Bro, how, how, how are y'all like? How are y'all like five minutes ahead of me, no, bro? Hey, no, 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 it's, it's the Twitter. NFL notification. Reading it on Twitter. It's Twitter. Notification. Is Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis? Yep. Back wait, to wait, who traded up? Eagles traded up. Eagles traded up one spot to the night. Damn, Willie's right. being aggressive, huh? For everybody. Does Will Levis drop out of the completely out of the top ten? Yeah, oh, he's about to go. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, right now yeah. he has to be. He might go to the Titans. Yeah. Does hey, he drop? Does, does, does he drop to that, does that mean they're going to release Fletcher Cox and try to trade him? I, I hope. I hope he drops all the way to the Bucks and the Bucks pick him up. I think hey, uh, we have two more I spots. Think if, uh, if, if anyone wants Baker to join us, Mayfield on the same team. Yo, pickle, you are spitting. I think Fletcher was um I think he signed like a team friendly one year deal because they had cut him last year and brought him right back. Okay. Um, yeah, hey, hey, uh, yeah they the want to win the now, bro. Eagles, dude, the Philadelphia yeah. Eagles that have Jalen Carter uh, and Jordan good. Davis on the interior of their defensive line. And dude, they're Fox. about to be nasty, bro. No, that's, that's disgusting. Hey, hey, uh, just an update uh, for, for some of you. I don't know. Uh, I, I live in, I live uh, right next to Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana, and I'm surrounded by Saints fans, right? Well, my Saints buddies have been texting me ever since we've drafted Bryce that, holy shit, like they don't feel like they're the big brother anymore in the division because now they've got to deal with Bryce, and now they are sending memes of jumping off bridges because now they got to deal with B. John Robinson. So, just a little update on how Saints country is feeling right now. Message your Saint buddies and tell them Panther Pickle said jump. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, South South rope. the South remembers. You know, you know it was uh, a great day to start it, off and everything, it, but I do it, feel bad. And I feel bad because they, uh, during the press conference, they made a comment, Frank Wright did, that uh, Bryce Young would be the st- number two quarterback right now. Matt Corral is doing everything in his power to get back to play, and they are just completely just writing him off. Did you see that uh, picture he posted uh, on Instagram? To, yeah, did you uh, see that yeah, picture? You, you, he you, posted, need see, you need to see that, my friend. I posted uh, it. Uh, he, he posted something about yeah. uh, God won't give you good things if you're not in the right place. I, I, I can bring it up, but it made it sound like he's wanting to be out of here. But I don't know, man. I, I hope that he competes for the job. I know he's not going to get the job, but I, I would prefer to have a capable backup rather than just send him off for a six-round pick. You know what exactly. I mean? But I hear you, Drew. I hear you 100%. So now, if that's the case also, is Bryce going to have to pay Matt Corral to get his jersey or is Matt Corral just going to switch jerseys? 
Uh, he'll probably pay him, and then he'll take that number two jersey, which is why you wore in college. Let the Scott chills fall in May because Brian's going to be out of there by the time the roster's in the Because hey, everybody's going to be buying a number nine young jersey now. I just bought mine just now, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> on, the pre- on the pre-order. On the pre-order tip. They ain't got no women's size. That's crazy. I was going to buy my wife one, but. Hey, yo, Dunk, I, Dunk comes in. Dunk comes in every every pod looking fresh as shit, man. I Props to you, bro. <laughs> hey, man, my closet is deep. I ain't going to cap. It's, it's deep. <laughs> Literally, I don't, hey, I don't do anything. One of, those, but... one of your hats uh, that you have, the old school, uh, with, and the, the logo is, is massive. Uh, no, I went no. on eBay that day and, and, and bought it. So, the white one? Yep, the white one. Yeah, the one the that you asked bill. me about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that fit- one. That bitch was fifty dollars though. <laughs> I, I pay forty. I pay forty two for mine. So oh, don't, don't, feel, no. don't, don't feel too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's dope. It's dope. Though. That's my favorite. That's my favorite one. And I got the shark. I got the shark and the paint splatter vintage ones. Ooh, oh damn! damn. <clears throat> um. You know what? Uh, the Titans tried in vain several times to trade up today. The Titans could take a quarterback, but I'm going to bet you they'll take. I I would. I'm just going to say this: I, the Titans could take Hendon Hooker before they take Will Levis. I think they want a Stroud. Yep. They did want Stroud. They tried to trade up to three, but. Boy, they, yeah. they would have traded up to three to get Stroud, and the Texans takes. Oh boy, that would have been ugly. Bless my <laughs> heart and CJ's heart, man. I had to get off my video phone. Of him crying was just it hit different, man. I tell you what, I, 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 I really liked it when after uh, CJ left the stage, uh, Bryce was there, and they hugged and they greeted because yeah. they both got. And they're 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 very I'm good so friends. I'm so happy they're still. number one that's, and two. That, yeah. that, I'm so happy he didn't fall. Yeah. He did not. That, that's gonna that make shit. that's gonna make when they when they face each other. It's it's gonna be fun. It's there you go, JJ. Fun. I'm about to send you. I'm about to send it in the. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw it, JJ, but uh, I sent it in the group chat for you to for you to check out. Hmm. Yeah, man. That's that, that's what it's all about, man. Yo, yeah, where's, man, Anthony? Uh, where's Anthony yeah. at? Uh, no, he was in here earlier. He was in here earlier. He, he might. He might. He, he, might he, he, he is on. Anthony yeah, really. G baby, where the hell you at? Yeah, Anthony's on Twitter beating up people. <laughs> <laughs> he, he good for him. Everybody man. back. They owe him money. He. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good for him. Yeah, dude. He, uh, uh, Anthony got in on uh, Bryce at when he was at plus two thirty, I think. That's yeah. what I got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Him yeah. and yeah, him and him and Aaron, they were right in on the same. On the same money yep. line, man. Congrats to y'all, bro. I just placed my jersey order for officially. I don't know when it's gonna say. It well, says after gonna wait he till the it. number drop. They said they'll, it's pre-order for after they drop their number. After he drops his number, I want to see what number he's gonna get. It said two to four weeks. So, well, I was here in time for training camp. Good. Man. I need to order. Do y'all two. want me to tip the picks? Like I can follow Dove climbing. You don't need to. The Titans nah. are taking. No, the Bears are taking. The Bears are taking. Uh, the O tackle Denar Tennessee's tackle Denar Wright. Hold on, hold on. Oh, really? The chat, so the how, chat, how, uh, how, are we really intimidated they, man, we sp- by Bijan? Like, nah, how how what? I said what about Bijan to the Falcons? I said the uh, chat. Chat said that they they got somebody left because they were we were spoiling picks. <laughs> so. uh, that'd be all right. Shit, what y'all expect? I need to ask y'all a question. Yeah, go ahead, G. On Twitter, you seen that shit about Chase Young? You seen that shit? No. Nah. They want two uh, Yeah. It's a bunch of, like rumors saying they didn't sign his fifth year option, whatever, and this yeah. and that with the Panthers. Uh, I, I I have I have my opinion, my friend. I I I would I. I like him, but his injury scared the bejesus out of me. Yeah, he's too he, in- he was healthy his rookie year. He ain't been right since. And he wasn't that, even you know what they also year. I heard I don't know if be the truth of it. I heard they also shopped the other guy sweat. Yeah. I yeah. would take sweat. I would I would give up my second pick for sweat. You see, you know, I want to do sweat. that today. The, the, the year that we drafted Barnes, I want to sweat yeah. that day. 
I'm gonna be honest. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I was so pissed that they made, that Chase Young made the freaking Pro Bowl before Brian Burns that season, man. I was so yep. pissed. That yep. was a rookie year. Uh, you but wasn't the I, only one. I wouldn't. I, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I wouldn't trade for Young at all. Not unless we give up like a sixth round pick or something. I think it's that, too so. expensive for a guy that you're gonna have to sign anyway. That also has question marks. Yeah. about the health right so it would be right. one thing if he was coming in on a That's deal that was already negotiated that you were going to just inherit and you agreed to it it'd be another thing if he was coming in and he had been a history of being pretty um healthy but he's got question mark like is like what are you going to do is it one, it's going to be a one-year deal ultimately right you pick up the fifth year option and um look at that oh bryce look at that Look at that little baby boy right there. He's so cute. He's so cute. So cute. Yo, man, he, he, we're we, we're going to love him here, man. Yeah. No, I'm excited. Is it? And somebody, I think it was uh, CK saying on the way out the door is like, uh, get to wake up tomorrow, feeling good, feeling optimistic, a new era. And I tell you, this is out of all the picks that we, that, um, well, first I didn't think it was going to be any other pick after the last two weeks have moved in that direction, but there is the least amount of the only concern is durability because of his size. Like that's the only real one that exists so, at this on. point. Can I say this and that's real speculation. quick about Bryce Young? Right. Like I'm not really worried about someone laying the boom on Bryce Young in terms of him getting hurt. I'm more worried about like what happened to Lamar and Kyler when they try and extend these plays and get outside of the pocket, like, he's got a small leg. He ain't running from nobody. Like, he might get hurt if he gets grabbed by the legs. Kyler was not really... contact. No, 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 no. That was the ACL. But even before oh. him, when he's got his ankle yeah. injuries. But... Well, that's, where, that's where, J.J., I believe... I'm sorry to interrupt you here. I, I, no, I you're believe... all good. I believe that's where Bryce Young is. I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but it's going to happen. It's just I just who I am. Uh, I believe Bryce Young is smarter than they are. Yes. I think he's I smarter with his body than they are. Question. And I think that's the reason why he's the number one pick and they weren't. So, Did you guys find it a I little know. crazy? I heard this. This is what he – and I don't know where, where he said this, What? but it was just in the last couple of days. He said he didn't have experience playing – Baseball is a kid. He can't, he can't slide. He's and he wants to, to learn. Yeah, he's going to practice sliding, which always then again brings me back to Cam, who never knew how to slide and just looked <laughs> like a tumbling gazelle out there yeah. trying to. It was just like, Cam, yeah. you know, when you just tumble, that doesn't count as a slide. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, that's what how Joe was Burrow it? was. Yeah. What, what, really? What, who, Tony, who was it? What Panther quarterback? Years ago, it may have been Jake that actually went to a baseball camp to learn like how a baseball to slide. camp. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, he went to, that was Jake. Um, who was Jake. it? Was it Jake? Yeah, because he said he didn't know how to slide. He never slide in his life. He had to go to a baseball camp to learn how to slide. Which is wild to me. I guess baseball is just not a popular sport. Is like, and maybe it's because. But I feel like Bryce Young with his build and makeup, yeah. sliding yeah. should be pretty easy. He's low to the yeah. ground. Like, I mean, yeah. I played baseball though. I didn't realize it was such a skill though. I think Yo, this is Cody, year, this year round, and um, yep. so many Cody, guys are specialized you know now in high school. You know that yeah, play you know where what? Bryce Young throws a block against Georgia? Uh, Darnell Wright. Y'all want to know how many are taking? Darnell Wright's not climbing so fast. All hey, right, uh, who we got in the hey, building? Hold on, I wanted to uh, – uh, I'll introduce Michael. Michael Weidrick. What's up, dude? Told you that they wanted to tackle because Peter Skaronsky said, Yo, Michael, you there? Right there inside. Uh, uh, I dipped out. Oh, okay. Hey, I want to show something. Dude, Darnell Wright went top 10. <laughs> Yo, man, That's these two have been That's through fact. every quarterback yeah. camp. They've been through every high school mm-hmm. thing. This is a great moment for these two dudes, bro. Yeah. Number and one and number two. Number one and number two picking the yeah. draft. Well, I'm happy for. I'm happy things, for man. Stroud that he didn't get uh, kind of right. hoodwinked into yeah, the, me the too, slippage. Man. Like I'm okay that he the didn't Panthers did. didn't take him. I just didn't like the the kind of and I, I was starting to get irritated with Panther fans who were kind of playing into it a little bit. And again, I don't like to tell people how to fad, but like as soon as like they were making memes about him not being able to put like putting the square peg through the circle thing and i was just like i was yeah. like god you guys are just jumping on this the, 
it was a Dwayne little Dwayne Haskins and Justin Fields hey, treatment. Brian Burns just little... tweeted to uh, to Bryce. Uh, that fucking hell, whatever. But it says, "Congrats, Bryce Young. Welcome to the family, Youngin. Let's get to work." Hell yeah. Love yes, it. sir. Love uh, it. Hey, do y'all, y'all want to know who the Titans are picking? Yeah. Well, uh, they with the eleventh over pick, they are eleventh uh, overall. They're picking Peter Skronkowski, offensive tackle from Strong. North Yo, West. Will Love is gonna fall. He's bro. a guard. Yep. You right, know, Will, Will, Levis, Levis, Will Levis will go. I'm gonna project this right now. Tampa Bay. I gotta get the I gotta get the rounds up. I don't forgot who the draft order was. Uh, I'm gonna project that Will Levis will be drafted by the Tampa Bay Bucks. Mm-hmm. You gonna fall that low? Yeah. Somebody. Somebody. Uh, might, well, I mean, I don't know. I guess Detroit could take him. You know what? You know what? New I, England. I, no, I, I don't think New yeah. England will take him. Hey, this is some controversy shit. What happens if he if he goes to either Will Levis goes to Green Bay or New England? Well, you know, I wouldn't doubt it if England. it was in New England. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Me neither. I think Coast. I think Green Bay's gonna give Jordan Love a shot. Can you imagine though, Bill Belichick yeah. with Will Levis? Holy shit! Bill Belichick's gonna eat him alive. Yeah. Somebody Bill Belichick gonna him. say no more mayo and bananas to anymore. Somebody tell me how to buy another, way, uh, another Bryce jersey. You know how everybody another been posting, one. What do you get? You know, the other you know how everyone's been posting uh for signatures <laughs> pictures of uh Fitterer with the sticky note. Yeah. Of of somebody with the you know or they're writing who the pick is. Well, this is from the Panthers account. This is a real picture. This is amazing shit. Scott Fit- yeah, I know, right? Scott Fitter with the Bryce Young. This is super high def. You know, I know, you know right? what? The, maybe this is an under um, an under discussed story. We'll bring it out on Tuesday on the C three Panthers podcast. I'm gonna definitely make a note to write for the website on it. Is how Scott Fritter, Fitterer has been freed from his cage. Um, I thought, yeah, I unshackled. That. It feels like now, and I and I'm really kind of impressed about how the Panthers have leaned into him and and, and like uh, and allowing his leadership at this point oh. because there was some concern for me that they brought him in because he was just kind of a wet noodle that could uh, work with Matt Rule. But I really feel like now they said this is like we believe in Scott. I got a question for you. Cody, I just sent you something in the group chat. Go ahead, go ahead, Aaron. Worst case scenario, just because we have to talk about it, if this doesn't work out quarterback wise for Bryce, is Scott Fitter the first one out and the coaching staff remains because of the amount of money that's been spent? Oh, yeah. If it doesn't, I don't know. To be honest, I would say that, and I don't know if this is what I would necessarily, we'll have to see how the team looks overall, but I wouldn't be surprised. In some ways, I feel like this if you get that number one pick, you get your quarterback, you've had everything, is that they all got to (laughs) go. If it doesn't work, they just miss if it's not injury, right? Like, Like, if it's not injury. It would be surprising to say, well, you know what? We, we blame this on Fitterer and not, you know, it's like if, I mean, if we're five years and back in the same situation. Yeah, check this uh, shit out. Yeah, the, Chad just sent this. This is live from the stadium when the pick was announced. Hey. Hear that roar, hear that roar, y'all. Hell yeah. That I'm, roar, I'm, I'm honestly I'm surprised gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm there's not more people Matt there. Rule. I'm going to go tweet Matt. Matt it's it's, it's, it's that weather. It's that weather, Tony. Is it? Yeah. And you know what? If we would have had, re- you know, the good thing about the turf, Cody, is that they would have never let them on the field if it was grass. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Like, I went to one of those personal tours of the stadium um, where they like the small group tours and you get to see like the everything and like we walk they walk you up to where you could walk on the grass and they're like nobody's allowed on the grass <laughs> and then we had to all walk away <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> all right so uh what has happened since we've got a couple of offensive linemen going hey look it makes sense for it makes sense for the bears a lot interesting yeah. to the cardinals yeah um, how many times have they traded? This is a three. 
Is this? Did they trade twice? This would uh, be a great draft for me if I was uh, lucid enough to. Yo, I, I'm I've seeing that same like thing. Uh, right, Don, right. Zay Flowers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Another That's thing crazy. is, I'm I'm glad Anthony Richardson went as high as he did and isn't getting this Will Levis treatment because Will Levis I, is I, a bum. Yeah, and AI I, is actually gonna be good. Like, you know teams what? are gonna I, get right this year. How far does Levis fall? I, he he, he may go next. might not be a first round he, pick. He, he yeah, he may go next because uh, I just I balled um, the uh, Lions. Uh, but, uh, golf contract, and they could actually slay, save close to a million by releasing or trading golf this year. But they so, could, you know what? They could pick him at 18 so still. The could commanders still, could do some stupid. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, they like how, though. And you know what? If I'm the commanders, they too, like how until a, a projected top 10 quarterback falls. In right. The lab. You know, Herney is. Well, yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. But uh, the one thing I would. I would had two yeah. picks. That's already been rumored. I don't know if I would let a uh, coaching staff and a GM who are on their way out the door pick a quarterback that like that there. Is that no, like, is that because then if when they lose their jobs, you're going to bring somebody else in and then like Levis is going to have to make nice with them. I just feel like it has to be a place where there's a good match. And I, if I'm the lines, I still wouldn't take them here at 12. Um, you the might be talking like the Minnesota yeah. Vikings, maybe at 23 could be somebody hey, that's interested in them. The lions still have 18 as well. Right. Yeah. Really yeah. Rumored? I think the 18 is the better pick for the lions to take a flyer than at this one. But I want to get back to the Panthers real quick. Guys, the way things are going, no receiver has been taken. If we get to about 15 or 20 and, like, maybe only um, Smith and Jay, was it's going to bring it up. There was a it's lot of rumor. Wasn't it rumor that if Jay falls to there, 20, we might, we might try yeah. and scoop him up? Bro, that guy that Fitter was talking about that came in on the top 30 that impressed him, Will Kunkel, for whatever you want hey, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that's the guy that Fitter was talking about. But what are we going to have to trade I get to that get up first. to that? It don't matter. That, <laughs> no, 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 no. I know it don't matter. But I'm just saying, what, what would you what would you think? Will what would it take? Would it take a Jeremy Chin, a Dante Jackson? Would it take a 39th overall? What are you? It's going to take more than that. It's going to take a 39th, take a second, seconds. a third, probably probably two seconds and a third. Lions and, are yeah. taking Jameer Gibbs. I was oh. Whoa, they took what? another running back. Wow. Damn, well, that's, that's never been that, every that year. Been they do this two, every year. Two they running backs in the top 15 Williams, picks. That's wow. crazy. Wealth overall. They wow. lost uh, Jamal Williams. Damn. I that means they're going to try to get rid of Swift. I might yep. give to us. They don't believe in Damn. Swift. Hey, does this mean the NFL teams Swift are more comfortable? Swift, no. Drafting first round running backs because it gets them on that yeah. fifth year option. Yes, yes, and that's why. Like, yeah, you sense. pay them a lot. You pay yeah. them a lot on, on that first contract. You but you don't even pay like, them a lot. You, you just pay them a uh, decent well, but listen, amount. Even yeah. but by the time they're on their fourth and fifth year, they're on like a top five running back contract in all the NFL. But is that how it works? On, even when yeah, you're outside the top back. ten. It, it, Hold on, it made it 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 a first round pick, back. Back. but because Hall not, all, not all running stage. backs, not all running backs, kid, uh, could could pass, ca- could catch and block like the, the two that's been drafted this year. Gibbs guys. can split, play so, the slot, uh, exactly. So yeah, passes. He, he, I, I heard Charlie Weiss on NFL uh, Network Radio or NFL Radio re- compared him to Christian McCaffrey. That's what I think too, as far as the route running so, aspect of it. Did. Um, so that looks like maybe <laughs> the, <laughs> he was just like his mama. God, Hold on, no. y'all see this video of Roger Goodell doing a whole peace on finger handshake, dapping up Jalen Carter, bro. Get the fuck. No, no, I didn't he, see. Yo, he literally no. looks like he's at a cookout, some shit like that. Hey, uh, no. Green, Green Bay, Bay. Green oh, Bay. Who do they? They could go after a wide receiver. That, that would be hilarious no, after never not. giving, after Come never giving now. Aaron Rodgers a first round wide receiver. They, they, they could go after. They could go receiver, or they could go Kincaid or uh, Mayer. Did the Georgia guy get drafted yet? Carter. Yeah, he went yes. to the Philadelphia uh, Eagles. Eagles. Yeah, and that's they, the one. Could he be suspended? 
these Gibbs highlights are crazy. Uh, like, I don't, I don't know that he's a spend or not. No, but he you know is. What? He's a badass, Aaron. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's good for him <laughs> to go he's to the lot. Eagles, though, if you think about the, some of the stuff that he's been through and the leadership that he needs. That, so that Eagles team is a good spring team to go to. Send me that, Chad. I want him so bad. Damn. Uh, I'm going to put you on full screen, cool. Chad. Oh, oh man. some people down there crying because we didn't hey, get it. Oh, 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 baby. Pulling See, at the heartstrings. Let's give me that DM, go. Chad. That I, don't even, not, I don't even know how to feel about that, to be honest. Hey, there's another one that I saw that's actually pretty fucking smooth. Hang on. There you go. Just how do you guys words. feel about that? Let me, oh, on, let me put it up. Hold on, let me put it up. No, you're good. You're good. It's Max, Tony. I don't know if it'll. I know. I just it, love it, it, says, it. it. It says, when the winds of changes shift, may your heart always be joyful. I, Cam's uh, texting is crazy. May our song always be sung. May you stay forever young, forever young, forever young. May you stay forever young. Oh, yeah. Cam, Cam post the bars. He had Cam in the draft. I'm going to send that to y'all. Hang on. Did Cam post that? I don't know where that came from. He had in the drafts. I... Yeah, he did. He'd been working on that one. That's yeah, perfect, me, though. Me, send not... me that picture, Chad. I bet, you, I bet you the Packers will take a wide receiver. Here you go, Dunk. No, I got they got a defensive end. They better. Who did they, they take? Defensive end. No, uh, it? Lucas Von Ness. Oh, oh wow, the man. Iowa uh, wow. defense. Yeah, so they got. Yeah, what he would be? What then? They run a three-four. Would it be an end or an edge? Uh, I don't know. I'm not with be, this. I mean, he would be on the ground. Head. Yeah, he might be a stand-up outside a linebacker. So they got Hutchins. No, no way they're going three-four. Oh, the Hutchins Jets too? are gonna get your guy from Ohio State. Can Hutchinson stand up? Who in Jigby? Nah. Yeah, they got too many receivers nah. as it is. No chance. Well, they're they're going to they're they're want to protect him. Oh, look at that. Rogers. Somebody already got the logo up. Who is this? The price is right. Hey, let me welcome Kobe. Kobe Griffin to Love the stream. It. Kobe, what's up, dude? Hello, gentlemen. How y'all doing this evening? Doing good, man. How are you? No Having a few drinks, so I'm going to just stay off cam. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. brother. Bryce All is well, young, very, very hype. Um, I got to give credit to this. I don't know where I saw this. It might have been Cat Craves. Somebody posted this this morning, and I stole it immediately. So whoever did it, thank you. Oh yeah, I make. We're making shirts. Guess what? It's all fair game in this world right now. Forever Absolutely. young. Ooh. Forever young. Sounds I'm gonna have that song my stuck in my head, dude. Theory. So for me, I guess the thing when you show the picks beside Cam that's interesting to me, not only is Cam just so meaningful to me, but Cam is the standard. Uh, he's the greatest quarterback the Panthers have had until the next guy comes around. So we're going to always like what – and remember, Cam was what? Offensive Rookie of the Year? Yeah, but uh, you, know you know, like I'm sitting here going, Bryce, come G-Baby on. G-Baby promised that. G-Baby, I literally – G baby pissed me off when he said he's gonna win every accolade that Cam won. Guys, maybe well, he you will. know what? That's As a, I hope he does. Race. I he hope will. he does, and I hope he wins the one that Cam Damn. didn't win, which is the Tri- Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm problem. saying. Christian is all the problem. But listen, man, he's passing the torch to another generation. Christian so Gonzalez, I'm, I'm, the corner is falling. I'm, that means. Oh, so, Cam Smith may fall to us too if that's the case. If Gonzalez is going to hit we're trading back up. We folks. are trading up up for Ninjigba, bro. Uh, Get it in your head. We are getting yeah. Ninjigba, and I'm buying. Hey, 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 JJ, JJ, I'm okay I gotta with shoot you up with a question. Oh, no, it's for I'm anybody. Our, the NFL radio today, I think it was Charlie Weiss, was saying, and I want y'all's opinion because I don't watch a lot of a lot of football, a lot of college football. He was saying that. An enigma doesn't separate from press coverage, and that's a lie. Okay, that's what I'm, I need to know. I he just does, he does. He he doesn't have a lot of he doesn't have a lot of that on his film, but he's quick enough that there's no reason why he can't get off. Well, you know why they the say that about him. He has to be saying that is in because terms of playing but, outside. No, 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 no. Uh, you know why they say that, that about him. But they say that about him because the, he primarily runs from the nickel or from the corner. Slot. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, slot position. 
So he's not really pressed up against the number one corners a lot. He can play that, the outside, by the yeah, way. Yeah, and that's like, why. I I, that yeah, rumor. that's why a lot of people do have questions about him. He just didn't play but, the well, outside it because of sense. Garrett and because uh, I recognized the name when he was talking. So so many of you guys have talked about him a lot, and you hype him up. And a lot I'm of thinking, white well, people in this room right here. What room? <laughs> the one on that I'm watching. Uh, whatever this is. Uh, whoever's getting drafted right here. Yeah, I thought you meant yeah. this room. I'm like, no, no what are you talking no. about? Oh, no. Lucas Van Ness. Is this Kincaid? Who is this? Who? Lucas Van Ness. Oh, it's that Green Bay. The Green Bay guy. That's Van Ness. Oh, okay. Van Ness. That is one. That is one he, white he ass fits. room. <laughs> he was in he, he in Iowa, <laughs> Tony. His last name is Van Ness. Tony, yeah. if it's still going on, watch his girlfriend push his friend out of the way because he's blocking. Why the are the Jonas Brothers on ABC right now? Are they from Kansas City? The Jonas no Brothers are, 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 are. Oh, did like, y'all see no, that? Like, did y'all see that Van from, like, Ness hockey kids? play? Yes. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. See, the I watched Steelers, film on him. The Steelers traded up. The Steelers traded up. The Steelers traded up. They're, they're going after Smith. their boy. They're going after Porter. Ooh. I put Porter? money on that. Porter or, yeah, or Nolan Smith? Corner. One of those two guys. Well, he could be wait, Nolan wait, Smith. Wait, wait. But Gonzalez they got to get Porter, though. Yet? He he was raised in the building. Hey, uh, gentlemen, uh, 10 minutes. G-Baby said that he is going to be entering the room. Oh, he just Fuck. woke up. Oh, shit. Damn, I got out. 10 minutes, and then He's I got to drink all evening. <laughs> <laughs> the Kurt Hobbs, man. You know I got to drink. He at 3 o'clock. He said, I'm opening it up. <laughs> hey, no, JJ, we ain't going to let him do that to you, bro. No, I'm, I'm, I'm Hey, we all have to band together because G-Baby's going to talk shit to all of us. Oh, no, he's not. What's he going to say? What's he going to say? I told you so. That's all he's going to say. He's going to say, yeah. Y'all made me sick. Y'all didn't want Bryce Young. <laughs> uh, right. no, he he is. Is. <laughs> bro, he'll he say he come got here receipts and on like everybody. Y'all make me sick. Hey, no, no. He he got good. receipts on everybody. Y'all didn't want to believe in him now, so don't believe in him when yeah, he went. Bro, all we all know that's a good one too. That's a good one. Yo, how can you same fucking energy? Yeah, Cody, I'm sending you something. It's, it's That's a good shit. one too. All right, all right. Why right. are the Jonas Brothers on my screen? Who is dope as shit? When when G Baby comes in, tell him that Temper, or uh, tell him that in the press conference a while ago that they said Matt Corral would get a first opportunity to start over. They didn't say that though. They tell him lying. that. Just so, Wait, just so I can liars. see his reaction. Frank Wright was so you nice. Know, he just he was diplomatic, was but he was just like this. Frank Wright was diplomatic, but he also he was like this. We just picked him number one. Come on, guys. He, be, he tries his hardest to lie, but like him yeah. being all, him being a Christian man, he can't lie. He be that. Uh, 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 we're, we're gonna he's gonna be quarterback Spend too. Out. Until so and so, like it's like, bro. Just, and Cody, I think I'm kind of. I thought today's post by your boy Corral is kind of weak, whack. I was just thinking. Yeah, about it. I mean, I didn't love it, man. I mean, I've been saying the whole time, just be a competitor. Come right, in and ball or maybe out. he's gonna out Jesus, Bryce. Uh, Bryce. Well, th- there was one conspiracy that maybe out they Jesus. told him that he <laughs> oh. would be a part of a trade. Like oh, maybe they were gonna that's... ship him up. Remember, if the Panthers do move back up into the first round, Ninja someone Ninja. might be a part of that trade. Mm. Maybe it mm. might be Matt Corral. Hey, we can. We don't that, have any. We don't have any uh, six or seven up, round picks. Yeah, pick, I know, the Steelers man. Steelers pick is out, Cody. They're taking Georgia what? offensive tackle, Broderick Jones. See, this is oh, good for right. like uh, if more of these receivers slip, the more the odds it's, are we can no, get up Aaron, in You see the vision. If Nolan, if Nolan Smith man. falls. I think the Jets it's are a, gonna have to get past the Jets. The Jets are gonna want to make Aaron Rodgers of, feel like a god right here. It's a oh. lot of guys that's falling. <laughs> Someone on Twitter. I know. Now, 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 to the Jets. There's hey, a how would y'all feel? Oh wait, Christian Gonzalez is falling, guys. Yeah, y'all, y'all remember? I said that. Yeah, y'all remember that the several of these analysts are saying that this wide receivers class ain't as good as it appears to be. 
Well, because right, there's no, no, only no, there's like not. three of them. There's the yeah. no, 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 there's the, there's the Flowers guy, and then no one's talking about that's who could it. be really that's good it. is the yeah. TCU that's kid. It. No, he. I love Quentin he's Johnson. Poor. So you don't think so? That's crazy. He goes up and gets the ball. Yeah, no, I think he's going to be a good it's NFL player, his, man. His lowest uh, graded uh, att- uh, not attribute, but like thing he does, it's like a, at a thirty three percent like rate that he catches in, in traffic. <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen. Somebody gonna bro. Uh, well, in traffic, no, we're talking man. about attacking the football though, maybe. Dog. Yes. Yo, yeah, like receiver, downfield. Nolan Smith, Christian Gonzalez, Jason, Gonz- bro, we're good. We're fall if they somebody's got to get the mid twenties. Twenty. I'm buying a JSN jersey before I get that Bryce Young. I'm. You so know the sorry. Chargers want a receiver. You know the Chargers are going to want a receiver because they got they old ass flowers. Keenan Allen and old and Mike uh, Williams. But I, 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 I need someone who can stretch I, the I'm field. I'm going to do a prediction. So they're going to the go Patriots. flowers. The Patriots will draft JSN. Uh, relax, pickle. Relax. But look at this. Is really look at the teams uh, that need receivers, well, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, so many people may fall. Scott Fitter may just stay. <laughs> like the thing is, like there's some guys like yeah, yeah but if you could get to the Jacksonville pick. How about this? Is we've had yeah. a relationship yeah. with Jacksonville. We've made trades with Jacksonville over the second over the last couple of years. <laughs> So I feel like we've worked with them. Hey, and Jacksonville does not need wide receivers. That 24 spot, if somebody, one of these guys makes it to 24, G- G- that Baby's might be the, it. The Friday free-for-all chat, Cody. Check hey. out what he says. This is crazy. I'm so excited right now. G- hey. G- Baby says, guys, I'm drunk as fuck, afraid to make a fool of myself. Uh, <laughs> when has that ever stopped you, G-Baby? Exactly. Just I tell them to, to come on. on anyway. Just tell them to come on. Get your ass up here, hey, G. Hey, you, on the real, you've been waiting for this. Hey, on the real, uh, New Orleans has the 29th overall pick. Could we jump them? Fuck the same. What would they want? Well, duh. But would they want? We would have to get up to the Bengals. Chargers. Vikings. I think 24 is it, man. I think the Jags. The Jags have tons of receivers. I think that if there's a receiver sitting there, that's the that's the group you can that's the team you target. Like we've had, like I said, we have a relationship with them. We've made several trades over the last couple of years with them. Um, I think that's the number because you're just really looking at this. Because for me, right here is that there are three teams. Maybe Detroit's interested in a wide receiver, but I think like you're talking the Chargers and the Ravens, twenty one and twenty two. They're one of those teams has got to take a receiver here if they're sitting there. The Jacksonville Jaguars, if one of these guys slips to there, that's where we go, folks. That's my that's what I would do. And I'm not even a guru. I want a linebacker so bad. We need a linebacker. Yeah, but we'll get him on day two or day three. Yeah, the the, 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 the stats on good. picking linebackers in first round are like just as bad as picking running back first round. I think like the the bust rate is high. And it's just not worth it in the long run. Somebody posted like picking a tight end. What happened the last yeah. time we did? Somebody said we take a linebacker in the first round and he was going to be a bust. Nobody said Keekly was going to be a bust. Oh, there was a lot of people they, who were pissed about Keekly. I think it was just because we had linebackers at that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That and they, that's what it was. None of them are rated to go in the first round this year. Well, the thing is, what I'm saying about like people taking running back so high is because, you know, like you said, people only have 15 people first round graded. If you have that a running back as a first no round runner. grade, if you have a running back with a first round grade, go get them. Like, if you don't want to overdraft anybody they else, you games. go get them. You yeah, know, I like, think this is a, I mean, I tell you Christian one thing McCaffrey is I wouldn't draft a tight end in the top. Stats, but he didn't win us games. Whoa, 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 whoa. We he might won have won the 49ers him. Oh, yeah, he won the 49ers in game, but he didn't win us any games. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't do anything. I think, right. I think New England's going to do uh, Jordan Addison, or I think they're going to go receiver. Nah, man, they got Juju Smith Schuster. They fine. You know Bill Belichick. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You, it's, you, it's, you believe a what lot you of... want to, buddy. They <laughs> make a chance. Yeah. Will Levis. Look, they man, what if New England goes Will surprise. Levis? That helps us a ton. Oh, my God. Well, Juju, Juju, uh, what are they going to do with Matt? Juju is a slot receiver, though, so they wouldn't hey. go JSN. It is Bill yeah, Belichick, they bro. Jones, bro. They've tried to trade. Belichick tried to trade uh, Mac Jones. 
What if we send them corral? It's crazy because like Matt Corral and our 39th <laughs> to get to their first. That work. I'll do that. <laughs> receiver is supposed to be the new thing in the NFL now, but there's two running backs gone and no yeah. receiver. I tell you who I think New this England can take for, up. For, uh, they can take flowers. I don't like it, but they could do that because with his his speed and agility, Belichick could do, they, he'll be another Edelman. He, he'd be all over that field. Uh, he'll be way more than Edelman. I'm just <laughs> saying <laughs> he will be. Not, oh not, my God. His, <laughs> nah, hey, listen, that. man, I'm gonna call it. If Nolan Smith falls far enough. I think the Panthers are going to try and trade up and grab him. Oh, we think Nolan Smith is going to be Nolan Smith, Gonzalez, JSN, Flau. It's a lot of guys. I it's, know. There's so many guys that we may just stay put, unfortunately. That's the thing. Like, you know, Didn't they, Nolan they, they Smith like Terrace Peck. Huh? That was last year. That was last year. Uh, he ran a 4-3. No, no, you're right. It was this season. Yeah. But I think he's healthy now. What up, though, Dan Floyd? What's going on, brother? Yeah, but I think we're like so many people are falling. We may just stay at thirty nine. We'll see what happens. Oh man, look I, at this! The Browns said got the got our guy, and it's Deshaun Watson. Oh dear. Oh god. Meanwhile, yeah, the Texans are turning. Keep, meanwhile, the Texans take my towel off me. Meanwhile, the Texans, the Texans got Stroud and Anderson. Who had that on their bingo card? The and they didn't have, didn't have to pay two hundred and forty million dollars, and also <laughs> potentially have to sell their franchise because of lawsuits. Yo, did y'all yeah. see Sheena? No. Sheena I mean, Quicks? that's not badass, right there, boy. Yo, Sheena Quick just tweeted. It's clean. A he looks like Mowgli. The- Wait, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, uh, Chad. A, a report. Sheena Quick tweeted. A reporter in the presser just asked Anthony Richardson how Frank Wright could mentor him in Indy. <laughs> well, um, oh, damn. when you're retarded things are going well yeah, right. so far. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah check this out put me on the screen uh, I, I hope it i hope it shows yeah i showed that i showed that earlier <laughs> I, I showed that yeah that's oh, hilarious bro. cody cody the that picture right there bryce young he looks like mowgli from jungle book Bro. Look, at that <laughs> Look at that little kid running out there. Where's the running out hey, there? Man, hey, Mowgli was Baloo. the hero of that story. By the Baloo. way, um, who is the, the who way. is the Panther in uh in the jungle? Bagheera. 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 Bagheera it's yeah. too much going. It's too much going on tonight. Right now, the Hawks are right. winning at home in Game Six. Ooh, the let's go. Is on. Let's go, Trey Young, Ice Trey. Yo, that's a good ass night. Cheers, boys. Somebody said I got that hella crazy in on. the background. Someone, someone on Twitter said the cheers, but it definitely not to be might, happy. Might, for might take JSN. Um, Don, shout out oh, Kevin out for Don being Don at the draft. Yeah, man, we have a bunch of C three people at the draft. There's three. J Stubbs is there. Have y'all ever been? I have not. It's a blast, dog. I went to Nashville. I drove up there. Uh, when was that? Twenty. I don't know what year that was. That might have been 2020, 2020. It was before the pandemic. Hey, 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 here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Here you go, Cody, I'm sending it in the group. Bro, that's magic right there, bro. All right, hold up. Oh, oh, the Jets. You want to hear who the Jets are taking? Go for it. Jason. Iowa Iowa State defensive end, Will McDonald. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Damn. That's kind of an overdraft, huh? It's a Jets move. Well, that's what the Eagles did. They need no damn defensive help. Yeah, but no, but listen, that they they, they, big difference. Yeah, Jalen Carter. A lot of people said Jalen was the best defensive player in the draft. Yeah, the pre- the problem Will was is he Donald killed somebody. Yeah, That's the know. only thing. Player, How did you see that pick? They, Who the hell got that? He Damn. The best <laughs> player, but also well, Fletcher Cox and look. Brandon Graham are getting yeah, cold. I mean, like none they none need the big D line help. Big and inside and of that. Hey, by the way, before uh, I play like this, need that. Before I play this clip, uh, Bryce Young is the only Alabama player ever to be drafted number one overall. <sighs> Oh, yeah, the right best here. stat of the night, my friend. He's the best Alabama player to come out. Yeah. 
Hey. They look down. All every look at that one guy. He can't even get up. <laughs> See how right. big that fella is? That's room. your boy Deontay <laughs> Brown right there, Cody. <laughs> hey, yo, shut up, bro. No, can't even get out of the damn chair. Yeah. Every single person in that room looks down at Snicker Boy. That is a big boy. Look at him. Damn. <laughs> what, what, what? He played. Long snap. <laughs> that dude in the blue shirt looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to them, man. That's fun. Shout out to, yo, man. That as much as I'm as I'm a diehard LSU fan, man. But yo, respect. Love to see it. I, Bryce you know, the one thing I, last I've been so irritated by the whole. Oh, Bryce Young didn't have an offensive line. He didn't have no receivers. And C.J. Stroud oh, had all of this. Good God. Cry me a river, Alabama, for your five-star know, recruits. Right? Good goodness. I, tell you, I guess I Nick know, Saban uh, losing his juice to homeboy in Georgia. Uh, so, uh, Kirby what Smart? are going with? Yeah. Snicker Boy or Gingerbread Man, as Bryce Young's nickname? No, man, I'm going Gingerbread Man, bro. Can't catch, uh, catch, catch me for kid. Have y'all seen the Royal Riot? Right? They got the they got the bright the Bryce girls t- uh, tank tops. That's, ah, that's, that's, that's the first that's the first time I heard that because the the fan shop doesn't have women's jerseys yet for Bryce. So the Bryce girls, I like that. What's one. that a play on? I don't even get the Spice it. Girls. Spice, Spice oh, girls. Oh, the Spice girls. Oh, little, okay. Come on, Tony. Uh, no, a little bit after. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, five Tony. years after me. <laughs> oh, come on! You're not that old. <laughs> they were a little after me. What? Are you serious? Not like, but like when I was listening to shit that would, if I would have ever listened to the Spice Girls, yeah. Can we can we come to a conclusion, guys? That like nobody knows anything about anything when it comes to the draft. That's why everybody likes it because us Joe Smoles that are that have really? access to film can make our own takes because nobody had Will McDonald going top fifteen. I'm telling you, this is why I let other people do all that shit, man. Look at this. They spend a lot of money all the time. I just let the draft do it. I'm not going to worry or try to argue anymore. But literally just two, three days ago, all of a sudden, Will Levis spikes up to possibly be top two. This motherfucker not going top 20. Nobody knows anything. Like what? Ruth Langmore said it. Nobody knows shit about fuck. Nobody. It's kind of like command, uh, the Commanders it, got Emmanuel Forbes, cornerback. Woo! Gazala still falling. What? Ha- something. I wonder, happen. Dunk. What do you think? Not uh, even Deontay Banks. What would be harder to do is, and, and I would say it's probably got to be the bracket still. But you know how CBS does the one million dollar bracket if you get it perfect. Yeah. Like, is imagine if anybody's gotten the draft perfect. That's got to be close to a the same type of, yeah, odds. You can't you can't bargain for trades, and tonight yeah, is not trades. Right, we're right, at, yeah. We only yeah. pick sixteen. It's been like what four or five trade. No, yeah, it's, you're trade. right. That makes it probably impossible to do. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. The seeds are the seeds for college basketball. Like it's it's a lot of luck, right? But, and it's it's impossible just because it's, it's, it's sixty four teams, so that's impossible too. But you can't. We've you, heard there's, people winning. There's no reshuffling of seeds for getting their bracket right. We ain't heard yeah. nobody get their mock draft right. No, I think uh, Josh oh. Norris, who used to who uh, who's with Underdog Fantasy now, who used to be in Charlotte for uh, he was originally like an intern on WFNZ. He, he got, got his- sixteen out of thirty two <laughs> last year, which is like that's a hell of a hit. Fifty you know percent. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, like, that's the beautiful, most beautiful fifty percent we've seen, man. Hey man, let me welcome JD. JD back in the building. JD, what's up, brother? I got I got like an hour before class is over with, so I, I decided before to it's like over with. You in the He's West in Hawaii, Coast. man. They're like five uh, hours. I know, yeah. but he said over with. I thought he was gonna say before his next class. He's like he just nah, skipped. Nah, <laughs> nah uh, so it's it's it's. This class is from twelve to, to it's supposed to be six, but uh, way everything worked to. out, it's like we we ended around five. So okay, so I'm, you I'm got a little time. 
So, man, the, you're missing a wild draft right now. And some ways is that for us, we thought it would be kind of disinteresting because we had the first pick and then what's going to happen. There's been a lot of movement. Uh, a couple of quarterbacks went high up. Will Levis has fallen. No wide receivers have gone yet, it seems. And uh, now you're sitting there going, do the Panthers muscle up and get back in this sucker? Or like Aaron's probably right is that there's too many people falling. You just sit pat at 39. JD, we got our quarterback. What else do we need in this draft? Not even if you're trading up, but like what's your ideal um, if we could get one contributor at a position, what's the position you would like a contributor at next year or this year, should I say? So um, I'm, it's, it's probably an unpopular opinion. Uh, I've been in the chat saying it. Like For me, I'm going defensive line. Um, looking back at last year and, and what the defense was able to do, um, that that Bucks game is like it's, it's etched into my memory. Every one of Tom Brady's deep passes to Evan, it came when we were sending additional pressure. We were blitzing. So if we can generate a pass rush with just four down linemen, with just three, four guys that we send it, then that lets everyone else drop back into coverage. That prevents plays like that from happening. Uh, the wide receiver group, uh, the, the wide receiver position we have, the group that we have on the team right now, I'm good. Like I'm, I'm good with it for in part because I want to see if TMJ can take that number one spot. If he can, oh, he will recapture oh, he will. where he was in college. Because people, I, in my opinion, people have forgotten that TMJ was the big dog on the LSU team with Joe Burrow and Chase and all those guys. So, he played the outside over uh, Justin Jefferson. I don't know, man. I, I, I I'm, I'm a, we, we've done that little, and like I said, we, me and Tony talked about it. Hearing Pepper saying that we don't need elite wide receivers, I don't like that mentality, man. I want to, I want to have an embarrassment of rich. Joe Burrow is elite because of the weapons. We saw what happened; his play dropped off when Chase was gone. You can be a good. You don't, you don't have to just because your quarterback is good. Don't mean you don't need to cut back on wide receivers. I mean that's that's the thing because in the, in the in the same sense that I'm I'm sitting here advocating that we go for for a defense alignment uh, additional pass rush. I mean I, I could flip my my own argument and say that yeah like what, what, like with what you're saying about the wide receiver group going out and getting you no know, getting a guy that you know is a dog like I, I'm I'm not against either one like if, if me being me my heart is always going to drift back to the defense. Side of the ball. So I'm gonna be a bit neglectful to the offensive side of things, but yeah, I mean, we we you can never go wrong with giving your quarterback additional help. We we all saw that as Panthers fans, Cam never had the help at the wide receiver position that he deserved. So, and if hold on to to add on to that because I mentioned a lot of times throughout the season, um, that the uh, the Bengals followed. That's the dude I wanted, man. Damn. The Bengals Ooh. followed up Joe Burrow with T. Higgins and Chase. After two was drafted, they got Waddle and Taylor for Hill. Uh, same thing with Hurts. It was uh, they drafted Smitty, then then went and traded for AJ Brown. And there's even more more examples throughout the NFL of quarterbacks getting good wide receivers and just becoming better all together as players. Um, so you can never go wrong with uh, adding help to your quarterback, your young quarterback. So, uh, but what uh, I feel like you're really what's wrong with this? Is, <laughs> is this yeah, I don't know. Uh, go get Jay. Hey, real quick, Great uh, hold on, real, hey, real quick, uh, Kobe Griffin. I know you're in the background. Come back in in another thirty minutes, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you back in here. Patriots got uh, Christian uh, Gonzalez. No, I want, Cody, I'm gonna leave. Cody, I'm gonna leave for Kobe. That's fine. I just wanted to come in here and say trade up for JSN or trade up for someone. JJ, I told you he was gonna fall, bro. This is where we need to trade up and get JSN. That's all I gotta I say. Think, I think it's gotta be 20s. I'm gonna be honest. I'll, I'm surprised JSN has fallen this far. What about it, Nolan it's the, Smith? It's the guy. All right, Anthony, you're the man, bro. I got a question for the class. Come back in, Anthony. Love you, Anthony. Hey, hold that thought, man. I got a question for the class. Hold, 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 hold that thought. I have to get this man in. He's been waiting forever. I know he's been waiting to talk his shit, bro. G-Baby. G-Baby in the motherfucking house. 
<laughs> Jeep, baby! What's up, bro? Man, you know that man drunk as fuck. He got them sunglasses on, bro. Big ass glasses. Uh, hey, like, hey Cody. What up, Cody. Bro? Hey. What well, well, <laughs> 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 Uh, bro, how you feeling, bro? Feeling like Ray Charles, baby. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey G, go, you go, bro. You G, go, ain't you? You feeling good as hell, bro? No, you for I'm happy for right. you, bro. I'm happy for you, bro. I'm happy that uh, you know, you've been talking about Bryce forever, man, and now you got your motherfucking quarterback, bro. You got your motherfucking quarterback, bro. <laughs> Let's go. I got you a got question. Your jersey yet? I got a question for the class. G baby. Yeah, go ahead, did, go ahead, did your jersey come in yet? No, it's not here, bro. Yeah. If it yeah, if it's good. in rain, whatever. Who, if we make a trade up, would you rather oh, trade? Gonzalez up just went. By the way, would you here. rather trade up for? No- yeah, I saw that. Would you rather trade for Nolan Smith or JSN? Nolan Smith. JSN. There's levels to this shit, G. No, there's levels to this shit. I, I see, I see the chat. I see we're torn on that one. Where is a rookie wide receiver going to play? Hold on, hey Drew, Drew, uh, Drew. I, I, Drew, I, I, I hear a lot of hostility into your voice, G. Let me fix that for you, G. Let me fix that for you, G. It's all good tonight. Hey, Adam, Adam Thielen is whole. He's old, G. He's getting old. DJ Chark is still coming off an injury, bro. Those guys are not set in stone. We got our franchise guy. Now we need to go get our franchise. Well, I guess we could call him a franchise receiver. If we can hop back into this first round, that means we get that fifth round, that fifth year option, man. That is key to go along alongside with that rookie contract with that QB. And, and, and I get that, G, baby, but we also need that compliment for Brian Burns on the other side. And if you put hey, okay. Smith, I, no, I agree. I, I agree, on, Drew. On, I agree. Drew, hold on, Drew. Let me ask you a question. What do you sure. think will help us win games more? Bryce Young having a reliable go-to weapon and connection, uh, a franchise like connection, or uh, uh, Ooh, another possible okay. pass rusher to complement Brian Burns? A pass rusher. Well, you can't just, get just think favor. about clutch, just think about crunch guy. time. Just think about when it's two minute drill. Think about Depends that two minute drill. Got, no, you, know what, you know what I'm thinking we about? Got, we I'm thinking got about Super Bowl 50 when that Broncos defense swarmed our offense that couldn't be stopped all, right. all year long. Because we didn't be better. Uh, hey, if you want that edge, guys. Single receiver. If you want that edge. If you want that edge, you need to probably go out and get him in free agency and get a Do top we really tier. Think Nolan we didn't got too comfortable with averaging good. 21 points I don't a game. Think we need Nolan receivers. Smith is going to be all that. Bro. Could you imagine if Will think. Levis fell out Will of the Levis first round think. completely? I can, I can, but I want to stay on this edge topic for one second, Cody. Good how long did I, How long have I said on this show that if you're not one of the freak defensive ends, like one of the top of the top? that it takes time for you to develop. And so you get a, if you get a defensive end here in the back end of the first, it might be two or three years before you see any contribution from him. And that's the thing. I would rather just go out and pay whoever the next Von Miller is on the market in two years than to get a defensive end. Who's a project that might never even see the field. Haven't we had enough of those with, (laughs) <laughs> Gross Matos and Tony, all that. It, Tony, 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 it don't even have to be that caliber of. Oh, God. oh the fans got him, bro. Let me, let me ask you this: Who? we we average average activate five wide receivers, average, right? You have you you, you have Marshall. Say you have the two guys you got Thayden and Dylan Chart and, and Sharp. Um. You're gonna have, probably have one to do return, right? The to do return. Do return. So, 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 is getting cut. So, 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 so you can put your rookie wide receiver on the bench, right? No, no. Jay or or you use those wide receivers. Junior, one of those guys gets hurt, which has happened every single year. DJ Shark's been hurt every, almost every other year. Terrace Marshall Jr.'s dealt with injuries. 
So it's not like I think that the room would be too crowded for them to make Nick some noise. Nick would be our best wide receiver day one. What are we talking about? So who, who lines up? So who lines up at edge? Well, you just go sign somebody. Well, well you know what? I tell you, whoever you draft, tell me the name. Tell me, tell me a name. Later. Tell me a name that you would draft right now or even tomorrow that would start. Drew Sanders. Can't Is that miss. defensive end? Would he really start? No, he's, he's a, a, he, he's a How linebacker. Much do you have Nolan Smith becoming good in the NFL? He, 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 Nolan he's Smith a, was good at Georgia. Bro, he runs a fucking 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, and, and, oh, and I'm talking about defensive four, end. Four. I'm not talking about other positions. I'm talking about exactly. name a defensive end who is a starting caliber player in year one who's going to replace gonna, Marquise Haynes. It's all going to be rotation. The guys that were – Day one stars were gone. Yo, G, uh, baby. Wilson and um, <laughs> Anderson, of course. But uh, my thing is, there's answers in free agency at the end. There's Leonard Floyd. Yeah. There's yes. uh, Melvin Melvin Ingram to rotate with some kind of developmental guy we draft later. There's plenty of guys. There's no re- receiver. Lions took Jack Campbell. No. Wow. Wow. That that there's your guy, dude. No. I like there's him. No, too. Re- yeah, there's no Jack receivers in free gone. agency. Damn. That's good for their defense. That doesn't surprise me. They didn't pick a cornerback. Damn, I'm surprised. But again, they didn't go wide receiver. uh, You guys know why JSN is falling, right? still on the board? Why? Because he's going to the Panthers, G-Baby. He's a slot receiver. (laughs) Because he's coming coming off that injury, bro. No, this whole class is all slot receivers except Quentin Johnson. He can't catch. They are all like six foot and under. (laughs) Yo, JSN is different, y'all. Dude, this is perfect. Oh, if, if, he, if he falls to the second round, you pick him up. He's not Panthers falling to the him. second, Cody. You He's not falling to the is. second. G, baby, you don't know that, man. 24? Hey, for, 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 all, for all my uh, for all my uh, cornerback secondary people out there, if Cam Smith is still on the board, Bro, like, how y'all Cam feel about Smith that? Cam Smith is weak. Bro, no, he not. Yeah, Cam, sh- Cam yeah, Smith ain't like, shit, G. Jason, uh, Jason is worth his way to go. 24, 25. Hey, Michael Mayer, man, that motherfucker's falling too. I, I'm... Bro, we is so. I think Adam Thielen play. texted uh, or tweeted 35 minutes ago. Let's go with. Uh, hey man, you better go. Uh, you better go round up some motherfucking mayonnaise and some 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 coffee and get some energy, motherfucker. Who? Is you falling, motherfucker. Bro, Levis. Oh, Levis. Yeah, he I'm might he saying. might follow the second round, bro. Which we is right. Which is good. You know what? That's yeah. good. That's fine. That's you what know, he gets. Like the prop. Or know just it the all. Fact he is. thinks he knows it all. G. You think so? That's what the reports were. That's what didn't he? Wasn't he a bad interviewer? You were telling us, Cody. Yeah, I think there was. He was going into interviews bad. thinking he knew that he was all that bad at a I bag of chips. Uh, man might have confused with bravado and confidence. Which, I don't like his face. All the that's are coming out. <laughs> he's he's like a jock. Terrace Marshall so, just tweeted. Uh, Fire Bur- or Brian Burns just tweeted to Bryce. Shaq Thompson just tweeted to Bryce. All these tweets are starting to come out now. We're not. They all yeah. look down that's to Bryce. Right. The whole the way, 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 and wide receiver. G baby, G baby swag, bro. <laughs> look, this is your <laughs> night, G baby. I know, man. Put him up on the full screen for yeah, a second. Look at, yeah. look, at look, at look, at look at that. Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese, bro. Cheese it. Cheese it. Look at that right there. <laughs> you look like Bryce it Young. <laughs> it is one thing. Red Charles out here, bro. That is one thing that, uh, that 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 kind of won me over with. Ah, I mean, like ah. I, I said before, I, I didn't really have a dog in the fight. We what have young game? and something that Cam, like the video that Cam posted a while back, or well, a few days ago, talking about how all these guys have talent, and for him, it's about who can lead. Yes, he, he felt yes. That Bryce Young was the best leader out of the group. Again, yes. I do, Bryce, I do have the most world. confidence that he could walk in there, and I, you know what? I have the most confidence. And Bryce Young being able to handle the pressure that comes with the number one pick. To, like, a even lot of y'all ain't going to like this. When they ask him all the questions, even about his size, like he doesn't – he can't be rattled, bro. He doesn't He's never, never rattled. Hold on. 
Y'all seen that picture? Y'all see Pat Cotrain tweet about that picture of him and pointing to his grill, talking about he ain't know he swing like this, basically? <laughs> I mean, the Panthers, so the Panthers, pro, the yeah, Panthers yeah. profile picture is Bryce with grill in, and it says the Bryce is right. They know yeah. what he did. He put a grill in? Yeah, yeah he had a little yeah. grill for a picture. Hey, 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 hey I, want, I, want, I, want, really, I want, I feel that's out of character. I want to play something Exactly. Oh, no, I want to play with I'll, CJ Stroud. I like, want to play something think. for y'all. That's soft spoken shit. Just, he was just conning the us the whole time. Overall, Bryce has always had swag. Draft. Bryce Young. Yo, he's taller than are, are you used to hearing that yet? The number one overall pick? No, like, not at all. This is all very, very new. Um, you know, this is this, this you know, brother. I'm still trying to pick everything out, but this is a huge blessing. Um, you know, it's an amazing moment. I'm just super grateful. For what was going Speak it's up. so annoying. Speak he's up, so man. perfect. It's annoying. You know, you dream of moments like that. You know, hearing. Hear your Speak name after up. Roger Can't Goodell, hear you, um, little man. Says who the pick is, and um, you know, j- just to be able to live that reality. Um, it's still, it's. I'm, I'm trying to put it all together in real time, but it, it, it's real. We're just a few minutes out. I can't believe you have words. You're doing a great job being able to process this. So you had, a, you know, you process. met with the Panthers quite a bit during the draft process. Got to know them. So what makes you excited to play for this team? The Bucks I mean, pick I'm, Will Levis. No, man. Kalias Cansey. They did. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? Players were no, they didn't. Kalias Cansey. Up. Really tell. That's dope. Him and Peter. Oh, yeah, listen to you. How about y'all hush and listen to y'all number one starting future Super Bowl winning quarterback? Um, and that means a lot. And then, you know, being able to talk to, to everyone there from, from the, the staff to the front office, um, you know, hearing about, you know, what they want from the quarterback position, um, you know, their philosophies in, in coaching and just how involved and invested they are. Um, Having having Mr. Tepper there and having um, you know and having the coaches all it, it really permeates throughout the, the building just the accountability that everyone takes um, so you know just being able to be coached by by the coaching staff that I will be and be able to play alongside the, the players that I will um, it, it's a huge blessing. You said the word blessing. I know it's not just a blessing for you, but for your family. What does it mean to share this moment with your parents and your family? Yeah, I mean it means everything. Um, you know, having my parents there and my family you know, supported me throughout my entire life. Again, you hear one name called. Um, it, it takes a lot of a lot of people behind me through these one big day. And to be able to have my family and my parents there by my side through this, um, you know, a special I would any other way. Finally, you know, everyone is so excited to have you as part of the Carolina Panthers. So what can players, coaches, uh, your new teammates, fans expect from Bryce Young? Um, everything. Um, you know, I'm going to give my all. I'll give my all to this, uh, this franchise. And, you know, I don't take it lightly uh, being picked. Um, you know, being, being picked with, with this team's first overall pick, that means a lot. That means they trust me and believe in me. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to, 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 to make sure, you know, make good on that and do all I can. And, you know, to the fans, the same thing. I'm going to give everything I have. You know, I, I want to make everyone, everyone proud and, and make sure that, you know, we're accomplishing those team goals. Uh, you know, and I, I want to give a big shout out to the, the fans out there at the stadium uh, watching uh, the support. Uh, I really appreciate it. You know, he just said the C3 blessing. Panthers so, podcast, too. Panthers, it's, it's still crazy to say this. Uh, I'm, I'm super honored. Um, so uh, I'm going to give my own. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. What you. I took away from that is he has that dog in him. That's what you took away out of all of that? <laughs> you know, the, funny thing, the funny thing about the way he talks, like, I, I, I genuinely have to hit my old man up because my dad, the last time I took, talk to my dad he's like he might be family i have about five cousins that talks they they're soft spoken they're not like it's not like soft spoken but they don't get their words out they speak the very same way that he's talking so if i find out that mother bro if i find out that man is actually biologically related to me y'all gonna see me come on this show (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you better cousin. get him on this fucking show. Hey, 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 that's your that's your cousin for real, bro. Hey, I got a question hey. for G Baby. How how you feel hey. how you feeling about Bijan to the Falcons? You you worried at all? Yeah, yeah I'm worried, bro. G. I'm worried. Hey, what you Kansi. worried about, bro? Elijah Kansi could be a problem. I'm not going to lie. Derek Brown going to have him in the backfield for tackles for love. Him, him, him and Vita Vey Vita could Vita. be a problem in Tampa. I'm not going to lie. Yo, yo. Y'all shouldn't worry about the running back, the buck, uh, the Falcon signed, or the defensive end, the Buck signed. After defensive all, tackle. y'all got to remember, well, they're going to use him as an end. No, no, no. Kansi, he's inside. He's inside. They just they just said on NFL Network that defensive end. 
All right, Don Aaron, you wish. Uh, either way, it? either way, he's a lineman. Uh, when we, we uh, we're going to draft another wide receiver here in a little bit anyway. So, what we got to worry about? We're just going to score more points than everybody. How many first round picks does Seattle have? Two. Two. Remember, oh. they got all Russell. They got rid of Russ. They traded. Now they can cook. Now they're cooking. Fuck the Seahawks. Uh, Aaron, what's your what you got? What you got on your mind? Oh, this might be Will Levis. Hold on, one guy. I'm, I'm about to jump off, man. But uh, appreciate you guys having me, man. Like this is pretty Shout exciting. You, bro. I'll be- it's a fucking movie. That's what it is, man. It's, hey, it's keep fucking a- pounding, my brother. Keep motherfucking movie, pounding, G. Y'all just pay attention to see who falls. Like I said, it may be so many people that falls that we just stay put, unfortunately. But um, I'll be excited, man. Appreciate y'all having me. Y'all yeah, stay man. up. Uh, Enjoy. Sure. Oh, no, nah, man. How about this is, man, thanks a lot, Aaron. Check out Unnecessary Bluntness on YouTube. You can find his work. He does great content. Uh, one of the things, though, Appreciate is you, this I've might be the first. To that shit, G. Uh, is this the first time Tony wasn't drunk when the Panthers made their pick? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's some bullshit, dude. You still late on that, Tony? It might be the first doing, time man? ever. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, Usually, I have to do this. And, and, no, and hey, man, shout out to White Chocolate Espresso. Yes. On the scene reporting, brother. You know we love you, man. Even though, uh, oh, look at biggest, Will's mom. You're the, you're the biggest Whoa. troll in my life. You're uh. Dude, he's uh, pro. He's See, that's what you guys would want, bro. He got to get coddled by his mama. He's still on the fucking tit, nigga. That's pathetic to me. That's pathetic. This is why you don't go to the. Oh, look, he did look like he about to cry. Mom looks all right though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, oh yo, God. Aaron Rodgers went through the same shit. So, don't put him yeah. on the same team you that damn Zach Wilson's on again. Hey, don't say that, oh, bro. Bro, don't this say is too funny to me. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. Not, so he's not nowhere near Aaron Rodgers. It'd be hilarious if his mom handed him a cu- cup of coffee and mayo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, bro. Coke Goddamn with the banana pain. with the peel on it. <laughs> uh, where does Zach Wilson go? And I hope it's not the same team that uh, Will Levis goes because his mom is getting smashed uh, right away. <laughs> He needs to stay. He needs to stay with the Jets. He's in the Jets. He's be on the bench for the Jets. Yeah. Y'all remember, Seattle's y'all remember that clip of Zach Wilson saying he's going to give the starter hell in training camp? Yep. Good luck. Where in that, that this year? Yeah. yeah he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll be bringing him hell, bringing him hell with hot of coffee. Man, you got, <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys have followed the shit with. Well, I mean, I know everybody's following Aaron Rodgers, but. Aaron Rodgers is one of those guys, like, if you're one of the backup quarterbacks, they don't, like, even let you in the meetings. They probably don't allow you to have a playbook. Poor Zach Wilson is just going to be, like, sitting in the parking lot waiting for Aaron Rodgers to let him in the building. But Aaron Rodgers likes Zach Wilson. Wilson. What do you got for us, Chad? No, uh, just something small. Will Kunkel, I don't know, we'll take it for what it's worth. JSN has fallen into the 20s. The Panthers are intrigued. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. Boy. I'm Scott telling Bitter. you that the Make team is the Jags. The team is the Jags. That we, with? We, yeah. we don't have to rush JSN either. We don't have to rush him to, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, he can, yeah. you know, stay cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, JSN and Bryce Young. I don't even know hey, who uh, JSN is. Who is Tony? Uh, he's uh, he's an Ohio, Ohio State wide receiver. Oh, he's another a- one? Yeah, he's been a badass for them for a very long time. He didn't time. play this past season with an injury sustained in week one, uh, uh, unfortunately. But the year before, even with Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, he led the team in uh, yards. Right. And, and yeah, yeah, really, this is the only, only injury, injury he's ever had. had. Nobody's got only injury. Injury. I'll tell you in the private chat. All right. Oh, uh, my fat diesel skills. Anthony's going crazy in that chat. Talking about we need it. We need I thought it Michael early. Myers and Kanar was supposed to go early, like in the early teens. Yep. Yeah, they were supposed to. I mean, it was all projected, but. Nah, they're at tight ends, bro. They were going to fall regardless. That ain't what they said before. Or the nah, one that is projected. I, a lot of this stuff is projected, but 
It's just you don't you don't. There's know. always going to be those fluky projections. Ooh, when Seattle you look at, taking. When you look, when you look at recent no, memory well. of tight ends uh, getting drafted early, it's T.J. Hawkinson, Eric Ebron. Um, uh, OJ Howard, Evan Ingram, a lot of those guys just haven't pan out uh, for the team they got drafted to. So uh, it it really makes sense why like teams don't even waste a for, uh, top fifteen on them. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. Now, if we don't trade up, get back in the first round, come the second round, and I want y'all honest opinion now. If that tied in from Georgia, that boy Washington, if he's there, no. y'all, y'all draft him or no? No, yeah. Oh yeah, I would, draft, I, would draft, I would draft. I would draft Darnell Washington in a heartbeat, bro. Oh, yep, right. Okay, but what if Michael Mayer is still there with Darnell Washington or Kincaid? That's probably a good still one. Darnell. Damn, that's the good Pro- one. That's probably still that's Darnell because th- those boys are nice, but they don't block Nolan nowhere Smith, near the way he Seattle. can. And yeah. he's more. He's Damn. more. Uh, a lot of them are more of a. I don't want to say they're more like a. Some of them are more. They're almost a little bigger of a wide receiver playing. Oh, uh, okay. So J S S N is in 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 Jigbo. Yeah. Wait, yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. I was thinking. I was like, who the hell is J S N? I thought we were all talking Jack- about Smith. And- all right. Wait, now I got, I got it. Jackson Smith and then Jigbo. Got it. I'm in. The old guy's in the know now. <laughs> <He's in. laughs> no, nope, never mind. Uh, uh, J J. I hate to crush your dreams. Uh, Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. Seattle's got with the, with, with the Jackson 20th Smith pick, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you Zane. know what I mean? I, 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 it might have been a little rich to move up that quick for somebody God. like G Baby said, come at, dealing with injury. It would be nice. But, like, what if Flowers falls to us at 39? What yeah. if he's so Nolan Smith? Who the or what if he's sitting the there? Uh, oh, you know what? Smith, you might have to jump ahead of Kansas City at 31 to get him. That's somebody that Kansas City would love is some Zay Flowers. Fuck. Fuck Seattle, man. I hate fucking Seattle. I always hate Bring them. Bring it up and get Nolan Smith. Gino. What about Gino Smith going to be like the best? Like, look at that. Yeah. He's going to be a life lesson to everybody to keep pounding in their life, like to just don't give up. Yeah, we need to draft. What well, We need to go for Zay, Zay Flowers, y'all. Yes, sir. He's going to go. He's going to the Chargers, dude. He's going to the Chargers. Michael May- I think Michael Mayer is going to the Chargers. Yeah. He, Z, 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 Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers is a size wide receiver we like around here. He's five yep. nine, five nine, weigh, weighs one hundred and eighty two pounds. Him and Bryce our, Young. Our, will our quarterback to look down on him. <laughs> okay, but remember, Scott, Scott said that there's a He'd be the only players. guy in the locker that look down to. <laughs> Scott Bro, Hitter said that there, there, are, there are a group of players Damn that they man. would be willing to trade up for. So I wonder who. Those guys are, but man, that would have been nice to have it uh, in Jigba. They said one. He said one was a uh, was a pass rusher. Nolan Smith. Miles yeah, Garner. That's what they were saying. Him. If they would trade up, it would, one position would be for a pass rusher. Oh, I forgot mm-hmm. about Miles Murphy. Dang. Are there any corner? Is who's Nolan? What does Nolan Smith play? What position? Edge. Uh, he plays outside outside outside. Outside. Let, let, let me ask y'all real quick. Yeah, outside this, this, I think, I think this is going to go with Tony. One no, Joey Porter Jr. is still available. Would you take him? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, is that real? Yeah. I, hey, I would shop. I would shop uh, Dante Jackson and pick up another corner in this damn draft. If, if that 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 would. I mean, if Joey Porter Jr. is there hypothetically at thirty nine when we pick, I'd have to take him and get rid of Jackson because he's a good. Or guy. you don't get rid of anybody. You just wait for well, them. Yeah, you just keep it till you just yeah. wait for like week yeah. two. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. Jack, Jackson gonna be hurt anyway. So I hate that. Say that I like I like Dante Jackson, but, but yeah, yeah, but, I love that dude. But, but the know. toes, the toes. Yeah. Poor guy got yeah. got the, but, he got toes like my grandma. Yeah, them claw toes that are all bending yep. over each other and shit. Yep, <laughs> the shoe fits. 
<laughs> it don't fit. That's the problem. <laughs> Damn, man. It would have been nice to have Jackson, man. Wait, Fuck. go back to the hotel. You're yeah, tired, yeah. baby. You're Come tired. On. He's sleepy. He's sleepy and drunk. You at the hotel already? Yeah. Yeah, they're 15 bucks for a 16-ounce of Bud Light. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, brother. Hey, man, I appreciate you uh, sharing the stream, man. That was awesome. You're our on-scene correspondent yeah, here. Can... Right, yeah, you're not the only one. Switch off on my phone. I grabbed my girl's phone. I was like, yo, let me use her phone. <laughs> yes, let's go. But Well, you know what? She needs to, th- man, how cool is that to have your boyfriend take you to the draft? Uh, on a correspondent. You know what we're going to do this is I'm going to need you to send me your receipts for your plane tickets. I got to write it off on the C3 taxes as a, as a trip, <laughs> business trip. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, all right, so uh, how was it? Tell us a little bit about the experience of the draft because it didn't look overly crowded from where you were at, right? Is It looked like a big – almost like you're at a concert. In some of the other places, no, it's – look. tell us about the experience a little yeah, bit. Yeah. It, it was like an outdoor uh, concert. I mean, everyone was cool. I figured it would be like some like fights or something like that. Like, like nobody, everyone was chill. Like, it was cool. Food was good. Well, expensive but it was good yeah. what are some of the really things see, that uh, were had a bunch what of were some of the entertainment other than the picks like well how did they try to make it an ex- experience they had two hosts on the stage they were kind of annoying two girls uh, <laughs> but they had like some other uh tours you go to and get memorabilia and stuff like that and a whole bunch of stuff there I what did you really do in the lead up today what'd you do oh, uh it What'd you do in the hours leading up to the the draft? Uh, we, well, we were around like three o'clock, and then we just went straight there and just started eating and drinking. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Was uh, who were the biggest? Was there like a group of fans that you was who who showed out in mass more than anybody? Was there any team that like, you were like, damn? I mean, oh, I guess Kansas, Kansas City. City clearly because they were there. <laughs> Was there anybody else? Oh man! Yeah, Kansas. That's gonna be my new wallpaper. Yeah, it was nothing but red. <laughs> I guess you got drive that right here. You know, Where's I guess the picture from. It's from Twitter, but I mean, bro. It's when he found when he found me talking to his mom in her, her DMs. <laughs> We'll love this over there. <laughs> hey, the Chargers are picking wide receiver Quentin Johnson. Oh, oh my God. What a bunch of dummies. Ooh, nah, a bunch he's of good, dummies. bro. He's Come good. On, that dude is trash. He drops a lot. That dude is trash, bro. Like, I, mean, he's good. I mean, Justin Dave Herbert's going to be able to get him the ball. That dude is overrated, bro. I promise you. <laughs> Hey man, Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers is stupidity, man. Baby. Let's go. No, hey, dude, dude, Jordan Addison, bro. No, I'm taking dude, Jordan no, Addison. No, man, man, fuck Jordan I, Addison. Bro, you're tripping. Zay, Zay Flowers is the man. You're tripping. Dude. Jordan Addison, no, no. Won, dude, you're tripping, bro. Zay he won the Belinda Coffee Award. That's the best receiver in the country, bro. Jordan Addison won the best receiver in the country. You're tripping, bro. No, no. He plays for fucking Boston College. He gets no fuck. No, I don't think so, bro. First of all, no. He's not better than Marvin. There's levels to this shit, bro. That whole best one. Nah, dude. I'm taking Marvin Mims over fucking Zay Flowers, bro. Jordan what? Addison played at USC. Whoever comes I'm taking USC, Addison and game. Mims over fucking oh, Day Flowers, bro. You're that tripping. Has nothing to do with how he's going to do There's levels to this shit, boys. He doesn't have breakaway mm-hmm. speed. You're tra- oh, it's not going to make you miss, huh? Zay Flowers is faster than Jordan Addison. I guarantee. Hey, listen, check this out. We need a receiver. If they're all three of them all are on the board, I guarantee they go with fucking Jordan Addison. Watch. Bro, There's Zay levels Flowers. to this fucking shit, bro. Zay You're Flowers tripping. Is literally better at everything, bro. Oh, I mean, what? He's no, a better contestant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was up, baby? Hey, JJ, let me ask you a question. He's better at breaking Which wide receiver? Which wide receiver did 
future Hall of Famer Steve Smith highlight on his podcast. Oh, oh wait, 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 hold on. Is that now the same I have to answer Smith? the question, hold on, hold please. On, hold on. Is that the same Steve Smith that G Baby was vouching for when he was vouching for Bryce Young? Is that the same Steve Smith? Oh, all right. That I just be, that, that, that would continue. be. Bro, Bryce, dude, Steve Smith, it's the, it's the Steve no, no, Smith. No, 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 he got to no, do that, bro. No, I don't care what Steve Smith says. I'm going off what I think. The answer to your question is that G Baby, if you believe you're right, then for you, you're right. I believe that I'm right. For So I'm always going to be right. <laughs> hey, and by the way, y'all. G Baby, man. You need, this to, is a, you need to get a bigger hat, man. Hey, this is a Charlotte shot glass for you motherfuckers. Hey, cheers, what, buddy. What are you drinking in it? Apple juice? Quinn <laughs> Johnson looks like Robbie Anderson. <laughs> oh, G Baby, y'all he, he does. I agree with you. I I watched film yeah, on Quinn hand, Johnson, bro. and every time I watched him, I that's the first thing I thought about. I thought this dude, this yeah. dude is just Robbie Anderson. Pretty we much. need to go sign him again. <laughs> relax, <laughs> relax. That's Don't do Quinn Johnson, Johnson is. that dirty. Don't do that, that dirty. Dude. Bro, yeah, Johnson. I can't believe that, that dude. Is all he is, Robbie Johnson uh -huh. Jr. You think Jordan uh, Addison is something special, bro? He dude, is Jordan dead. Addison is special, bro. How much Jordan Addison pay you to say that? He's got the best hands in the draft, too. No, he doesn't. Well, yes, he does, that. bro. Did you forget uh, JSN? Is that what his old lady said? Draft? He just went off the board. JSN was my first, my number one receiver, but Jordan Addison is my number two. Yeah, uh, JSN so, overrated too. Marvin Mims is my number three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pick hey, I got a Marvin rock. Mims. <laughs> yeah. All right, G. All right, G. It, JJ. All right, G. Kavasse, what's up? God bless all y'all. G, baby. Panther Pickle. Yo. The dude right there to, to, to the left with the hat and sunglasses on, and my man to, to, to the right with the key pounder behind me. God bless all y'all. And damn it, the South is ours this year, all right? Let's go. Fuck everybody yes, else. Key pounding. You, you're, the, you're, right, you're the man, bro. Peace and love, brother. And hey, shout out to Vassier, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. So you got you got Jackson Smith and Jigba that's off the board, but you still have Zay Flowers, Nolan Smith, Ojalari, Porter Jr., Dalton Kincaid, and Michael Mayer. Like Addison would be fun. I just prefer Zay Flowers. Hey, right now. Yo, man, bring in – you can bring in Michael Mayer, Greg Olson reincarnated. Or no. A <laughs> No tight ends in the first round. Don't break the Later. sacred rule. Tony spit. I don't know. Man, Michael Mayer's different. You know what, though? You know what, though, Cody? With all these folks dropping like that, to be honest with you, what, uh, I, don't, I don't think we need a tight in the first round. Not. Yeah, I, I don't think we need to. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade into the first round at all. Wait, who did you oh, say oh, might be there? Like we could get what, uh, Washington might 39. be there at thirty nine. It wouldn't shock me at all to get him. If we could somehow keep the thirty ninth overall pick, no. and do that, well. pickle, pickle. I would like right. to trade back. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, uh, pickle, pickle. Oh, I'm blanking right now. Washington. Darnell. Washington. Oh, Darnell Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, Cody, you mind if we take a call? Two call. We got two calls hey, in the hole. Hey, do your thing, man. Do your thing. All right. Let's take a call here. The number is 252-228-5098. We'd like to get your thoughts on this draft. Should have played this call earlier. It's from 821, so it's a little late. Uh, but let's hit them up. National media keep on hating. If you think we're going to suck, then you're sadly mistaken. Yo, if we got a problem, then Bryce going to solve it. Check it, check this shit out, cause everybody called it Bryce, Bryce, baby. Guys, I'm so fucking excited <laughs> for the for the past what? Ever since Cam Newton grenaded his foot, okay? We we have been in quarterback hell. This is the most exciting quarterback quarterback prospect we've had. We've been excited for. Uh, Sam Darnold, Teddy Bridgewater, Baker Mayfield. And we weren't even excited for them until they signed. Because we did not want them. But we wanted Bryce Young. And we got Bryce Young. 
So, uh, yeah. I'm over the moon right now. Pounding beers. We're going to have a great season. And, oh, by the way, we're going to win the Super Bowl. I told all the Cowboys fans at work, I've taken a page out of their playbook because I don't care. Because we're going to win the Super Bowl. I don't like them. Because they're going to lose in the freaking first weekend of the playoffs. Because we're going to smoke their ass. And Bryce Young's going to be the one that does it. Denying all the way through. Short and everything. Gotta get Jordan out. It doesn't matter. We've done it. We've got our star offensive line I mean, that we won in last year in Iki Aquanu. Now we've got our star quarterback, baby. Wow, wow, wow. I can't, oh, I I can't that. resist. I can't Shout resist. Shout out to fucking Joey the Blind Panther, baby. He's Zay the Flowers only. Of Baltimore. He's the really? only. Yeah. Fuck. Cody. All right, we better pray Jordan Addison there at 39. Man, what's up, Tony? That means Jay Sam probably would have went there. Yeah, Zay resist. Flowers went. Zay Flowers went to uh, uh, Baltimore. Damn it. Joey the Blind Panther had a rhyme that was playing off of uh, Ice Ice Baby. What's going on, Jimmy? What's going on, Jimmy? What's going on, Jimmy? Bitch, I'm going to rock the wagon for you, G. What's going on, Jimmy? Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Joey the Blind Panther was the only one that didn't see it coming, though. Uh, Yo, all right, all right, all right, here now I'm done. I'll see myself out. <laughs> no, for real, man. G Baby and Anthony, I'm happy for y'all, man. I'm happy that y'all got your boy. I know for all of feeling. us. We're that's happy for cavity. all of us. I know, but specifically these two motherfuckers, bro. They, they have not shut up for five months about Bryce fucking Young. <laughs> And now Jesus they got Good. their boy. So I'm I manifested this shit, baby. Let's go. Congrats to the boys, bro. Do you think Scott Fitter trades up at all? Do you think that's possible? Hey, I think we're out Anthony, of it if now. It, if, if I don't think Nolan we are now. Smith, if it's Nolan Smith, yeah, I do it in a heartbeat, bro. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Yeah. Is he that good? I mean, yes. listen. I don't know. Tony, Is that the Tony, Georgia listen. kid? Yeah. If you want, okay. If you look at his stats, last year he was hurt. He had a pectoral injury. But he was, every time he was on the field, he was a game wrecker. And he blew up the combine, dude. Physically gifted. He would be the perfect complement on the other side of Brian Burns. That would just be three. He fits the three, four perfectly. Perfect. All right. Well, then I'm down. And, you know, that would make Drew happy. Yeah. Oh yeah! Hey Tony, sure. take everything they're Absolutely. saying with a grain of salt. It's op- optimism draft day talk. Just remember. Oh, you that. an Ohio State fan? What do you know? Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, <laughs> we would whip Tennessee's ass. I, don't I wouldn't hear. mind would. a corner. You? Hey, is Hendon Hooker off the board? Is Jalen Hyatt off the board? Oh, All I did. Right. Talk Dude, to me you need to shut up. up. You really oh, need to stop. Get stop, stop. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Pickle, I've made a clip of you going nuts on the Friday free for all the other night. Oh, I lost my mind the other day. <laughs> I made a clip of it, and it is. No, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was awesome, dude. That shit was awesome. I said, man, we've got to. I sent Cody a message in our private chat. I said, yeah. we've got to make something out of this personality that is Panther Pickle, man. Like, this is gold <laughs> waiting to be happening right there. Uh, the, man, dude. the the corner position is something that we could use. And, man, I don't know. Maybe we need to let uh, Ojolari fall to us at 39. Hey, he well, probably what's his will. name? Has uh, De- Deontay Banks or whatever his name is from Maryland been picked yet? Like, he's, no. a, he's a damn good corner. Oh. And uh, one thing, Cody, you can bring this up on Embrace the Debate on Monday. I let uh, Desmond slide because he's a Hinton Hooker fan. And he said, that kid's going to be good. And I said, and I just want to say, he ain't no kid. (laughs) He ain't no kid. He's a senior citizen. Yeah. Yeah, You would know. He's not. He's we all saw that. Look at Will. Look at Will. Yeah. 
Yeah, poor yeah. guy. Yeah. I told you I didn't like his face. I told you I didn't like his face. He's going to get clowned all weekend. Yeah. Hey, man, let me... Uh, his mom Aaron should Rogers be drafted number one, though. When Aaron Rodgers fell, he got clowned. You know, hey, you, man. Know who, you know who he reminds me of? Instead of people talking about quarterbacks falling, he actually reminds me of uh, oh. Jimmy Clausen. Because Clausen was projected to go tie in the draft and fell yeah, well. That's a good, that's a good comparison. Hey, uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, hold on, let me let me welcome uh, Sean to the stream. Sean, how are you, bro? I'm good, bro. How y'all doing? Doing good, man. How you feeling about the about this draft? Man, I am so hype about Bryce, bro. <laughs> like, at first, I was, like, on the fence about both of them. But the last week or two, you know, I've been... I've been on the I've been on the hype train for Bryce, man. Bryce, Bryce, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna have to get that sound bite. Bryce, we Bryce, got baby. to, bro. We got to. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta come on here more, man, because like I got I got a lot of freaking sound bites, man. You know, just just little little ticks and takes yeah, you know well you got to cool. come on the friday free for all i hope you know about that right yeah word, every friday every yeah friday yeah seven, i know man, man. every I do. friday and <laughs> seven every every fan can come in and join yeah so man. Hey, man, how, I, know. I know how about know, uh, man. how about how about the baltimore ravens man they just re-signed lamar jackson we haven't talked about that yet tony uh lamar jackson the highest paid player in football, have the and details now, come out yet? Yeah, he, uh, better. Uh, oh. He's the has the most guaranteed money, and he got paid more than Jalen Hurts. Good for him. Yeah, yeah it works. It works. Well, he doesn't have yeah, more he, guaranteed he, than Watson. No, he, he, no, he, not he, not more than Watson, but more than no, Hurts. But but he in in reality, he took less money than he was originally asking for. But good for him that he that they found a workaround to where they could everyone be happy and continue on. And Pickle, oh, that, how, how about this? My, uh, yeah, how about Facts. this, Pickle? Yeah, you know, me yeah. and Pickle have been saying that he needed to have an agent, and turns out yeah. he didn't. Yes. He I think this is where we're yeah. this is going to go. He ain't got one, didn't he? All right. Who's I want to ask Sean. Right, this, so so just, just, all right, yeah, go ahead. Hold on a second. I want to ask Sean since he just came on the show and we haven't gotten to hear his take on uh, Bryce Young. What does Bryce Young do for the expectations? What are your expectations for him this season as a rookie? Um, we know that we're always going to compare. The measuring stick for all quarterbacks is going to be Cam Newton going forward. Uh, Cam Newton, and while these aren't the same style of players, Cam Newton did win Offensive Rookie of the Year his rookie season. He is our best quarterback. What do you think that Bryce Young – What? And this is what I've been a little nervous about, Bryce Young, is all of a sudden I expect so much. And it might be a little unfair what I expect nah. out of him. What do you think the Carolina Panthers do with Bryce Young against a weak NFC South this year? Shoot. I don't think it's actually unfair at all for you to ask that about Bryce Young because he don't think it's unfair. You know what I'm saying? He thinks that he's the best thing since sliced bread. Since <laughs> you, you read my mind, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so uh, I don't, I don't think it's it's crazy to ask that. Uh, but really, I think Bryce Young is better coming out of college than uh, Drew Brees. Drew Brees is more of a... Drew Brees is more of a... Um, well, he played at Purdue, and he was... I mean, he was good, but he wasn't great at that moment. No, he was... I'm, I'm looking at him as more of a Taysom Hill kind of person coming out of college. You know what I'm saying? But Bryce Young is... 
to me, a he's freaking, the cream of the crop. He's the cream of the he, crop. Yeah, exactly. He he's a freaking genius, dude. To me, <laughs> seriously. Word, word. Good response. Uh, the Good response. Should be rookie of the year because he's the first overall pick. All right. Exactly. I th I think he's right, gonna example. be. I oh, think he's going to be. G, excuse me. G, baby, the Vikings are taking USC wide receiver Jordan Addison. No oh, oh, way, bro. Are you kidding me? They yeah. always. They do. Why? Because Jordan this is what they do. Course. They just got rid of Adam Cousins. He's going to have 9,000 yards yeah. next year. Yep. <laughs> hey, by the way, for those that are keeping track, that's four wide receivers in a row. All right. Oh wow, the in run, the run is here. Hey, right. Sean, yeah. we're gonna, I'm gonna do, do me a solid. I'm gonna mute you while you're not talking because there's a lot of white noise on your mic. So just unmute yourself when you got something to to say. But there's a little kind of background noise. I'm not sure why. So we're just when your other people are talking, we're gonna mute you for a second. All right. I hope he caught that. You guys heard the white noise, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe back out and come back in. Try a new pair of earbuds, too. All right, guys. Uh, the run is on the wide receivers. The Jacksonville Jaguars on the clock. That's a team that does not need a wide receiver. No. Um, what their needs, though? They might take a tight end. Carry franchise tag Evan Ingram. Hey, that guy. Nah, that's you know, they, they're going diff they like They're trying to load their defense up. Yeah, let's hey, see. That, that guy on Twitter that yeah. said, "Oh, that's that. better, bro. That's better, Sean." Oh, the guy on Twitter yeah. said, "Will Levis was going number." It was a fan. Wait, what'd you say, Anthony? Sorry. The, the guy uh, on Twitter that said Will Levis is going number one deactivated his account. <laughs> no, dude I'm is... talking about. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah. yeah um, bro. Hey, uh, hey Kev wanted me to read his chat. Uh, he said, uh. The draft felt like Comic Con, but with football, <laughs> meaning everybody was slam packed right next to one another. Uh, no breathing room. You could probably smell everybody's fart. Yeah, man. Um, all right. So, look, the run on the wide receivers right here. But not unexpected in many ways is that, uh, the Chargers, um, the Ravens, they needed receivers. Yeah. The Minnesota Vikings love to do this, and this is really awesome by the, the Vikings, is that they they double they keep going after those elite skill trade. positions. There's a trade. The Giants are on the clock. Oh, the Giants, the Giants ain't getting no wide receiver. Yeah. <laughs> well, Man, they, they traded up no they traded up uh, uh, with Jacksonville. I wonder who so the Lions are on the clock. They just moved up yeah. one spot. Yeah. Watch them pick Jalen Hyatt. We got God damn. Not much, no what do they table. need? They need a. They got a lot of needs. The Giants think. See the. This is what I would tell a couple of the New York teams. They love to do this. They love yep. to feel like they got just close to the playoffs. They got in the playoffs, and just like the Jets, they think they're one piece away. The Giants have a – maybe they're good, whoa, whoa, but whoa. The Giants, I don't think they're a great team. I, I the bet Jets you, have I bet a you, way better I, I bet, I bet you they bust a bubble. I bet you they take Nolan Smith. Do you think so? Oh, to go with Thibodeau? Yeah. Is that what his name is? Oh. Cody, Thibodeau? Yeah, Kayvon Thibodeau. Yeah. Kayvon Thibodeau. Yeah. Nasty, yeah. wasn't it? Hey, hey, uh, was the I, best I damn defensive end last year. Are, though, to be hey, do y'all want to see uh, a video uh, from the Panthers uh, that shows the moment that our front office drafted Bryce? Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. yes. Basically, Hell yeah, man. Anthony and G baby line. about to jizz them, themselves <laughs> for sure. G baby, what the hell? Why are you wearing glasses, G? I know you drunk over there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's drunk, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Let's hear. It. Let's hear. It. Let's hear. It. Yeah. For sure. I appreciate it. Hey, hey Bryce. How we doing? How you doing? You remember in the Arizona Super Bowl when I told you we we're going to pick a quarterback this year? We're not going to wait till next year. 
Yes, I do remember that. Remember that conversation? I wasn't kidding. kidding. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> so you want to train us in Sweet Home Alabama for some Sweet Carolina? <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Well, oh! Hey, that's fire, bro. They're doing good. Uh, they're uh, they're they're trying to hold it together over here. All right. Well, tell them to hold it together. So tell them to hold it together. We wish you the best from me and Nicole, okay? Thank you. I will. For sure. All right. I'm going to hand you the torch. I love them. Okay? Pray, pray. Bryce. How are we doing, Coach? Hey, man, congratulations. Thank you. To you and your family. Hey, you got a, you got a room uh, full of the coaching staff here and scouting staff that uh, we are could not be more excited to, to have you here in this building. And, uh, and listen, we know you're not only a class act, but can't wait for this team that you're coming to. You're going to love this team, right? You're coming into a building that has a great roster, high character. Um, this is going to be a great fit. Great city for you, great great locker room for you and uh, can't can't wait for you to be part of this team i can't wait either coach thank you so much it, it means the world well hey we're super excited you obviously will follow up with you shortly um i'm going to hand you over to our general manager scott fitter and uh and then we'll be in touch pretty quick here with with a bunch of information okay sounds good i really appreciate you coach <laughs> right. how are we doing hey man congratulations we are excited this is a long process, but uh, you're, you're our guy, man. You just come here. Just come. All you have to do is be you. And that's all we need. So congratulations, and uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. It means the world to me. I really appreciate you. All right, buddy. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. All right. The Giants are taking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I love him. I yeah. love him. All right, he's, go he's ahead. Perfect. Go ahead, Pickle. The Giants are taking Maryland cornerback, Deontay. Oh. Yes, okay. Nolan Smith is still on the board, baby. Let's what go. It, Yo, what you guys it, also have to realize there's not been a tight end taken either. Right. Dalton yeah. Kincaid. Leave him be, man. No, Tony, you don't know what you don't know. Oh, and I know what I do know. You don't know what I know. No, you don't know what I know. And I know you don't take tight ends in the first round. In one bit of film. It's like you don't take running backs in the first round. Yeah, don't. I didn't say you don't take running backs in the first round. That's not what I said. It would be a perfect option on the other side of my man Hayden Hurst. What that is the true is definition of a pass catcher. And guess what? He'll be there at 39. So just wait. In three I'm not saying trade up. I'm saying if he's there at 39, he would be worth it. We need a tight end. Yeah. Say that again, saying. Sean. We don't need a tight end. Ooh. Hey, man, you need talent. It doesn't matter. No, we don't need a tight end. You need talent. I've it heard so matter. many of these names, Cody. I've been doing this stupid ass. Well, it doesn't matter. They're not the same people, Tony. Yes, they are. They're, they're all no, the same they're motherfuckers. <laughs> they're all the no, same motherfuckers not. from Jake Butt to Hunter Henry oh, to Jake the list goes Butt. to O.J. Howard. Hunter Henry's ass, too. O.J. Howard, tell me that. That mug went top ten. Who's ass, too? Yeah, tell me. He's the ass. Tell me the last That's tight end that went in the first round that was worth a damn. Oh, oh, you got And you Tommy know what? what the fuck? He Tommy Trimble is Greg Olson. better Greg than all of And he didn't do shit to, Tommy Trimble. to a different team. Well, he didn't he do still shit did till he met Cam Newton. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Trimble is better than all of them. Oh, Tom Lord. Gronkowski was a third, was a second round pick. Yeah. Tommy, right. Tommy so Trimble how about this? Tell me the last first round tight end that was worth it. Tommy Trimble can block. Tommy Trumbull can catch. Tommy Trumbull can run routes. Tommy Trumbull can get better than he already has. Up on Trumbull a little too quick, right? Is he a second year or a third year? The Bills are trade. Yes. He's a fucking Was he a rookie last year? Give him a chance. Nah, he's a second year. Oh, the Bills. The Buffalo Bills are on the clock. They traded up. They, they're getting Somebody tell me the last tight end that was drafted in the first 
that was worth a fuck. And you can't say Kyle Pitts because he didn't do shit. Kyle Pitts ain't worth a fuck either. Kyle, yeah, that was a bad pick for the for the. That was a bad pick. And he's a wide receiver. He's too young. He's too. Yeah, exactly. Weirds. That's that's too early to say whether he ain't with the kid. Yeah, who the can't Bill, block who with the, the fuck. Who are the Bills gonna take? Because they they they, they need a running game. Uh, it says here they could actually. Uh, they they said that they it was it's it's expected they jumped New Orleans to take either Nolan Smith or a corner. Pickle, oh. you're right. That is too early to say that he's not worth a shit. But he's de- he won't worth the fourth overall pick. Oh no, I agree. Yeah, with that. Right, and so that's my thing about this. It's not of whether or not these players are yeah. good. Is that you get that guy at thirty nine? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That like uh, no, I, just, I'm not saying he ain't worth a fuck. I'm tight just end. saying I will fucking go yeah. nuts tomorrow yeah. on the Friday yeah. free for all. I will end. Yeah. I will end. Yeah. Your yeah. minions yeah. will become my minions, I'm, Cody. Uh, the, 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 I'm not down for that. That I absolutely would refuse to go in the first round or the second round. Yeah. Hey, and, hit and, the snake. Hit the hit the link at the top yeah. of the chat. I have it pinned. I didn't if you want, if you want to join, come on, bro. Yeah, come on in. Hey, Tony, you're wrong, man. You just have this idea that you're. I'm not in. wrong. I'm not you're wrong. wrong. You haven't been you able to give me a single <laughs> name. You haven't been able to give me a name. Oh, and only uh, you're going to have to go back to, like, Tony Gonzalez, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm talking about 39. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I thought you meant trading up. I thought you meant trading up. That's. I'm no, sorry. No, I'm no 39. I'm all in uh, after the first round. I'm fine with a tight end. Yeah, I'm not but, talking about first round. I'm talking uh, about if, if it's at 39 hey. and we take and we take Darnell Washington or we take Dalton Kincaid, that is just as worth it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. At that's 39, that's different that though. Draft in this, in this class. That, all right, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about first round, so I misunderstood. I thought you were saying trade up to get these guys. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. All right. Then we're, yeah, then that's we're what the, I thought too. We're on the same page there. <laughs> then we're on the same page. <laughs> that's what I thought. If Michael Mayer, I got a question about the Michael Mayer guy. Yeah. Your first thoughts when he when it comes to mind? Do you think Singer or do you think the guy from Halloween? Uh, Isn't there a singer named Michael Mayer or something? I, I like that? agree, Ty Johnson. I Michael agree. Mayer. Yeah, uh, well, whatever. That's who I, I don't know who I'm thinking of, but I don't think football. I think Halloween movie or some sort of singer that hey, I don't uh, listen to. Hey, uh, Ty Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Ty yeah. Johnson with the five dollars super the chat. Bills, the Bills are taking Utah tight end. Give the mic to the host. Hold on. Kincaid. Oh, Dalton Kincaid. Oh, that's a good pick for Dude. them. Bring yeah. me Nolan that's, Smith. Oh, it's John Mayer, Sajjo. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, that's John a Mayer. Thank you, Sajjo. John, yeah, John Mayer. There you go. Hey, uh, hold up. Uh, all right, I'm uh, dead, bro. Uh, Ty Johnson with the $5. Tommy Trimble should convert to running back for his power option. Taking Kincaid, back. Braves, or Laporta. Fill two roles, wide receiver and blocker. Oh, wow. Too wow. complicated. Yeah. Too complicated. The Bills are taking Dalton Kincaid. Yes, no. Pickle just said that. I, I, oh. I, I wasn't. Oh, well, it's all right. It hey, wasn't that you were. It's hard a, to hear when we're all screaming. That's a yeah. great pick for the Buffalo Bills. It, it is yeah. a good pick for them, though. Yeah, because they've he already. Playing, playing, they've been playing catch up with the tight end for years. And I mean, well, also, uh, they have Dawson Knox, and he's yeah. a really good receiving tight end. And yeah. I think uh, that Dalton Kincaid is going to be another. Really good receiving option for Josh Allen. Well, how about Jerry Jones sitting here waiting for twenty six? He must have been he watching all these teams trade and going. Yeah. He must. Somebody must have had to give He's him a Xanax and put Smith. him in handcuffs to keep no. him out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan Smith and Micah Parsons. Tony, earlier, oh, earlier when the Giants traded up. Bad. Earlier when the Giants traded up, they showed a picture of. Uh, they showed a picture of the Cowboys' war room, and him and Steven were searching through your value charts, getting ready to try to trade up, but the Giants beat They're them. They're like, if I, they trade up, we got to trade up. Yeah, so they beat him to the punch. 
Oh my so, God! I, I'm hoping that we get a but, we, we do get to. Uh, let me up. ask you a question: Why is Mike Miles Murphy? Why has he dropped? Oh, I'll um, tell you exactly why. Pickle no, I, hold on, JJ. Hold on, you're okay. uh, you're the Ohio State dude. I'm the Clemson uh, dude. Uh, let me go on this one. My the, Miles <laughs> Murphy. He's got uh, Kenny Pickett size hands, bro. Uh, Miles Murphy, it, prob they, it probably doesn't have the necessary bend that people yeah. would want. The ability to like turn the corner. He's very and he's powerful. lazy. No, he ain't fucking lazy. He's very powerful. He's lazy, he's lazy bro. Strong. He is lazy. He's, 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 he's lazy very, as fuck, bro. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Fucking I'm talking just shit. being honest. Nah, that was just fucking talking shit. Uh, Listen, he's the type of player. That, you are, bro. No, no, you no, are. He's the type of player. He's going to be a good player, but he needs a coat of polish. Um, he needs to get away from Will let this, y'all. He needs some more pass rush maneuvers. Miles Murphy will be a good player. Swing like this. Just go swing like this. Miles Murphy will be a good player. G, you, G, you have to, bro. Yo, Will Levis <laughs> go in the second round of the Rams, huh? Who? Will Levis in the second round of the Rams? Uh, maybe. No way, bro. Uh, maybe. You don't think? Fifth round to the, to whoever. He could. There's still there's still some teams there's some still teams in the second round that that is very definitely looking for a quarterback. Uh, fact is the Raiders mm. are coming up. The Raiders are coming up, ain't they? Let me see here. No, mm. no, they're not. Yeah, no, they're, no I mean I'm that's in the I second think round. That... On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Raiders are coming up. They could easily soon in uh, the second round they could take a quarterback. Hey, can uh, I ask a quick question? Titans could take a quarterback. Yeah, go ahead. What's your what, – because I've just been busy, but what's y'all's opinion on Bijan to the Falcons? I'm not scared of him, to be honest with you. No, me neither. I mean, it's a running yeah, back. Yeah, nobody dude. is. I, I, I'm sure he's a great player. but and I know He's a running back. Player, but it's like, dude, it doesn't it's matter. It's a running back. It doesn't matter what running back you're picking. <laughs> if we run the proper defense <laughs> – Muted. Have mercy. Oh, I got him. I got him. Okay. <laughs> have, yeah, have mercy. Have mercy. I'm, not, I'm not worried about it too much, man. Like, yeah, they have no quarterback proven right now. So I yeah, mean, I mean, I don't believe in Desmond Ritter like that. It depends. I mean, if you're a Falcons fan, I'm sure you do, but I, I just don't know if he's the the right guy to get all those dudes. The ball. I mean, maybe that's why you're drafting though, because you're not putting the ball in the hands of Desmond Ritter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's uh what's uh Will Levis do tomorrow? Does he just go home? Uh is it that or he might go at the very end of the draft, man? He might burn what, to who? Suit. He must have bombed uh, in it, uh, you know what? The the Titans kept talking about trading up for Stroud, who they could trade up to Kansas City or the Eagles for uh I, Will Levis could go to the Saints. It's okay. No, no, no. I think that, well, maybe. But I think that it's okay for Will Levis to slip yeah. out the first. I don't think he's, yeah. he has to, A, be embarrassed yeah. about that. I think. But what I'm saying is this is like. He missing that money, though. Okay. You know what? But, well, I, mean, like, I mean, I like this. Is I like when some of these he's players slip because money, they yeah. probably shouldn't have been in the first period. Period. Yeah. And, by the way, even if he falls to the second round, He's still a millionaire. Boo fucking who? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, money, he'll I be all right. Hey, uh, I do got to head out, though. Uh, I appreciate y'all letting me up here for the uh, draft party. Heck My yeah, first time on here for this, man. I'm excited for uh, Bryce, the gingerbread man, Young, uh, hey. of course, and and Pickle to touch up on Miles Murphy real quick. He just goes straight. He tries to beat you off the edge going fast. And he gets blocked over the edge very easily. That's why me and G Baby were saying he's lazy as fuck. But yeah, thank you again for letting me up, uh, Cody, uh, Tony, everybody. Yeah, uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see y'all tomorrow on the free for all. Appreciate oh, trust me, we gonna have a bomb ass fucking weekend. Believe that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, the, hey the, appreciate the, you, JJ. You're the man, dude. The, hey, the, peace the, out. Uh, peace this out, love, man. JJ. I, I would like to have the tight end Washington. But if that's unrealistic and it may be, 
I would like, I wouldn't mind spending a fifth round Bro. pick or a fourth we, one on that tight end. I can't end believe Michael round. Mayer, man. That shit's blowing me away, man. Yeah. You so, want you you take my where would you take Michael Mayer, bro? I would take Michael Mayer in a heartbeat, G. Would you trade up for him or would you stay at thirty nine? Absolutely not. I'd take him at thirty nine if he falls at thirty nine. In Yo, a heartbeat, bro. Big thing. I That's your dude, of- Cody, right? Didn't you like him a lot when we were doing to convince me to care? Who but which dude? Michael Mayer. Yeah, no, I do like Michael Mayer. Bro, that Mayer. dude is different, bro. I think and he's you pair really him good. up with Bryce Young. Oh my god, dude! Michael Mayer would start immediately. You're right. Immediately. Oh, uh, White Chocolate says uh, he thinks he could go here to the Cowboys, and you know they mm. just got rid of what's his name and who went to the Texans, by the way. Who might? That, what, what's the guy that went? Uh, Will Anderson. No, that went to the so, Texans. Uh, free agency. Uh, the Dalton Schultz. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dalton yeah. Schultz. Oh uh, shit! It could Michael Mayer could go to Dallas. Ugh, he God. could. And if he goes there, nobody say shit. I'm a little behind. You better uh, get caught up. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> God, I hate the Cowboys. No, we need to do a debate my take with Pickle and G-Baby. He does remind me a lot of Jason Witten. And Jason Witten was great. Yeah, that that debate my take might ought to be R-rated. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pay per view, uh, baby. Yeah. Sean, how you doing, baby? Uh, you know what? Hi, you're he, good. You're Kevin good. is right. <laughs> Kevin is right. Shout out to Kevin. He said we don't have to worry about uh Michael Mayer anyway. We ain't drafting no Clemson players. He's hold right. on, hold on, hold on. Listen. Will Come oh. just tweeted out, Scott Fitter was supposed to be on C- CSL right now live. However, he's still in the draft room. What does this mean? Oh, Absolutely. shit. It means he's looking. I think, oh, we're, about to, I think we're about to trade up. Hey, we might, we might be on the midst of a trade up. up. Why? Why do you say that? Someone special. That's all I got to say, man. Uh, Anthony said Will Kunkel was supposed to be on uh, Charlotte Sports Live. But he canceled. We gotta go get Michael Mayer, dog. Fuck. Still in the draft room. He's gonna draft the tight end and G Baby and uh, Tony. Have we had Will Kunkel right on this show before? No, we no, didn't I don't think him. so. Um, uh, what I was asking before my entire browser the pick. froze up is, uh, is there are there any players other than Will Levis that you expect to be drafted by this point oh, that were kind of surprising to you? Oh, oh that y'all, hey, if y'all, if y'all, yeah, Nolan Smith, Smith, the Cowboys and McClay, uh, the, oh, the Cowboys war room, I like her. Yeah, they're having a very spirited debate. Cowboys war room, they're hugging each other. They are. Yeah, I just seen that. I wonder who they're taking. Man, I don't know what who they would take right here. To be honest, I hope they don't take Nolan Smith. Man, him and Micah Parsons would be fucking disgusting. It it would be. I don't know. I, the Cowboys still run a four three. Granted, they use oh. they use they use, the, they use the one a lot. They do, but and they got the Marcus Lawrence. Hard to put two of them in there like that. You know, they went defense. They can, I tell you who they may have. Can I can I say uh, to, this, to the guy? On the, yeah. Can I say? Ooh. You want me to say it? It's Nolan Smith. Yeah. Ah, no. oh, the Cowboys no. are picking Smith. No, I thought I got Mozzie. Mozzie. Yeah, no, I, I see Albert Mozzie Greer Smith. said Mozzie Smith. No, yeah. it's Nolan. It's Nolan Smith. It's Nolan. Nolan. Oh yeah, uh, this is another Albert. Oh fuck, wait, fuck, fuck. Wait, this is two the same. Well, Nolan Greer. Smith ain't like that, y'all. No, Albert Albert Greer says it's Mozzie Smith. But right. he also tweeted Nolan first, and then he went no. Mozzie. Are you kidding? We'll just have to wait till they say it on TV now. Nah, look, no, this it's, is it's Cal- Calvin Watkins says Cowboys selected Mozzie Smith. It's Mozzie Smith. It's Mozzie Smith. That's who they pick. Hey, uh, uh, uh oh don't, my God. No. Everybody is getting this wrong. Matt Lombardo says Nolan. Don Cleman says Mozzie. 
Ian Rappaport just said Mozzie. Right. No, right. Do, uh, Dove Kleiman said no. Yeah, but he only retweets pe retweets yeah. people. He doesn't know. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Roger Goodell right. just said it on TV. It's Mozzie Smith. Mozzie wow. Smith. Wow. All right. Yeah. Nolan Smith is now, still I, on the I board. Like, I like I like that dude, but he don't have a lot of pass rush. But he's big and he's in the middle and he don't move. <laughs> He's a guy I, I thought at one time we should hit up for to be a nose tackle, but that's kind of they kind of they kind of reached for that, huh? Whoa! Yeah, I, I, I had him in the second. I I thought he was more like a early second round pick. I though, muted you, know you though while you did it, just so you didn't cough out your ears. Okay, come on, Scott. Can you hear? No, I just no, I can hear you. I just muted it while you were hitting that bowl. Just because yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, he might be coughing up the lung. <laughs> I saw. We all know. We all know. Oh, uh, that's cool. No, nah, no, don't worry. Yeah, it is cool. We're worried about it. Uh, the thing about this is, um, Mozzie yeah, Smith. Yeah, Nolan Smith is still on the board. Hey, by the way, uh, Eric Thirty Seven uh, says, "Hell yeah, go blue." I'm guessing he's a uh, uh, he's a Michigan fan, so good for you, bro. And Nolan the Panthers Smith, are not making any calls to get back into the first round. Will Kunkel? Fuck. Okay, cool. I was hoping that we would, though. You know, you know what's going to happen at 10:30, don't you? But this makes tomorrow at least eventful. Yeah. 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 When is the, are we going to be picking? Uh, when is when does the draft start tomorrow? At seven. Oh, oh, good. So we'll be watching it right on the Friday free for Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And Cody, I can start it. I can host. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make some money with draft that tomorrow. <laughs> good luck, brother. Appreciate you, bro. <clears throat> Dude, uh, uh, at work, even in academia, they there was a... Uh, they had a professional development on using chatbot in the classroom. Did they really? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's taking over the world. Dude, but this is how it starts. This is how AI renders humans obsolete. I'm telling you, bro. It's like, God dang. Man. That's what somebody said about the car at one point, too. No, give me a break, Tony. This is different. Like this, you can literally it's have different for you, the new you, generation. You, you can literally have uh, a, an artificial intelligence do the written work of a human. Like now, oh, totally, gonna, totally. Yeah, but now they're gonna have. But you like, have to tell it to do it. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Now you're gonna have children's books. No, no, they already have. Like, they already have, have, have it. Too late. 40. Too late. No. I can't wait till we get the sex sex bots with the AI built in. No. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, no. dude. I'm gonna make my wife no. a fucking housekeeper. No. <laughs> Yo, I think my man Drew fell asleep. Oh, I'm not asleep. I'm looking at something. I'm trying to keep uh, I, thought, I thought you were sleeping, bro. My no, bad. Brother, I'm sitting He's oh, looking at his no, AI dude, sex bot dude, coming up in the mail. <laughs> my, my bad, Drew. Drew. Thanks for the no, follow, brother. No problem, man. Any, thank you for following back, man. Yeah. And man. Drew, man, why don't you like uh, hit me up with some of them picks before you make them in the fucking Dude, let me trail? No. You guys be making fucking money up in that prize. Pick Jaguars shit. took an offensive real, tackle. Bro. Yesterday was good. Today, not so much. <laughs> it's up today. Come on, Anthony. Let me trail y'all's winnings. <laughs> Uh, you unmuted. So, well, he's like, "Don't trail me. I've been losing." Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, he hey, taking, uh, Antoine, Dude, I've been losing. I've been losing for real. Uh, they're taking Antoine Harrison out of uh, Oklahoma, <laughs> offensive tackle. Oh, and, by, and by the way, that's a big need. That's a big need for him because uh, Cam Robinson, he uh, just yeah. tested positive, so now he might be suspended yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yep. At least, at least, yes, what yes, is it? Six yes. weeks? Somebody got excited. He wants my house. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell was that? That's your confirmation email. Yo, I think Michael Mayer is going to in the mail. I think Michael Mayer is going to go to Cincinnati to replace. Um, uh, Hayden Hurst? 
Yeah, yeah. I yeah. also I wouldn't doubt it. The Panthers, it's so Will Kunkel just said they're hey, not man. making calls to get back into the first. So I assume that the player they they're looking at they think can fall to 39. Or they may have to like on day two trade up like four or five spots or something like that. I mean, you still have Ojalari and Nolan Smith as an edge. Yeah. Hey, let me ask, let me ask y'all this: Do y'all think Matt Corral will end up being traded? Yes. No. I mean, no. Did you, you talk that about what, today? No, 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 did you, yeah, that. Cody. Did you talk about that at all yet? I, yeah, I, a very, I, a very little bit. No. Not, not too much. I, I mean, I saw his post. Like, do you think he wants out? Yes. Oh, I mean, what do you think else that means? Uh, yes. What? Yes, you think I, he's in I, a bad he relationship? Well, you're I a rookie. You don't have out. any power as like. Yeah, like, I, I, yeah. I think he does want out, and I think I don't think he's gonna I get cut, he bro. Get, he's don't getting think released. He gets, no, he's yeah, not. Be a, yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't. I don't think he gets traded. I don't Practice think anybody's squad. gonna give anything for him. Yeah, I mean, for, for what you're getting from him, yeah. you can get off the street from. You can get in the XFL. Did you, yeah, they're gonna release him, dude. I mean, he's going, going to practice squad. The no, get. they're not gonna that release trout. him. So, but th- this is what this is what he released on Twitter. I guess it's a Bible verse. I'm assuming it uh, is. He goes, no. uh, "I want, oh, yeah. I wanted, I really wanted anything. to let you hold on. I wanted to let you know that you are not worth anything if you are not in the right place. If you are not appreciated, this ain't no do, Bible verse. No, hold on. Yeah. If it's you are not. not appreciated, do not be angry." That means you are in the wrong place. Don't stay in a place where no one sees your value. You know who uh, yeah, said that's that from just going that's earlier from, today? Yeah. You know, uh, Will Levis, his mother, there. told him that too. And why does Will Levis' mother say, said. Why does it say, and then the father no. said? Like, what does that that's mean? Not because it's like some sort look, it says something mindset therapy at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. So it's not a devotional. It's not a, it's, it's not a Bible verse. It's at like all. some so sort what, of what, what, what is no, that supposed a, to mean? What, what it means is parable. this is that the father it's like a it's like a kind parable. of a parable kind of thing. Yeah, there which is go. which is is very biblical in some ways, but I don't think this is yeah. this ain't no Jesus one here. But no, but no. I think it's just is look, you don't let this you don't put this out on draft day. Yeah. And it be about mm-hmm. your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, this is yeah. clearly yeah. about yeah. what the fuck is going yeah. on. And he went <laughs> yeah. up into practice and nobody, everybody was like, Frank, right? Nobody was there. Nobody knew who the fuck he Can was. I just be honest nobody with gave you? any shit. Like, and, but you know what? That's the NFL, bro. But yeah, look, exactly. But, but, but look, Tony, look, everybody knows I've been one of Matt Corral's biggest defenders. I I obviously don't love this post. And the reason why I don't love it is because, believe it or not, Matt Corral is in a perfect situation. Even though he's not going to be, even though he's not going to be a starter like he wants. Shut that shit the fuck up. Even though he's not going to be the starter like he wants to be, the type of offense that the Panthers are getting ready to run. He is the perfect oh, backup with this. for that type of situation. No, he's not. Yes, the fuck it is, Tony. You don't even know what kind of offense we're running. You don't he even know. Like, you yes, heard three do. letters. You RPO heard him say offense. RPO, that and, he right. likes those Andy things. Andy Dalton is not better for that type of offense than Matt Corral. That's better for Matt no, Corral sir. than any other backup. But guess what? Neither of them right bitches now. are playing, right, period. Who gives let a let fuck? Let, let me t- let me, let, we played let, four quarterbacks last year, Tony. But we also four didn't have the number down. one pick in the draft. It doesn't matter. They get hurt. You don't know what's going to happen. If they get hurt, you don't put in Matt Corral. If they get hurt for Why one not? game, you put in the guy that you can get to manage the game for a little bit. And that's why you brought in Andy Dalton. See, this, the exact this is where reason Matt he's gonna up. be on the practice squad. Ooh, he's no, gonna be released no, because, because, hey, because Cody, Miles, Corral, Miles Murphy's off the board. Yeah. Cincinnati. Oh, he went to Cincy. Okay, because let's be real. Right now, Matt Corral could have come into training camp if he kept his mouth shut and maybe took a little money for the number nine that he don't yeah, really right. like anyway. Yeah, that's Set that's out right there. there. And no, actually, he to does the world like that he was tough. A dog. Yeah. The yeah. world that he could pick he up. He does shit, like Then he could. 
book. I agree, Pickle. He didn't. He got on Twitter and he cried because they were taking another quarterback. Matt he should have made man, Bryce pay him a million dollars for like number nine. Maybe teeny bopper Brad. I bet you they. Way. Let me ask you guys a question. A uh, question about the number. Do you think the Panthers could just snatch it from him? Like he wouldn't actually have to buy it. Like they could just no, be like, they have, no, they'd have to buy it. No. That's not true. Don't yes, they do. They don't not true. Not. You don't think the Panthers no, could say, no, 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 no we're the taking this shit like, from hey, you? No, they would cut listen, him. You know what? You're right. You're released. You're right. You're released. right. You're released. They might release him, but dude, Matt Corral, you have to understand. You can't take number nine with you, bitch. If people bought Matt Corral jerseys, then they have to compensate him for replacing the number. That's how then I would release his ass. I would up. fucking release him. The moment he says he ain't giving it up, I'd be like this. Is I would be like, you're gone, bro. Yo, can ah. I just bring up a couple points real quick? Um, one, I don't know. So, Because I've had some friends over, so I haven't really looked at this. But David Tepper – Said the Panther, he tipped the Panthers' hand with saying their next pick uh, is not going to be a wide receiver because he said Bryce Young's distributing skills meant Carolina didn't have to necessarily go wide receiver. They can put that money into a defensive player. And he also said that he's that they think Bryce Young will come in as the number two quarterback, learn from Andy Dalton, and he'll expect to be the week one starter. That is the goal. So that's just what I wanted to bring up. I don't know if you guys talked about all this already because I haven't been here, but Nolan Smith or BJ Ojolari. Yeah, I agree. I I I fully expect Bryce Young to be the week one starter. I do too at this point. And with Anthony Richardson going to the AFC, I mean, that conference is fucking loaded. Be right back. Who is. You got Jalen Hurts and Prescott are pretty much the only young quarterbacks really in the NFC, if you think about it. Like Kirk Cousins on the decline. Um, who else is there? Oh, Daniel Jones, but he's okay. I mean, I'm I'm just I'm happy that um, uh, I mean, hey, can, can, we all agree, can we all agree? Can we all agree that the board has fallen pretty favorable for us right now. Yeah. Yeah, like there's Absolutely. going to be a lot of good players that are going to be available so. for us at pick 39. I oh, all right, that. so the, the New Orleans Saints are on the clock. Check check the link in the Twitter, on the private chat, Cody. You might want to put that on the screen. Cody's sad, no constant firing. Yo, man. You're lucky hey. that in uh, Kansas City, or else I tell you this hey. On the real, I would not be surprised if uh, Nolan Smith goes to New Orleans. See, you just have to ruin it, don't you? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's an opinion. It's an opinion, Pickle. It's an opinion. See, you just, Cody. You know, Cody, people, I thought I liked you. I thought I liked you. <laughs> Cody, who's got a quicker release, the Carolina <laughs> Panthers know. or Matt Corral? <laughs> You <laughs> Carolina Panthers. <laughs> you you know you know the Saints are going to take Will Levis. No, we need to trade oh, back. Could you imagine? Anything. Could you imagine? No, I think you take Kenneth Booker. Ain't nobody going to oh. take Manny's monster, brother. No, let's let's not. Be Didn't Booker. they just pay Carr a ton of money it, though? It but it's only a two-year deal. <laughs> Uh, it only two years. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, oh, that is more. Yeah. And then yeah. you get them on the rookie contract too. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually what they need to do. I hope yeah. they don't do it. And he he isn't yeah. gonna play this. I hope year they pick a tight end. <laughs> Dog. Yeah. Oh, we host Anthony Richardson and CJ Stroud this year, baby. At home at Bank of America. Hey, I'm mm-hmm. calling it. The first game of the Panthers uh, season yeah, Cody is Brian. going to be the Panthers versus the Panthers. Cody. Hey, hey, on the real, if that yeah. if when the schedule comes out and the Texans are the first team or or whenever I'm telling y'all we need to come together like this 
and figure out if there's a way where we can all we can all go to the game. Yeah, and I'm then we're going to have to do the post game like at a restaurant or something. Yeah. Yes, that'd be lit. That'd be so uh, that would dude, be that really would be incredible. We need to I, plan. For I that. will try. We I, also I, need I, to do one of these if you guys want is you know Muscle Marinara one, uh has a Sub sandwich shop, shop in in, uh, in Spartanburg. We yeah, should I'm do something. We should go to Spartanburg for training camp and do a live broadcast. Like, and I can bring the portable podcast shit. I'm down. Dude. I can have up to four mics where we can hey, run four I'm mics down. at one time, and we can I'm, circle. I'm, I'm nine down hours. I'm nine hours from. That's a long way. Hey man, uh, I don't a, care. I will pack my truck and I will roll. Yeah, you're the they are welcoming me, Bryce Young, to Bank of America Stadium, Northgate, at 11:30 tomorrow, and they're well. They want all Panther fans to come there and give him a welcome. To I want to give you guys. I will tell you guys. Isn't that for PSL owners only? That's amazing. But you'll say PSL. Dog, I need to that, put some miles. I, I, I thought I heard Kev, uh, Country Kev, say Saints that pick is in. And, and, How are you going to be able to see him over the crowd, though? Honestly. Honestly, how are you going to be? If you ain't on the front row, you ain't going to see him. Brian Breesy to the Saints. Oh, oh my brother sucks. called it. That yeah, sucks. my brother John, uh, he called it. That sucks. He's a good pass rusher, though, to be honest. An interior wow, that's, pass rusher. That's uh, two Clemson players back to back. Damn. Two Is that the end? Yeah. Is that the last pick? I mean, no, no. Kansas City two got one. Two more? Two yep. more. Um, Carolina's not going to trade Eagles, into the Eagles first and Kansas Cody, City. I think we got to trade Matt Corral to somebody as a backup. I and mean, look, not, I'm not you're trying not to dog out very much. Uh, you're not well, I don't care. I mean, I can, a six round pick. I, and I, and not because he's not not like, uh, and I'm not trying to dog it on a player because I understand that a you like him and b like we have no idea what he could be. None of these things. But at the end of the day, like. We've chosen a different direction where his is just not part of our future. And kind of yeah. you're even looking at this is, I mean, look at what Tennessee is. I mean, these guys have already given up on. I'm surprised we haven't seen some Trey Lance movement in this draft or something. Oh, yet. they picked Brian Percy. Yeah. You're so late, my friend. Welcome I'm to the sorry, party. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, it's <good laughs> you did that. It's hey, okay. Bro. It's okay. Hey, I go Anthony, on this radio Anthony, show on Fridays, and uh, the, uh, pr- Smith, one of the producers Joey is like Porter, this every time. Joey Porter, Nolan Smith, and Ojalari is still on the board. It, yeah. I, hopefully. Dog. They were going to draft. I, I had a feeling they were going to draft an inside D lineman because they lost three of them in the offseason. So. Yeah. Um, all right, so this is Steve Reed, 28 Seconds uh, AP reporter, says essentially Young went on to talk about his weekly preparation process and spent 10 minutes talking and was only up until Tuesday, but the Panthers could tell how invested Young was with Coach uh, Frank Wright calling it next-level stuff. So they were, like, bored. They were like, bro, we got it. We ha- You have an itinerary for every second of the day. You're going to fit great. Good Lord. Man, um, no, I think Frank Reich is really a, um, a consensus maker in so many ways. I think that this was a Scott Fitterer really lobbying for Bryce Young. Uh-huh. And and for someone, I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. I, I've called uh, Scott Fitterer a wet noodle on this podcast. I was concerned that he was kind of brought in to just be – um, a guy that did the bidding of Tepper and Matt Rule. But now that Matt Rule's gone, I feel like they have really given some full, put some faith and credit into Scott Fitter as a GM. And there's a confidence when you see these guys that Tepper hugged Fitter first. Fitter is a, uh, he's been freed. He's like freed from the shackles. So yeah, I'm really, I'm I'm kind of interested. I'm happy with this, and I think we're going to see Scott Fitter stick around here. Somebody asked earlier, does if this doesn't work out, you, does this mean Scott Fitter goes? The coaching staff goes? Is I think that Scott Fitter and Frank Wright and Bryce Young are now uh, handcuffed together, and that's the way I think it should be. Hey, Amen. Mic drop, Cody. Mic drop. 
Yeah, what? <laughs> Sorry, Shut the fuck up, pickle. <laughs> Were you there for it, Drew? Were you there for it? Which one? Pickles oh, which one? <laughs> oh, this past Friday, this last Friday was the best. There's two, there's two of them. Oh. Where he goes, no, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I'll be here to it was so that. good, man. I'm telling you, Pickle, we are, replay. you are, you are a star now. Uh, uh, yo, last <laughs> week I gave myself a headache over that. I did. <laughs> that was awesome, bro. That was so good. Uh, Tony, that was just the moment that you saw. Okay, I uh, watched yeah. like two hours of it the other night. I saw will, two of them. I Pickle saw two. Will, mm. look, Pickle will be perfectly normal one minute. And then the next minute, they'll be having a fucking like an aneurysm. Dude. Yeah, it's just, it's just the man, he said, "No, Pickle. you shut the fuck up." <laughs> this shit was awesome, bro. Like I was dead, dude. I was like, it, it was. Uh, I was up late after the podcast. I was putting the podcast up because, like, tonight I'll have to download this shit. I will have to put a bunch oh, of shit up. Fuck. Eagles got Nolan Smith. Oh, they did. Uh, did they the really? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I the Eagles they did. Their yeah, defense. Man. You guys remember they how good their nasty. defense was last yes. year? They yes. just went out the Georgia defense. Just go wow. ahead. They're in the Super Bowl. Just go yeah. ahead and put them in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. They picked up yeah. three Georgia players. Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter, and now yeah. Nolan yeah. Smith. Yeah. Didn't they get Dude, a they are serious, serious, bro. They, they will be oh. full-fledged. They, they will be a full-fledged 3-4 defense next And how did they get and two first-round mm. picks, by the way? They traded with the Saints. Last no, I got caught. My internet just went out for a second. Dude, Philadelphia just picked up Nolan Smith. Damn. Damn it. Jeez. So think Dude, about this. Is the, is about to be ridiculous. Dude, the, the Eagles just Georgia made defender. it. They pick every Georgia defender. <sighs> Crazy. Oh, yeah. And uh, shout out to Tim Thompson. They also got Nicole Dean also. Yeah. They re signed James year? Bradbury. Who did they get last They year? did let go of Darius Slay. No, right. he's, he's back. back. He's back. Who went, uh, oh no, it was uh it was the guy that used to be a saint that went to the lines. You're right. Yeah, was, who did they get last the year? No one's Jordan, Jordan Davis. Yeah, which Jordan Davis is he got hurt, but he was about to be the best defensive rookie of the he was like defensive the rookie of the year, right? Wasn't he a rookie last year? Yeah, because he was on the national championship team. That motherfucker is a monster, bro. And he's like uh one of those guys too that like is like he's like Bryce Young. Like when you hear him speak and stuff, it's like, gosh, wait a second. Uh Deion Sanders would not like you. Dude, I you gotta come go from to, a two parent home. I gotta go up to the stadium tomorrow and try to get a picture with him. He's arriving at eleven thirty. Do it. Well, you Do better it. be in the front row. You oh, better fucking I'm, wake I'm, up at four AM, bro. No, I, because I, if you I'll in the second you. row, you ain't seeing shit. <laughs> oh bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. Hey, man, hey, hey, wait, wait, hold on, Jay, real quick. Maybe with you and get on his shoulders. Wait, hang on, real quick. Let me welcome my dog, Jay Issue, into the show. Jay, what's mm. up, dude? What's up, Jay? Yeah. What's going on, fellas? What's going on? Jay, oh, Jay, 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 did I not tell you this morning? Bryce is going to be the pick, dude. He was the pick all along. All along, right. man. That's crazy, bro. I I feel I feel confused about it. I feel like the media really controlled uh uh what we what we did. The media <laughs> controlled what we did. Yeah, they they dog CJ so bad. No. Oh. Mm. Or they just thought Bryce Young was simply the better choice. It's it, I mean I don't know how hard it is for people right. to accept at this point. I mean, once you once you stuck on somebody. I mean, I, I get it, but no, I'm just saying, like, like, okay, you do really think that they didn't take, they took Bryce Young because of CJ Shroud's test score, or do you think they? Took I think Bryce that would have made sense if we were picking four. That you could say that, right? Is that I think the media smear, which Cody and I have all been supportive, like this it existed. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's really influential on the Panthers as much as potentially other teams. And I'm really actually impressed that he didn't slip out of the top five. 
Yeah, I, I don't think I'm happy I don't that think you were, went number two. Yeah, I, I don't think they were as high on <laughs> on uh, on uh, CJ Stroud as we fans expected him to be. Because I think we we read too much <clears throat> into what we saw on the video. When we saw their pro days, when we saw the reaction between the coaches and the players. We read too much into that as fans. But we're fans. We're going to do that. Yeah. Can we and just send this picture to, to the Panthers right here? <laughs> this is like Panther Nation right here. Right here. Like there is nobody cooler at this moment. Than G baby, so I'm no, sorry, nobody. and it's almost if I couldn't see Bro. the reflection in his glasses <laughs> moving, I would think his shit's frozen. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at that, I can see the reflection in his glasses oh, moving. This mug, up. stone face killer, right here. Just Look at this, up. no way, he's just sucking up. sucking up. Maybe I'm sucking up at this point. Well, you might be, Cody. Yeah. Switch it back to the other view because yeah. uh, this is. <laughs> This, this oh, well, see, right when here. I do it, why is it when I do it? Which I like this view right here, by the way. Oh, no, I like family, this though. Damn. That's our family, though. I'm doing uh, G baby, my boy, bro. Yeah, that's family, bro. Look at G baby. Oh, oh, shout out to KG. <laughs> but he ain't moved still. <laughs> shout I shout out to KG <laughs> Step and Threes in the chat who <laughs> said G baby <laughs> would be a lot cooler if he paid his debts, though. Uh, yeah, he did make a big one. This motherfucker him owes people a thousand cheese right. biscuits. What is it, like a cheese biscuit he forever? You owe him, G baby. Head, Pay your right. money. Somebody said yeah. G baby stole those from his girl. Why is a girl wearing dollar shoes? He, he probably did, though. Nah, no, uh, <laughs> G baby knows this. Is G baby? There's a one person on this podcast who has always embraced G baby's persona. This guy right here, even when he comes at me, bro, I'm okay with it. I know. What have I always said, G baby? There's always wisdom in the position. If you can filter through the emotion. There's always a bit of wisdom and tr- not a bit, but wisdom and truth in there. And a lot of people are off put because you come out the hard in the paint. But I always <laughs> I knew from the very first time you called into this show, I said, this is what I made this podcast for. <laughs> Exactly for y'all, this fucking think, type of it's like this is I'm here for it, baby. I'm here think, for you, G baby. Y'all think hey, hey, uh, Tony, how about how about your boy uh your boy Panther Nasty in the chat? Is the real Panther Nasty in the chat? That's what it said. Dude, this is the real deal guy. Man, and where A first uh, uh, uh this is my real brother. This is Panther Nasty was my second follow <laughs> on Twitter. My second one. Ooh, We're at 7,000 now. He was number two. Seven. And Panther Nasty has been a um, a real important part of the development of this show. I wish, I hope the best for you. I ain't seen you. I mean, I, I've seen you over the last couple of weeks. I mean, I've seen you being in the chat for a minute. But I miss you, homie. I miss you. Uh, Joe Rialano misses you, even though he can't be on the show anymore. And uh, shout out to uh, Kevin Gray, my brother, too, that I grew up with. So I love when uh, these people. But again, Panther Nasty, the second follow on Twitter in 2013. Like, I know this has been when I say we built this podcast from one view, one friend, one like. That's how we rock, man. This is about us being a family together. Like that's why I love G. Ba- that's why I love you guys. Like the diversity of personalities. This podcast would not be good if it was just me and Cody. I mean, and Cody's got a personality. All of a sudden, people love Cody so much. They love. You Cody. Your ass, they love they got they. They, uh, they yeah. as uh, Cody. Yeah. They, they, they call. It, they they Hell message yeah. Cody. They'll be like, I want to. I'm, I'm asking people to write for the website, and they message Cody. I'm like, man, what the hell? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. He yeah, he's man. disarming like a woman. I'm like Cody, play my call, and Tony's like, what the fuck? I'm the one that runs this shit. Nah, but like, no, is that this is they love, but Cody got his own. He's got his own crew and stuff. But what I'm saying is this: is this podcast? It might not be the biggest, but I promise you is that I never have thought about it as being mine. 
You know, I mean, like if it was mine, nobody would listen to it and not even myself. So that's the point is like every single person that they every time you guys comment you uh, on the show. Look, we've been doing these. This is our what uh 10th live draft. The first guys, if you guys go back, we could probably it's hard to find. Like if you went back in the YouTube archives and saw the first draft party, I was so pissed, G baby. We drafted Kelvin Benjamin. I fucking Damn. lost my shit. I was so mad. I fucking was so mad. Now that's I wanted funny. I wanted Bradley Roby that year. I wanted Bradley. Yeah. I was all in love with Bradley yeah. Roby and Allen Robinson. And I got so much shit. Mm. People for the next year would message me because uh, Kelvin Benjamin went and had a 1,000 yard season. And they were like, oh, Tony, why are you freaking out now, motherfucker? Like, oh, no. you know, and I was like, and I was like, man, I've always freaked out over our first round picks. <laughs> I usually freak out, uh. but generally I am drunk by that point. The first uh, overall pick, though, was easy this year. Bryce Young, man, I'm telling you. The only thing that makes me nervous about him less than his size. I'm telling you the only it's not nervous. It's an anxiety comes because I have such high, we have such high mm. expectation for him now. Like I almost feel like is it un, not unfair because if you're the number one draft pick, everything comes with that. You got to get with that smoke. You know what I'm saying? You got you are that person. You got to deal with the pressure. You got to deal with all of it. But I almost feel like if we go 10 wins next year, we're going to be like, oh, why didn't Bryce do more? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's like we have, I, in my mind, have made this guy go, already G, in the vein of Drew Brees. Oh, that's fire, G. Hey, Tony, to answer your question from like a month Yo, ago. send me that, G. Bryce Young it. will be the better quarterback because he was drafted by the Carolina Panthers. Remember? Oh, Amen. Amen. Remember, no. remember we talked about that? You were like, well, whichever one goes to the Panthers is going to be. And that's the truth. Like, uh, yeah, I think you're right. He's going to be the better one. And it's not, you know, I do prefer Bryce Young, but I just think Shroud, he's got a more uphill battle to face. To- sure. Totally, totally. And, you know, I th- again, is that uh, this is the other thing that uh, when CK walked out of here or not walked out of here. I mean, obviously, he just had a baby. He's got to go. He's got the fact that he was here was insane. Um. Tomorrow morning when we wake up, if we had drafted, say we had drafted uh, Stroud or Anthony Richardson, if and, and I got a type, so I would have been hype about some Anthony Richardson, but we would have had to have been defending the pick from day one. You know what I'm saying? Like, we would have had to have been waiting for any piece of evidence. Now I feel like it's this. It's like all hands on deck. Let's go. Let's go, you know, and there's no necessary, there's no like, oh, so because there'll be people like, oh, we should have done this. Is that right now? I think Bryce Young is the only pick in this draft where we get to go and wake up tomorrow. We all buy the fucking jersey. We all get up out there out of the thing. And the only thing that we will be watching is in week one, if he gets blown up, that he gets up. And if he gets up, we're all okay. But I promise you this is that if he gets hurt in week one, man, we're all going to be like, God damn it. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's just what I'm saying is this. Like, another edge off the board. We are ready. We're all in. And I I don't know if. (laughs) Oh, okay. The last thing I'll say on this is that I think this is the only person in this draft that tomorrow when you go and talk to any Panther fan, we're all in. If it's yeah, Anthony it, it, Richardson, I got a guy at work who goes, oh, we need a pocket passer. We need a guy who's blah, blah, blah. If it's CJ, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> is This is the only pick where everybody goes, all right, let's fucking go. And the Panthers legends uh, certified this dude. They're all behind yeah. him, too. Like, when you're Cam I don't Evans, trust Steve Smith anymore. It doesn't okay, matter. Cam How do you not trust Luke Kingsley? How about Greg, Greg Olson? Olson? How about Whoa. Cam Newton? Literally every fucking Panther. They're that all you just imagine. fucking blowing no, smoke up our ass. They all dumb, want a dude. job now. No, no. I can't, I, every every major Carolina Panthers, Panthers has signed off on Bryce Young. Dude. They're, They're all, all sucking Panther fans D right now. Okay, so, uh, but would you have said that if they said that about Stroud? 
No, dude, no I don't think they would have been. Great. I'm just saying this. Is, first of all, Steve Smith ain't the Steve on Smith he used down. to be. Steve Smith is nice Steve Smith now. Steve Smith is friend Steve Smith. He didn't sign off on Baker, though. What? What's up, Inbound? He didn't sign off on Baker Sorry. last year, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, he gives you the truth of what the matter is. That's why he did he, sign off on Baker. No, he he no, no uh, yeah, only after he was on the team. He fucking hated Baker the whole fu- uh, all right. first okay. five months. Now, look, and all first I'm of all, Steve, Stiff, Steve Smith is still mean, but he ain't as mean as he used to be. That's my whole let's, 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 all, let's. all me and Anthony, uh, then I'll pass it to Pickle. All me and Anthony are saying is that Greg Olson, Cam Newton, Luke Kickley, Steve Smith have all come out in favor of Bryce Young. And when you have literally the, the, the legends of that 2015 team co-signing Bryce before they Why wouldn't they him, say? Well, where else are they supposed to say? That's my point. Is that, that, that they're all they on, drafted them. They're all yes. that was before now. they made the pick. Oh, okay. Yo, okay. Tony, Cam Newton came out two days ago and literally said who we should take. He didn't say, oh, well, I didn't hear they that. Mr. Brett- they just they didn't take um they just took Bryce Young so we got to support him. He actually came out and said like if he was the GM he would take Bryce Young. That's all. There's I'm only to say. one name on that list that you told me that is convincing and it's Luke, Luke Keekley. Keekley. Hey Thomas and not was on they're, the NFL Network and he yeah, flat out said if they they're all Anthony working for jobs, nice. man. Greg and, Olson and, is coming and, off of and, Greg Olson is trying to be the greatest broadcaster no. in the world now, which and, he is. He's great. Uh, Steve Smith is trying to be with the team. I'm not saying that I'm not trying to be negative. What I'm saying is there is a slight agenda in softening their takes. Yeah, and, I'm not, um, it might, and it might not be in this case. Maybe I'm wrong. I do. Uh, Go ahead. Um, Thomas Davis also was on NFL Network, which Drew was talking about. He not only said, he, he said from what he heard, they were going to take Anthony Richardson. Let that be a lesson. Just because these guys say they heard something, they heard it because somebody told them incorrect information to start with to spread this kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, but um, I forgot what the hell I was going to tell Neil you. Levis has a, <laughs> Neil Levis took a Bo Callahan slide today, boys. Yeah, he fucking uh, did. Poor Will bro, Levis. Michael Mayer Will, is still Will, there, bro. Will, yeah. Will Levis took a Jimmy Clausen slide. Jimmy Clausen, that's who Will Levis reminds me of, Jimmy Clausen. What's up, boys? I have to give G-Baby and Anthony their props. Um, they called it. And I knew, and Cody, and, and Cody, too. I told you the Texans wanted to eat their cake and have it too. I no, told you did. that shit was going to happen. <laughs> they Yo, did. they they overpaid for they Will did. Anderson. Yes, they fucking did. They, they did. did. They they did. What the did they end up giving for? Anthony, for? Anthony, the Colts. 33, a future first and a future third. Oh, God damn. Anthony, we would have given the first for that. But the to be fair, the Texans, they have an the abundance of picks anyway. Yeah, that's right. true. They kept their Cleveland Browns pick from next year, so that's yeah. True. So they're good. Go go ahead, Chuck. This is what the Cardinals did, and you can stop me if I'm wrong. The Cardinals are going to hedge their bets. If they have another bad season, they're going to take Caleb Williams. Yes, that yes. and the Bucks. They will scare the they Bucks. Will are going for Caleb Murray. They will. I agree. Kyler Murray. Hey, I would give absolutely. you a peanut butter, a stale peanut butter jelly sandwich for that running back who Ooh. isn't big enough to be a oh, running back, uh, Kyler Murray, the wannabe quarterback. I said it before. I say it again. He is a wannabe quarterback. That's all he is. Bro, he's nasty. I don't know. <clears throat> let me ask you this. Anyway, let me get inbound Panthers on this conversation. Inbound, how you feeling, man? How you think uh, f- these listen. Panthers did? I feel absolutely ecstatic. Like, you don't understand. We just got a quarterback that we do not have to worry about his work ethic, his maturity, his decision making. Yep. Every time he goes to the podium, he's going to be telling you the truth. He's going to be humble and he's going to be working. Like, that's the type of guy he is. <laughs> we don't have to worry about any. Like, he had the best personality, the best character out of any group. You can say the media was- loves him already way more than they ever loved him, you guys. Yes, yes dude. They fucking yeah. hate That's him. facts, dude. 
I'm so happy. But like, we're not gonna regret this period. I like, love we're that. G baby, you've been right from the beginning, yo. <laughs> oh yeah, man. G was don't even, tell him was, that. G was defending yo, since be, Matt Corral. When the season uh, starts, when the season <laughs> starts, and he goes into ape shit about trading Ryan Burns, getting rid of Horn, and screw everybody else players you like, and Icky's fake, and all that shit he goes down this road about. Y'all gonna go eat shit and call him a fake fan and all this other bullshit, but right now y'all suck up all you want. Uh, no, hey, let, bro. Let, let, you keep sucking. He like it. Let, hey, let, 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 you like that, don't you? Let G baby have his moment, pickle. Let him have his moment in the sun. Let him have but, it. but no, let no, him but they, no, no. I'm pickle. I'm gonna call it as it is. Anthony and G baby were right. Fitter loved young. Yeah, but he did. but well, right, but, knew right that. No, but no, hold on. Right was like, mm, I don't know about right. the size. Then he said, "Watch the tape. Right. Watch the tape. Watch the tape." Oh. And Rick was and like, "Okay." Yeah. More, more more reports came out after the pick that they liked Bryce Young from the start, which yeah. personally was no fucking surprise to me because yes. I've seen this dude put up 461 yards, four tutties versus the Eagles' defense, basically because they so have ba- all the fucking defensive. So bas- yeah. So basically, it was like, "Let's well, trade up." Let's get young. Let's see if anybody can top it. Stroud, I mean, okay, okay. Stroud, okay, he's cool, but nah, I'm not going to take him. Yeah, we just stay right but, team. But we want to win now. We're we're wrong wrong cool, but we want to win now. So you no. know what they were wrong about? Because they run their lip all up and down the road about it. They said CJ mm, Stroud mm. was going to drop way down in the draft, and he didn't. So, if I'm correct, Anthony got to pay somebody some money. Oh, I already. Well, pickle, 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 yeah, pickle, pickle, hey, hey, pickle, pickle, don't worry. I, I, I already accepted that PayPal. Anthony's I have a man of his word. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a man rebutted. of my word, but I will say I did, make a, I did make a good amount of money betting on Bryce Young. Let's uh, go. So, so, <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, every, right. everybody won. Everybody, everybody won tonight. Yeah. Everybody yeah. won. I'm happy as fuck. The fun, Titans didn't win. The Titans won. Oh no! So let me ask y'all this. They got, a, they got an offensive lineman. That's fine. Let me ask right, y'all and, and, and I'm not worried about the Titans. There's two quarterbacks they can get tomorrow. Yeah. Second ahead, round. Ken. Second round. Ojalari, Joey Porter. Uh, who else is uh, who? Else? Michael Mayer, Darnell yeah. Washington. Uh, we uh, trading up to get him. Trading back. Oh, would, Corner or oh. edge. Um, I mean, dude, let me. I think we okay. need defense. Bro. Wait, hold on. Let me be. Defense, let me be. Real, let me be very real with you. Be real. I, I never, for one moment, thought that Joey Porter would still be on nope. the board at all. Literally, ever like that was That's one like player. That was one. JC Horn. That he was one, JC Horn. That's like a that was one player Horn. I did not see in, in any mock draft ever fall into the second round. Knowing how much Dante Jackson has been hurt and knowing how much CJ Henderson has also been very underwhelming, I gotta be real, man. I would not be mad with Joey Porter Jr. Me neither. Being our pick just, at 39. Just imagine yeah. them second generation corners out there lined up next to each other wearing that yeah. uniform. Oh boy. Yeah. That'd make, what's a, your share? That'd make what, a man slobber. What's your share, Tony? <laughs> Uh, this is Joe Person, uh, yeah, ten thirty six. Like said, David Tepper pretty much tipped the Panthers' hand with their next pick when he said Bryce Young's distributing skills meant Carolina didn't necessarily need a wide receiver, but could put that money into the dis- defensive side of the ball. Uh, <laughs> you know, the only thing I don't like about this tweet from Joe, or not this, like, doesn't know how to shut up. Right, and at the same time, I, does that really tell us about the picks? Or, I mean, you didn't you put a lot of money into the wide receiver in this free agency period? Like, I mean, you did go out and get not a lot of money, but you went and chased. I, I think two. he's seeing the remaining cap space. Well, well, I think yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You better get some defense. We need defensive end with Brian Burns' injury. We needed a defensive end no matter what. And my question to you guys who know a lot about college and, and Ojalar, is he LSU? Yeah. Yeah. Ojalar. 
is how does he how does he fit into a three four scheme? He's an outside linebacker. He's going to be that yeah. uh, Vaughn. I mean, I'm not I'm not comparing them, but that Vaughn Miller type of role is that he's going to play outside linebacker. But then that needs to be the pick. Yeah, yeah. And, and and by the way, he, he him and his brother uh, uh, Aziz Ojolari went to Georgia. He was a good pick for Georgia. I would like Ojolari uh, out of LSU. I know Chad would. Uh, that Do you would, think that he's would a, be a project? No. Oh, I mean, no, he's a, uh, he's I, an no. upside. He's an upside player. That's what I'll say. Not Can for pick thirty nine, though. We're talking about the thirty ninth pick. Gee, let me say this real quick. I do want to talk about the wide receivers for a second. We don't see like the thing with our team is we don't know what a lot of this, these potential for these young players are because Matt Rule won the team in such a shitty way. Like what if Terrence Marshall is a receiver that we never knew we had? Like what exactly. if he's a right. guy that we never he knew is. we had? He is. DJ Chark, if he stays healthy, he averages like 14 yards a catch. Like there are, there's talent in the wide receiver room. So I next I year think, is the time for wide receiver. Yeah, I agree. I don't think I think you got to build and, a defense. Like give did, Bryce Young a good defense. Like that's. And did you hear? Did you hear this report that Sal Palantonio, who he was talking to Fitter, saying that they want to flip seven and ten to be ten and seven, so they know their aspect and be realistic. That they they really want to be a playoff team, and I don't think we're just trying to shoot for the moon. Get wide receiver next year. Let's get a wide receiver next. I year. agree. Let's build agree. the defense up and have a, a solid defense. Especially so if Brian counter, Burns. Not be John Robinson, because that's going to be a problem. Surgery. Go ahead, Charlotte and Bam. I was just going to say, with Brian Burns like having that surgery and how injury-prone our corners are, I'm just like, man, like we can have the great greatest defense ever for eight games, and then if we're injured on that ninth game, it counts for nothing. You know, we need depth. Yeah, and our defense arguably has not been great. I know this is, look, I know two years ago, Matt Rule is going to come into his final season saying, oh, we had the number two defense, but it was fraudulent. It was not the number two defense in the league. They were good when an offense couldn't score at all, but they were not fantastic. They weren't the best defense we've seen. And the real thing is that we look at, we know this defense is probably going to have more growing pains than any part on this team as they switch scheme and try to figure out how those players fit into those roles. And like you said, Brian Burns' injury is probably the biggest story of this offseason. And right now on CarolinaCatChronicles.com, I'm like 98% done with this story right now. In 2013, we were coming off a 12-4 and season where the Carolina Panthers' defense was phenomenal. Uh, the Panthers' offense was showing a little signs of life behind Cam Newton. Cam Newton had an ankle injury late in the 2013 season, played through the injury, opted for rehab originally, and then had a late off-season surgery in March. Now, this is the quarterback. It's clearly not the same as the as like Brian Bur- as a defensive end and how their presence needs to be in training camp. But they also told us that training camp was the optimistic timeline. Cam didn't show up for the last week. He couldn't do anything until the last week of training camp. And he didn't really hit his sea legs until halfway of the season. My point is this is Brian Burns is arguably the most important Well, he is the most important defensive player on our team. He's arguably the only star on our team other than Bryce Young now. Derek Brown is – I don't say Derek Brown's better than Brian Burns in my opinion, but that's okay. You're being Uh, too uh, harsh. You're being – J.C. Horn's a star when he's on the field. You can't say that. He's not even played a full season of football ever. You can say this. And my whole point is this. Is there a person – more important on this defense going into this season than Brian Burns. There's a lot of questions already about that defensive end. I mean, the defensive front and how they're going to work, how you, we all have been saying we need to put somebody beside the Brian Burns. What if Brian Burns comes out there in week one, he's 80%. What if he is a guy that doesn't get a hundred percent until the end of September or something? My point being is this, is that this, we cannot just rest on the laurels, of this defense being pretty darn good over the last two seasons or pretty good. They have, this is a season like we need to give them some players. Yeah. We can't just say that they were, that's it. Let me rebut. 
Let me rebut. It's pretty obvious. I understand what you're saying and that you can say that there might not necessarily be a player that is a proven bona fide superstar. However, you cannot say that we do not have players on this team that have superstar potential. I understand what you're saying about J.C. Horn being hurt and and, and having to prove that. Yes, I, I, I agree with you. He does have to stay healthy. But if he does, J.C. Horn has the potential to be the most important player on our entire turn their speakers defense. down. I can hear, I can hear the yeah, reverb. Somebody the mute back. your microphone if you have uh, All right. shit going um, back. But my point being, maybe it's TV. That, Somebody's listening to to Frank Wright in the background. My, my, uh, my no, point, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, you got to stop right there. No, I don't. I'm, no, Dude, I'm gonna interject right here. Horn Objection, Your Honor. Has Objection. Star potential. Potential. And if Jr. and but. If if and but. First of all, let me go ahead and put this out here. You guys have been trying to tell me that Brian Burns is a top five defensive end, and I don't even buy that. He's not. And no. I'm saying this. He's still the most important player on our defense right now. He's like or at least DJ the most of... proven. The most proven. And so, yeah, I mean, you can tell me that J.C. Horn has potential. That's fine. But Wait you know what? Oh, we, Brian know, Burns, was the guy that we were building this front around. That's can it. I just say this real quick? I just want to, like, because I've been listening to y'all's podcast for, like, over, like, two years now. And every time we've had to talk about being in the land with no quarterback, it feels so fucking good to be in the land with a future quarterback. Finally, we did it the right way on a rookie. This makes the draft so much easier in the fall. Okay, so hold hold on, Anthony. Hold on, G. With you you saying that, G, we got our franchise QB, right? Yeah. So why not take that 39th pick, trade back, Accumulate more fucking picks, okay? Continue to build the fucking wall. The get wall. another fucking edge rusher. Get another fucking linebacker. Why not do it the right way? Well, listen, we can trade back because that that uh, guard from Florida is available. That guard hey, is, is, isn't Aki's teammate team. available right now. Yes, I, yes, I've yes, always yes. said this, and again, I'm not a draft expert. I'm not a football expert. I'm an expert football fan, and I think this is that in the first three rounds of your draft every year, somewhere in there, you should have an offensive Got lineman it. and yes, a defensive totally. lineman. Like yes. somewhere, it doesn't it doesn't yes. have to be in round Gee. one. It's yes. like this. It's like just keep adding. Yeah, big old boys to the stage. We never did that for Cam. We never did that for Cam. We have a chance to fucking do this shit right. We need to do it right. Please, for the love of God, just one line. Before our offensive line falls off, because I'm gonna tell you guys, you guys are all gonna tell me that this offensive line is the best. And I like them a lot. They're right. They're way better than we've had in the past, but. I also saw a lot of Panther fans turn on uh, Taylor Moten last year. Mm-hmm. And, yep. and they'd be like, oh, but well, he's stepping back. He, bu- bu. And he's then getting this, too old. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, you know what? You're going to get here in the next year, and then you're going to be like, oh, well, goddamn, Taylor Moten sucks. And you know what? I'm not trying <laughs> to say Taylor Moten sucks. What I'm saying is this, is that he's been in the league for six years or five. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to keep putting some horses in the stables. The great teams. Yes. The great yeah. teams. That's what the Eagles they do. Play. They constantly have a line. Look at going. the Eagles. Yes. The yes. Production factor. They replenish. They replenish. The, the Eagles just got Jalen right. Carter. Like you're we right. Need yeah, let, <laughs> if, 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 if I may add some of the best secondaries, some of the, you could go back and look at all the stats. Some of the best secondaries have a great pass only the best secondaries because they have stud pass rushers. Yeah, don't matter if fact. you line up five first round yep. top five corners out there. If you don't have a pass rush, well, they're gonna get beat. You only hey, need line. one great corner. Hey, yeah, when you have a fucking front four, right? But you need right. a. Great ass secondary when you ain't got the front four, right? Like you can't just have one. Look at what the Eagles did. Like Denver, that's why Denver. Talk about this, Chuck. Tell us, tell us, Chuck. What did the Eagles do? Because they were uh, the best defense in the league, right? Right, Last year, and what did they do in this draft? 
They added the best, the best prospect, (laughs) the best prospect for the night. Yeah, bro. And they did another one. And then they did another one. I mean, bro, Jalen Carter and Jordan and, Davis on the same and, team. And, 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 they don't have to get Ringo in the second round. They can get Ringo. They can get Ringo in the second round. No, let's not say they, they do that. They got Ron Rivera having a wet dream tonight. Ron Rivera <laughs> is over there. Yeah, Ron, Ron Rivera is having a wet dream tonight. Ron Rivera is over there at Was- in Washington looking at his division That's rival what I was- coming in his pants right now, looking last. at that defense. Who did, wa- who Ron did Rivera Washington get fired like? by two new owners? He's about to get fired by two new owners. Yeah. By David who Tepper. Is a fall guy. Guy. Poor Ron Rivera has been a fall guy. You remember when they used to trot him out for the Justin Hardy shit? Wait, hold on. Yeah. Poor Washington. Ron Rivera. Then he had to go yeah. out there for the, ju- the Richardson no shit. Yet. Then he had to go out there for the racial fucking uh, redskin shit. This poor Dude, guy got to go out time. there. And he's like, a, he's just a fucking punching he's bag a for boy. He's the owner's beat stick. The thing is, though, no, if we compare, Manuel if we compare Bryce Manuel Young Ford. with Michael Mayer, man, I don't think y'all understand. I'm, hey, G, I'm down. Can we have the bro, I don't think y'all hey, understand, G, bro. G, baby, no, G, baby, yeah, Tony knows. We did a video on Michael Mayer weeks ago. I am fine, That's, bro. I'm, I'm good. He was not much better. Cody, like, for would you not agree? Man. That's the perfect. Michael Mayer is the perfect security blanket for fucking Bryce hey, Young, bro. Hey, hey, he can walk, is. bro. He can run around, bro. He's got the best hands, bro. Hey, G-Baby. You remember G-Baby. Uh, G-Baby. former Black I'm not QB, at white tan in, it never fails. It oh, never oh, fails. How about I'm this? What about, what about this? All, hey, Chuck, Chuck, what about <laughs> this? What about Black QB, two white tight ends? That never fails because, it by the way, fa- Cam yes. Newton won the Rookie of the Year with yes. Shock Jeremy and Shock and Olsen. So yes. Hayden, Hurst, Hayden Hurst and this, and little, they're like this little protective blanket. These guys are just Michael protecting. Meyer. Let's get them. Let's get them. Fuck it. Y'all get me excited. We can use a salad cap on defense. Fuck it. Fuck it. This is like a wire. That's the truth. We got to go and get a t- – uh, def- we've got to go get wow. a pass Play rusher. Floyd. In- Play Leonard Floyd. Play Floyd. Yes, I think you're right. Two-year yes, deal. Two-year yes. deal. That's what I want to do. Like, I- I'd rather – if you want to go Michael-, Michael Meyer at 39, then you need, to- you need to be on the phone with Leonard Floyd because – Leonard Floyd. I think you have fucking, to be that uh, anyway. Melvin Ingram, man. Like that, Tepper, Tepper just Floyd. tipped his hand. Tepper just they, basically said what we're, we're, we're saying. Tepper, yeah, Floyd. Langer Floyd wants too much money. He, he, wants, he, wants, he, wants, he wants to be paid the highest defensive lineman in the league right now. That's why. Well, he's guess down. what? He's going to he be waiting on a phone on call to the end. If you ain't picked already, bro, look, when you get <laughs> the back end of free agency, you don't get yeah, those deals. You don't but get those he, deals. You already missed it. You already yep. met, I mean, he's going to get a, exactly. Yep. Saw the mistakes you've gone through. Wow. I, uh, I, I want to go and ask the first, I want to ask uh, Inbound Panthers and then go to Chuck after this because they're the newest on. The, first of all, nice to meet. I haven't met you two before. So welcome to the C3 Panthers podcast. Please come back. I hope, uh, A, thank you for coming into the show. This is our 10th live draft party. We've been doing a Watch along before watch alongs were a thing. Uh, and Jay Cryer, by the way, do you remember what he said? He said, This looks way better than the one we did in 2014, uh, just the quality wise. But let me ask you this, in, uh, Inbound Panthers, what are your expectations now? One of the things that was is very been has been difficult for me, not difficult, is tomorrow when I wake up for Bryce Young and I say, Let's fucking go. I almost feel like we put a little – I don't want to overdo it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go – that shit. <laughs> right, but you know what I'm saying? Like, to me, at this point, what do you think the Panthers – Yeah, like, like what do you think, you think our season – not our not his career, not his career, just this season. What do you, th- what do you look year, at I'll, his – I'll tell you. I'll tell you the exact record and everything. So, next year, my my expectation is at least – a winning season like nine and eight at All least. Right. All right. So next, like the year after that, if we hit the playoffs, that's to me. If 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 you have a quarterback that gets you to the playoffs consistently, 
That to me is successful quarterback. The playoffs are so. We well, got to get a playoff win. One I mean, of course, win. of course, Give me one win. But I'm saying, I'm playoff. saying, year two. If you get me to the playoffs, right. and like then year three, now we're talking. Okay, let's make a run. Wow, those are my uh, legit like expectations. If you're if you're improving year per year, to me, that's. That's all yeah, you, you so can't. we think this is we think we all right. So I like that, and I feel the same way as I feel everything they've sold me about Bryce Young, and not sold me, but like everything we have told we've learned that is his assets means we should be a winner. Or I expect winning season. Chuck, what are your expectations for the Carolina Panthers this year, realistically? Too, Early. you know, let's not put too much on them. I know we're infatuated with this coaching staff. I know we're excited about this number one draft pick. I right. like nine and seven. Don't ask me I, this question. I think you know what I. I'm a guy. I'm like ten, baby. Give me ten. Give me. 10. All right. That's the, that's where I'm thinking. So I'm basically going up with Sal Palantonio said and what the uh, Panthers organization. <laughs> They feel like they can flip seven, seven and ten to ten and seven, and that's why I feel realistic. That's a really good way of putting it. And and what and you really have to do the math and feel philosophically. Look at the, the gauntlet in the AFC. All those and we have a weak ass schedule too. By the way, Dude, it's oh. fucking weak. It's Jalen weak. Man. It is weak. NFC Jalen Hurts. That's the the big job. The best QB, the, player. Yeah, they're making the. They're uh-huh, making the Super Bowl, bro. The best quarterback. That we're gonna play next year is either gonna be Trevor Lawrence or Derek Carr. It no, is Tre- Jalen Hurts. Derek oh, we Carr, don't play them next year. Trevor Lawrence. No, we don't play Jalen Hurts next year. Oh, well, we will in the playoffs. Yes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know. Dang, hey, but hold on. I want to ask y'all a question. I want to ask y'all a question. Am I just being too optimistic to think that this no. team is no. an underdog? To make a legit push, the sky's the limit, baby. Absolutely not, Cody. Absolutely not, brother. Absolutely not, bro. Hey, hell no, bro. And if you want me to keep it real, fucking real with you guys, I have us going for fucking twelve wins, bro. Go look at the fucking schedule, bro. Go look, no, no. Go look at the schedule, bro. Out over the No, hell no. This is our fucking division, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Hold on. How many years have we could have won games because if we had a fucking quarterback, we always win with like five to seven wins. But if we had a quarterback, we could easily add like four more wins. Yes. Like that's how it goes for us. You, I don't think y'all understand what the fuck we have at the QB1 right, no, right now. I don't bro. think it's that. I think, G Baby, no, I don't think it's that. I think the, here is the difference, or not the difference, why we should have these inf- not inflated expectations, these high expectations, because we weren't a 2-14 and 14 team that earned the number one pick. Yes. We traded into the number one spot, right? Yes. So we upgraded the coaching staff. We weren't yes. a terrible, terrible team. So it's not like we are like, oh, Bryce Young, come. Or what Cam had to do. Cam had to come in with a team that had nothing, no talent, really. Steve Smith was on the fucking shelf, and he saved all of a sudden. And then you had a a coaching staff that had no real experience, ultimately. And while they did a good job, in this case, this is like Bryce Young. Imagine him being drafted nine. You're going oh, to a number nine different. team. You're going it's to a number different. nine team right here. They're you not know. a one. In, they're not. He's not going to the Texans. He's not going to the. This the is, thing is and that's totally why the thing I'm is. I'm worried, bro. I'm the worried thing because is, I'm gonna be like, bitch. We bet <laughs> NFC Championship. Here we come. Are we not? How many times did I have to hear you guys say? Oh, we was almost there. Oh, we got to exactly. continue to win for Steve we Wills. Bro, we were so close to going to pick 17, bro. We were was this close game. to they going to pick 17. Field goal on us. <laughs> like, like come on, on y'all. Are you guys fucking call. playing with me? Yo, this division is soft as fuck. No Matt one's in the NFC. Our, bro, we put up nah, 34 no points with PJ Walker. We should have let Matt in, Rule coach no, the should. whole fucking season. We're in season. a perfect position right now to add another great offensive player, add another good defensive player, and we should be ready to fucking roll, man. There is no reason why the Carolina Panthers could not make a legitimate push, one, for the NFC South. That's a given. But to be an actual scary team that you don't want to see in the playoffs next year. I want to say one thing. I want to say one thing. Go ahead, Chad. One thing that I've been wanting to say. We have a quarterback wait. 
the cardiac cats are back. <laughs> they are back. Uh, no, don't, don't be surprised when Bryce I declares as, as blow Bryce their ass out of the water. Cat. Yeah, I agree with Pickle. I'm done with the cardiac cat. I'm, I'm, I'm done with the cardiac You guys are gamblers. A lot of you guys are gamblers and very good at it on this. Oh, I feel yeah. like we should right now be putting money on the Panthers to win the NFC South. Oh, fuck yeah. Seven like, I really think, like, we better catch the odds right at this moment. Tony, would you put would you put some bread on uh, over seven and a half wins? Because I sure as hell would. Hell yeah. Oh, like, most definitely. Totally. Most definitely. Totally. Yeah, yeah, we could have got seven and a half wins with Baker and Frank Wright. I mean, I'm going to put money on winning the Super Bowl. Last year. Bro, the, the Bucks are actively tanking. Like, they're actively yes, they are actively, <laughs> like, not, like, like they want Caleb Williams or Drake May. Caleb Williams already came out and said he wanted to go to the Bucks. I know we, we need Baker to win some games. They're gonna this come year, out for tampering next year. Us. Like <laughs> we need Baker to at least win like six games this year. I'm telling y'all because I don't want Caleb Williams here. But that's a different. We 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 need to enjoy ourselves, man. This is the quarterback I wanted. I don't Listen, give a hey, fuck about Caleb Williams at he all. He didn't. Le- he left Bama up. Every game last year, like yes. the defense lost them. If they lost, like they had, if you watch every game, you're like, Jesus Christ, this dude on the fourth quarter on third down, like he's completing that shit. Yeah, dude, this, that's what we have at quarterback. We have what a are the we have a third down the NFC Trump card. South right now. We have a oh, we got a motherfucking assassin, baby. Yes, man. A, a cold fucking killer, bro. Third down, everything. The pressure's on. That's that. We want the ball in this guy's hand. Like that's it. I, like he's not. Yeah. He's like Burrow. He'll take a sack on third down to make a play. You know what I mean? Like he knows. The and he'll play. throw it out of bounds, and he won't throw a pick, boys. He's just, yes. He's always thinking ahead. That's the best part about him. Like that, he does have that kind of Joe Burrow thing to him, right? Like he, like you just said, he'll take a sack if he knows. Okay, well next next play, I'm gonna go here with the football. So it's like, yeah, man, we hit big on this, in my opinion, with the coaching staff. I mean, I said from the beginning, whoever we drafted was automatically going to have the best case scenario here. But Bryce, with this coaching staff, that's a match. And, and one underrated thing, honestly, LaVisca Chanel just got that much better because Bryce is going to get the ball in his hands. Man. I can't and this is gonna be like, about him. I, I, oh, I, I swear to God. I'm, I'm telling you, he's, he, he will be on the side like Jameer Gibbs. Like, hey, just get this ball on a screen and go. And he'll just going to get it wide open. Hopefully. Hey, side note, the Lions had a terrible draft. Why would Horrible. they take Jameer Gibbs when you already had two other running backs? Like yeah. Jameer Gibbs is good, but I just that was weird. Because I thought they, they were going corner. On, on another side, I, I thought they needed defense. Uh, they uh, let this, go of Akuda. Go ahead, uh, Pickle. Uh, I thought this was interesting. Both the Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs are telling reporters that they received multiple calls to trade down with multiple teams. But both teams decided to make the picks anyway instead of trading down out of the first. That tells you there's a lot of folks wanting the folks that are still left over. Oh, uh, this, this, this second guys, round is key, boys. Tomorrow this second round is key. Tomorrow yep. is going to be lit. Who's that, Chad? Bro. Tomorrow is, is, is team building. Yeah. Bro, no more Darnold, man. Oh my you God! Know, you know, you know, tomorrow, no more Darnold. Darnold. Tomorrow, I saw Darnold jerseys at this draft day party all over. The I place. did too. No, I saw a CJ Stroud Panther jersey. I was like, "Oh my, you're in for a." Run. Bro, I can't like, wait for Bryce to just talk, bro. At the I podium, already, I already saw him like address Twitter. He was like, "Keep pounding." Let's go. I saw that too. Oh, man. When he said, "Keep <laughs> pounding," I'm working Dude, tomorrow. Serious, I'm man. Work we have tomorrow. a serious quarterback. <laughs> Every year, every year, we're not going to do the same bullshit where it's like, well, who's coming to Carolina this year? Are we shopping for Baker Mayfield? I don't know I fell for that, but that was just pure optimism, man. It's like, oh, my gosh. Now we know who's under contract, and we can fill out the rest of the team and be like these other and the teams. Best thing, and the best thing is we don't have to worry about C.J. Stroud or Anthony because they're in the AFC. Exactly. No, exactly. I'm scared of Bijan, though, a little bit, low key. <laughs> Bro, the AFC is the AFC. The AFC. Fucking Jesus. Gauntlet. It side, is a fucking baby. gauntlet. He's sitting pretty. Rogers on the other left it like man. Dog, the AFC, Mahomes, Allen. Bro, it's oh my god. I'm not gonna lie though, that Eagles roster is terrifying. Dude, you got Aaron Rodgers in the AFC now. Like, yeah, what the dude, fuck, bro? Dude, I fucking shit. Bro. 
Brock. No, no that's thanks. a good thing. The four <laughs> guys will beat each other up again. Uh, yeah, to Anthony get Richardson, Anthony Richardson, and CJ Strauss will take each other on twice a year. And you got to watch out too if the, whoever the Titans take, the Titans could take Will Levis. That would be cool. Not that, that's not it. Not would be Levis fucking insane, insane bro. Just for them three quarterbacks to be in the same division. Y'all that'd feel be, like y- y'all, y'all, y'all have this weird little feeling that our Super Bowl window is starting to slowly open. Oh, it's open. Yes, uh, I, mean, it, it, I feel like it is open. What I don't. Care, feel all like you gotta do, is, all you gotta do, is get into that playoff race, and it's anybody's game, baby. But, but guys, look, am, game. I, am I am I wrong in saying if you look at other first round picks in the past, right? The Bengals, Jacksonville, Arizona, none of those teams. When they were picking number one, none of them had the type of roster that we had. None of them had the offensive line. None of them had the defensive pieces. None of them had quite the coaching staff. Like, you can make the argument that, you know, there has never been a number one pick that is truly going to a better situation than Bryce Young is right now for the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, those teams that you just listed – they went one in fifteen and two and fourteen the previous year. Those teams were not good. They were intentionally tanking for those quarterbacks. The Panthers, th- th- that's a thing. Like I take back when I said I wanted to tank because Steve Wilkes brought us clarity. He he. The, the coaches that we have now are probably watching the film from last season and they're looking at what we did good. They already know the holes that we have to fill on this team. That's the best part. So, yeah. Well, look, man, we're going on, what, three hours and 30 minutes here? Three hours and 30 minutes. Five hours and 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, fucking hell. Math is not my my strong point, dude. I'm not a good counter. Uh, All right, so this is the 10th uh, C3 Panthers live draft party. Um, First, I want to thank everybody who listened and um, and participated. Thank you to the panel who is up here and donated their time, their energy, um, look and at G baby, and they're take, yeah. I know this is your night, G baby. G baby's night, Anthony's he looks, night. He looks like a cool ass alien, uh, bro. He's the coolest <laughs> motherfucker in the world. Um, but I want to say this is the only thing I'm a little disappointed having the number one draft pick made this. Uh, first, I want to thank Cody too, actually, before I get into that, for creating the cult of Friday Free for All. Because I feel like I, I leaned into that a little bit too much this year. Like, usually we have a ton of people, interviews coming in. But we've been so overwhelmed by just the discussion and the excitement of the first round pick. It made it, this show easy. And the reason this show was easy is because you've you've um, developed this or helped develop a community of participation, Cody. So thank you, brother. Uh, Friday Love Free you, For All is so great. Tomorrow night at 7, we'll be here Watching the draft, uh, hopefully uh, Cody might be. I'm sure he'll come in. I know he can't resist. I'll try and pop in at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna do yeah. some work Use your chat out. bot and get the shit done, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, but second is this is look again. Um, <laughs> we're gonna be here next year. We're gonna be here tomorrow. We're gonna get all this done. And uh, man, uh, exciting time, new era. Thank you guys. Uh, my name's Tony Dunn. What is what is he laughing at? G baby still? I know he can't move. Like he's like a crazy. How do you be that still, homie? It's wild. All right, my name is Tony Dunn. It's the C three Panthers podcast. This is the tenth draft party. G baby's so on a half a bottle of Henny, bro. Leave him alone. Half a bottle. This guy ain't even lit tonight. He's so sober with happiness. His happiness has calmed all of that shit. This is like the most basic G baby I've ever seen. Uh, Except for the look. Look at that, man. I'm intimidated. All right, Cody, um, get some people out of here. Let's go. uh, But yeah, but here's what we'll do. Here's what I do every at the end of every free for all, Tony. I let everybody have one opportunity to say their last bit. Say your piece before we get off the show. First up, you know him, you love him. He's one of the best personalities in the history of Panthers YouTube. Panther Pickle. We love you, brother. Give us your uh, give us your thoughts and uh how you're feeling, man. And uh, you know, give us something to leave on. I love the pick we got. I love Bryce Young. 
A lot of hope for tomorrow. I still think we need it is more than we need anything else. But that's just my little opinion. I, yes, folks, I was wrong about Hendon Hooker. I he didn't go in the first round, but there's still time. Hendon Hooker, I love you, brother. But let me tell you something. If you go to the Saints or the uh, Bucks, you go to hell, motherfucker. I don't want nothing to do that. After that. <laughs> And you heard it from Pickle. Don't go to the Saints or the Bucks, or you can go to hell. Uh, a, a, uh, a, another, uh, you know, Tony, we're talking about the, the cult of Friday Free For All. One of the most faithful members is my guy, Drew. Drew is there all the time. He's always, man, he was hitting me up wanting to know when, when he could join. You know, he is a dedicated C3 faithful. Drew. You know we love you, brother. How are you feeling? And uh, give us some words of wisdom to live on before we jump off. Hey, man, all I got to say is welcome to Carolina Bryce Young, and let's get to work. Oh, shit. Let's get to work. Uh, and listen, man, this next man is he's repping the Panthers in enemy territory. <laughs> so you have to love this man. Chad Morales down there in the bayou. Yo, Chad, tell me, man, how you feeling? <laughs> and uh, what's your final thoughts oh, buying the for, jersey this, right uh, now. for this uh, for this uh, stream we got going, bro? Uh, this right here. Enough said. Enough said. I'm fucking Buy the tired. the jersey, bitches. I'm fucking <laughs> tired. I'm going to sleep. But I will be here. But I will be here tomorrow. Tomorrow Thank night. you, Chad. You're the best, man. You're the best. Friday free for all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Yes, sir, Chad. Yes, sir. And uh, Tony, uh, he actually has been on here a number of times before. That's our guy, Inbound Panthers. Inbound, I'm happy you were able to join us. Uh, give us your final thoughts for the show tonight, man. Happy you could join. Appreciate it, man. All right, real quick, super fast. little draft synopsis, okay? We have the number one prospect. Fuck everybody that says Jalen Carter was the number one prospect. Bryce Young was the number one prospect. That's who we took. Let's look at our competition. Saints, they didn't even have a pick. Falcons, Loki, Bijan, uh, he's he's scary. I'm not gonna lie, that motherfucker is good as shit. And uh, who's left? The Bucks actively tanking. We're gonna win the division. Next year. We got it. Okay, we got better than everybody on our division. Let's go. And here, my only thing I want to say in follow up to that, I just texted my boy, is uh, the Carolina Panthers on Fanduel plus three hundred to win the division. Go put a hundred dollars down. Uh, you went plus three thirty. Excuse me. Those are good odds right now. They're going to be those changing. Are, those are good odds. Who, who's, uh, who's they're going to be changing soon? The Saints are probably the the leaders, right? Uh, plus one one twenty five, and uh, yeah, uh, Bucks are plus five hundred. No, nah, this is the the. How about this? Atlanta has better odds, plus three hundred. Go that get on Fanduel and bet the Panthers before they change it. Yes, sir. Uh, next up, uh, my man's a man of his word. We both got our way tonight. We both got paid. This man has been one of the most, uh, you know, continuously supportive members of the C3 podcast. My motherfucking dog, Anthony Piccarello from Panther Central Podcast. Anthony, you know you're the man, bro. Tell us uh, some final words for the show, man. Yeah, man. Um, so I've, I've lived in Charlotte for like 18 years now. And um, I was in third grade when we drafted Cam Newton. I, I live to love him. But seeing as an older person, a little older person now that we get to draft another prospect that I love. I mean, it's awesome, man. We have a great future. I love this community. I'm always going to be here. C3 for life. Let's fucking go. Keep motherfucking pounding. Yeah. Every time. Let's go, baby. Let's hey, fucking go. There's only there's only one thing that we need to end it off, Cody. I sent you a, a message on the chat, and that is, I think, the one thing that we should send this uh, stream off with. Did we give G-Baby the mic? No, oh, we're, we're about okay. to. I, where, where'd you send it, Chad? He ain't on talk anyway. Twitter. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna look at that. Look at that. Look, he's just stone. Wait, statue. have you seen enough of his ugly mug anyway? No, <laughs> it's like the best shit I've ever seen. Uh, hey, no, I, I'm gonna play that after we uh, talk to G. Yeah. Uh, hey, last, but you know he's not least. Yeah. It's the coolest motherfucker you ever did see. G, baby, off that henny, bro. G. 
Talk to the people, man. Tell us your final thoughts, bro. I never thought I'd say this, but roll tie, baby. And uh, oh, shit. Cody, once again. What <laughs> would Uh, Let's get geez. us out of here, Cody. What nope. we gotta see and get us yeah. out of here. Uh hold on, one thing. All right. Let me uh, let me let me post this. T3 up. Panthers yeah. podcast D- here hey. every Tuesday night, live 9 p.m. Smash the thumbs up button, be a part of it. We'll be here tomorrow night, 9 p.m. uh 7 p.m. for the Friday free for all. And uh with knowing this crowd, we might as well hopefully we'll just trade up into the second or, or again. So we don't have to get on here Saturday, but you know we be here every day, it feels like. All right, check this out, guys. Our final word from Bryce Young himself. Wrapping up the day here. Um, it's just it feels thrilled to me to be uh, Panther Nation for the support. I couldn't be happier to be a part of the organization. Um, and I'm excited to get to work. Thank you, guys. Keep down. <laughs> He's too nice. Too nice. Nah, shut up, Tony. You're not going to ruin this moment. You're uh, not going to ruin this moment. Take he us out of here, Cody. He is Let's the go. man. C3 Nation, <laughs> you are all collectively the man. I am Cody Lashley. That's Tony Dunn. Uh, you will see Tony tomorrow for the Friday Free For All. And uh, me next Tuesday when we do another edition of the C3 Panthers podcast. C3 Nation. We love you. Keep pounding. We all scream for Bryce Cream.